Nights Lurkers, welcome back. We are on day two, day two of our fundraiser for Carolina Abortion Fund. Okay, here we go. How to donate. All right, so there's all the information on how to donate. We raised in total yesterday $123.61. And guess what? We even got a donation last night while y'all were lurking, listening to the lovely music. Thank you so much to Jed for that. I add that to the total as well. That's why the total is higher here. Um, so here's what we're going to do today. Here's what we're going to do today that's ever so slightly different. Ever so slightly different. So I want to um, I want to try all the hot sauces. <laughs> so for every $10 today that we raise more, we're going to do the hot sauce escalation, like one, two, three, we're going to like go up like that. So I want to go ahead and do one for raising over a hundred dollars yesterday. And we're going to do one, um, for Jed's donation last night. Okay. So we got a saltine here. We got a saltine here, Jane, welcome in Jane and welcome in Koneko, by the way, all those first, First, um, first king slash queen. I don't know. What would you prefer for your royal title, Koneko? Would you prefer um, royal? Would you prefer king or queen? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, here's number one. This is just jalapeno. So we're going to do this. I already know this isn't going to be a big deal, but it's probably going to be delicious. Mm-hmm. Really tasty. Fine with enabling slightly towards queen because I'm a queen of puns. Okay. All right. First, queen of firsts. Emperor. Oh, yeah. Emperor is a good one. Emperor first, Koneko. All right. Here we go. Number two. We tried this one yesterday. It's pretty good, too. I liked it. Mm-hmm. 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 Look at that beautiful spread. Okay, the ones we just did. Stupid is just jalapeno. Nuts is jalapeno and habanero. Foolish, number three, is jalapeno, habanero, and habanero powder. So, right now, we are at $135.77 total in donations. That is with, like, you know, PayPal's little bit taken out. That's with the $4 that was donated directly added yesterday, all that stuff. We get to 140. We get to 140. So that's like less than five more dollars. Um, we will do number three. Also, we still have chunks of Levi's hair to cut off. So y'all let me know if we want to do that. Um, and uh, and when he's kind of feeling up to it, we will come in and do some more Levi haircutting. 10 a.m. is a little bit early for him, but we will do some. We will do some. Okay. We got saltine in my teeth. And keep in mind, also, we are happy to do <laughs> Eat America as well. That was our grand finale yesterday. Here's here's the cupcakes. They're really big. We ate the white ones yesterday, but we still got um, the red and the blue ones. I've also got some brownies and cookies and stuff like that. And today, if everything goes well, we will have a return. We'll have Karen sandwich number two. So make sure you're staying tuned to that. All right. Let's go over to the game. Um, this morning I went ahead and got, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is what we wanted. I went ahead and got all of our EVs. Okay. I went ahead and got all of our EVs cause I just didn't want to sit there and just do the same thing over and over. And it's like random chance to get them to spawn. It kind of like takes forever. So I went ahead and got all of our EVs. So I'll show you guys. We've got two in the box as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. We got two in the box as well. So here's our two other Eevees. So that required, of course, you know, doing a bunch of catching and stuff. So I'm going to go through and we're going to already kind of figured out, like, these are the best of the Mons that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, release. And I don't think, I don't think right now, can I release multiple? 
Can I release multiple if I select multiple? No, that's just that. Uh, you, I think, I'm pretty sure later in the game it lets you release multiple. But right now it's not going to let me, but we're going to go ahead and release these guys. Uh, yes. I think eventually, like, if you get enough, it, like, unlocks it or something. I cannot remember. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> You can mass release after you've filled up at least three boxes or four boxes. I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, well, maybe I don't release then and I just wait. <laughs> maybe I just wait. <laughs> That's good to know. That's good to know, Koneko. I know event it eventually lets you, but I just can't. I just couldn't remember when. Okay, let's also talk to Laventon so we can uh, get credit for all the stuff that I did this morning. We are currently first star. Let's see if this gets us another star. The person at the pastures will give you the ability if you talk to them after you have so many full boxes. Got it. Okay, we'll have to go back and talk to them. Okay, so here's like what we did. We got basically a lot finished with um, Baidoof. So you can see his card's almost done. Shinx, we did a lot. Eevee, we did a lot, obviously, because we were catching Eevees. And we also ended up catching and and, uh, and killing a couple Drift Loons. Thank you so much for the Lurk, Jane. We love our Lurkers here. Oh, almost. Almost. Um, Let's go back to the village. Got a house around and listen. All right, Jane, well, you do a good job doing your chores, okay? You do your chores real good. All right, I want to, let's see. Uh, let's come over here. Yes, I need to craft a Poké Doll. I remember somebody wanted one and I, I have enough wood now to do one. So we're gonna go craft a Poké Doll and give that to them. Yes, okay. Was it this guy? Did he want the polka doll? Yes. He did. Yay, I'm a good carver, I guess. He impressed. I'm taking a break from packing for a study at club sleepover. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. What are you guys studying at your study club, Club Koneko? Okay, we did that. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Springy mushroom. Search Sanqua's house to solve a mystery. Okay, well, we can go to Sanqua's house. Yeah, I thought it was over. I thought Sanqua's house was over here. I guess we should have done that when we picked up the quest, but we didn't. It's in one of these. Celtic Studies Club, so people I know from uni. Oh, that sounds fun. Celtic stuff is uh, is really fascinating, I think. Is, is this Sanka? No, that's Craig. It was over here, I swear. <laughs> Did y'all have a good night last night? Did everybody have a nice, restful sleep? Maybe it's this one. We're going to have a two-night sleepover starting tomorrow, so unfortunately I won't be here for day three of the stream, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay, Koneko. You've been here the other two days, so um, it is okay. 15 hours of content. I don't expect anyone to be here all 15 hours. I think that's kind of crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, It's this one I was trying to do. Let me press it. It says to search Sanqua's house. Sanqua, the captain of the construction corps. Says that strange things happening in our house at night. She wants you to find what's going on, but I can't remember which house is Sankwa's. It's one of these, like, back here. What? The door's locked? Oh, this is Sankwa's house, but I gotta come back at night. Okay. I remember. Well, let's go talk to the ranch lady. Yes, okay. And it's like a ghost thing with a chimicho, I think. Or a chimecho. No, I don't. I was just hoping you would unlock the thing for me. But I guess not. I guess I gotta catch more Pokemons. Alright, well let's see what's going on in the hall over here. <clears throat> I have a little icon to go there, so let's go to there. All right, it's over here. Oh, 
Okay, I gotta go talk to Mira. You have to have the number of boxes 100% filled up, no empty spots before she'll let you mass mass release. Okay. But we're not sure what how many boxes. Is that basically it? Well, let's do this. It is daytime, so actually, let's go ahead and evol evolve one of our Eevees. Here we go. Evolve. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, Eevee evolved. All right. Yay, we got an Espeon. And I don't remember when you're in the village who you can talk to to change it to nighttime. So I think I have to go out and uh, and change it to nighttime and then I can go back in. If I remember right, that's how that works. Um... Uh, it might just be, now that I think about it, it might just be that I'm supposed to go in my room when I'm in the village to change it to nighttime. <laughs> okay, well, it's nighttime. Let's go evolve the other Eevee. Yes, let's do it. Heck yeah. Okay, so now we have an Espeon and an Umbreon. And let's adjust their moves. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. Like this. Okay, now they've got their special moves on top. Fabulous. Yay. Oh, baby doll eyes, okay. Oh, yay, we leveled up. Fabulous. Yes, we'll report to Silene. Yep, we're gonna return to the village. <clears throat> level up, level up. Good morning, Maverick. Welcome into the stream. Happy to have you here. Um, exclamation, how to donate will show you everything that you need to know to help contribute. Today we are doing a hot sauce escalation. We did number one and two. We are at, let's see, we are at a total of $135.77 raised. If we get to 140, I will do level three and we'll keep going up to level 12. Here we go, like this. This is the escalation. We also, um, yesterday, chopped off a bunch of locks. We aborted a bunch of locks of my husband's very long, long, long hair. We need to do some more of those. Um, I don't think he's quite up for coming on the stream yet, but if you do some donations for that, um, when he's ready, we will do some more, we will do some more hair cutting. We'll do some more hair cutting. So if you'd like to see that. That was very fun yesterday. Everyone liked it. Thank you, Koneko. I had forgotten it had to be night, and there we go. Now it triggers the quest. Then you're supposed to investigate. Short black hair. There we go. <clears throat> What was that noise? There's a noise from the entryway. Uh-oh. Let's draw it back. What is it? <gasps> Sparks flying. I bet it's a Pokemon, you guys. What do you think? Oh, that didn't help. 
What's that? What's that? It's just a scared little Pichu. It's just a scared little Pichu. I do gotta go catch it, I do. It might sound absurd, but I think I have a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. Oh, that's cute. Now you have to keep it. It's your friend now, your best friend. Yay, complete. We got some Nanab Berry. All right, let's see. Do we have anything, any other quests that we want to do right now? That's not the quest. We go to the map for quests. All right. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Speak with Mickey. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about getting Cherim's Pokedex entry right now because that is a pain in the fucking ass. Thank you so much for the lurk, Lar. I hope you're having a good morning this morning, my friend. So sad this Pichu doesn't have spiky ears, though. I know, right, Koneko? It is so sad. It should have spiky ears. It should have spiky ears. Okay, let's see where, if it'll tell me where. Um, No, I don't want to do that. Let's see if it'll tell me where Miku is if I highlight it. The security court. Ah, uh, thank you so much for following. I do anonymous followers here. If you would like to announce that you followed, I'll be happy to say thank you with your name. But you don't have to. All right. Where's the dot? Hmm. Is it not going to show me until I walk upstairs more? Yeah, what do you think about that, Jane? I saw some other streamers doing it, like Anonymous Follows, and... Aw, uh, thank you for the applause. And I thought it was cute. Like, maybe people don't want to be called out. Maybe they just want to chill. So following shouldn't make them be called out, you know? Wow, indeed. <gasps> Welcome in, Maverick. So happy to have you um, as part of my stream. I will tell you a little bit about what I do normally. We're doing the fundraiser this weekend, the 4th of July, but typically I have two streams. I do a Thursday stream, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And um, we, uh, and we, this is like playing solo games. I play a lot of games that I, that have good stories. Um, I play a lot of like RPGs, simulations, things like that. Um, retro games, a lot of retro games as well. And then on Saturdays, that is my um, kind of collaboration stream. We do community days some week. I have a, a podcast type of stream I do with my friend Landon. Oh, they disappeared a lot and came back. Okay, there's Mickey. Um, and uh, we do like media analysis and, and other fun things like that. So it's kind of like a, a, live, a live podcast most Saturdays. Yeah, Jane, did you lurk last night? I hope you got lots and lots of points if you did. I know Kendra was talking about that. Happy to, to farm some points. <laughs> oh, we have to do evening for this. Will it work at nighttime? I bet it won't. I bet it won't work at nighttime. We probably have to switch it to evening. Okay, let's run back. I'm pretty sure I do go to my, um, my house to switch it over to evening. <clears throat> and if I just go to my bed, then it'll work. A little bit later on today, we are going to have Kendra come on and say hi to everybody and, and chat with y'all a little bit. Um, she's a mom, so, um, you know, it's kind of interesting right? Already being a mom and things like that when all of this is going on with our country and, um, and abortion rights in this country. So she's going to come on and talk a little bit about that. Uh, Jane, if you ran out of Pokeballs, you have to type in a type of Pokeball that you have and it'll work. Yes, she's going to be here in a little bit. I assume she is still sleeping right now or she has been rudely awakened <laughs> by her daughter <laughs> and, um, and they're hanging out. I assume one of those two things is probably true. Oh, poor Mickey just can't stay in frame. Like, she keeps clipping out, poor thing. Going in and out of existence. Like a crazy person.
Run, 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 run. I gotta make it there before the evening time goes away. <clears throat> Survey Corps lady, over here! Um, I want to go home now, but Drifloon won't let me go. Can you please help me? I can help you. I can help you because I'm the Pokemon expert around these parts. Miss, Miss Future Lady, that's me. That's me. But Drifloon didn't mean to be ma bad. It always played together with me. It's real friendly, so I kept it a secret from everyone. My name's Taki. See you around, Survey Corps lady. All right, see you around, Taki. Taki, that sounds like a snack. Taki sounds like a snack food. All right, let's go back to Mickey. Hopefully she won't be disappeared. And then they will find out that drift loons are actually awesome. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. Do you blow my mind? Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. All right. Yes, we know drift loons is dangerous, but they're not that dangerous. It's okay, lady. It's okay. All right, let's see. Do we have other quests that we want to do? No, that's not the button I meant to press. That's the button I meant to press. Okay, we're not going to bother with any of these. All right. Lunar, I'm at church. We'll watch if you're still on after church about three hours. Lunar, I will definitely still be on in three hours. You have fun at church. Um, sing really loud. That's the best part of church. And, um, and have fun. By the way, um, I think something that's really important in regards to supporting your state and local abortion funds, this just made me think of it, is that they have a lot more knowledge and resources and things of that nature in regards to like what is appropriate for your area. Like a really cool program that um, Carolina Abortion Fund has is um, that they help connect uh, preachers and ministers with resources to be able to preach about being pro-abortion to their congregations very very important in this area um it's something that uh that we that we so desperately need uh for people to have a better understanding of you know what what abortion really is and why it's a good thing all right let's put these some of these things away um we can also we can also do this let's give a rare candy to our lowest level ev yes Hell yeah. Good level ups. Good level ups. Okay. Um, we probably need to level up a little bit more. What else can we do? We need to fill up those boxes. We've caught enough Baidufs. We can definitely catch some Starlies. Um, what about Drifloons? We can definitely catch some Drifloons. Okay, let's try to catch Drifloons and Starlies for a little bit. Ooh, I need more Pokeballs. Do I have enough to craft some? No. But we can buy some. Let's go shopping. Whoa, we don't need that many, I don't think. <gasps> Lunar underscore daydream gifted a tier one sub to Sagi underscore Jane. They oh have my given gosh. 61 gift subs in the channel. Thank you so much, Lunar. I love you so much. Okay, let me add that to our um to our spreadsheet and see if we've gotten up to 140 now. Okay, not quite. We're at 138 and 27 cents. So two more dollars, two more dollars of donations, and we will do the next level of hot sauce. Hell yeah, Jane. You're back in subland. How's it feel? I hope it feels pretty damn good. Yeah, 61 gift subs. Lunar's awesome. We love Lunar. The best. The coolest. Someday I'll finish this game. <laughs> never. Never. 
Never. Oh my gosh. Um, Lily, that's right. I keep wanting to say Meta still. I'm so sorry. I'm having a lot of trouble with um with remembering your new name. Hang on. Let's pause. Okay. Hang on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's still stay hidden. Uh, let's go to the home screen because that should be enough. Let's see. Let's add two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're at 140 and 76 cents. So that should be plenty to do another hot sauce. Okay, we're on level three now. Here's level three. This is what it looks like. And I'll read you what it, what it is. All right. It is jalapeno habanero haban... No, no, wait, that's four. Jalapeno habanero and habanero powder. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna do level three hot sauce. And I went ahead and, and pre-opened these. <gasps> I opened all of them this morning. But I can't, okay, there we go. I was like, but I can't get into the saltines. All right, let's do a dollop. Level three. See, it definitely looks redder. Let's see how spicy it is. We need more though. This isn't spicy enough, you guys. I mean, I would just eat this, <laughs> you know? It's good though. I actually think the mildest one is best, number one, as far as the flavor goes. I don't think they're trying to make good flavors here. I think they're just trying to make them spicy. <sighs> All right, let's switch back. Um, Lily, how far did you make it in this game? <clears throat> what part are you on? I am habanero. I am made. I was born in it. That's not true. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. Um, I actually was not super into hot sauce. Like Levi kind of introduced me to that stuff. And like, as I've eaten more of it, I've become like more and more hot sauce tolerant and um, and enjoying it. Starlies fly away. And there's the drift loons. Let's catch some drift loons. Yeah. Boom boom. You bitch. <clears throat> oh, he's seen me. Ignore me. He's so mad. He's so mad. Uh oh. <laughs> He's so mad. Why are you so mad, Drifloon? Let's see. Defeat with ghost type moves. I don't have any ghost type moves right now. Why are you so mad, Mr. Drifloon? Do I have any things to bonk it out? Yeah, I do. Oh, come back. There we go. Take that. Now we get caught. Yep. Catch you, catch you, catch me, catch me, Mate. All right, do we, can we catch shinks? Do we need those? Yes, we definitely need more shinks. <clears throat> Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Drifloons are so cool, aren't they? So I know that Eevee says can't evolve, but there's no reason I'm not gonna evolve him because like, I already have the Espeon and Umbreon. So, and it takes him a little bit longer to learn the fairy move so that he can do, um, become Sylveon. So we need to get, we need to get the stones, you know? We need to get some cojones. I think I battled the second noble Pokemon and then my Switch has been off and stuff to my backpack for like three months now. Oh, I understand. It's a really good game. I've, I've beaten it. This will be my second playthrough. So it's really good. I really, really like it. Obviously, if I'm doing a second playthrough, you know? I just love the catching mechanic. It's like, it's just so satisfying. It's so freaking satisfying, like, just to run around and catch Pokemon in this game. I love it. Drifloon, Drifloon, Drifloon. Don't notice me. Yeah. 
Like, that's so satisfying. You can't do that in, in other Pokemon games, you know? I mean, I played the hell out of Let's Go because it has a similar, like, really fun, just throw the ball catching mechanic, but this one's, like, especially satisfying. Like, even more so. I just freaking love it. <clears throat> oh, he saw me. Where's my spoiled? Oh. My friend dragged me back to Destiny 2, so I've been hyper fixated on that. Oh. I never played the Destiny games. Um, Levi and Jeff, though, played a lot of the Destiny games when those were, like, you know, popular. They looked really good. Like, it's they're cool games. Just not for me. Don't, it's not worth it. <laughs> Why? Because it's addicting? Because you're totally addicted? <laughs> is that what it is? Because I could totally see that. And I love how you can just catch it and then it just you can just run on your way. It's actually it's not actually a good game. No. Well, but you've been hyper fixating on it so it can't be bad. Like there must be some redeeming qualities to it. Otherwise it wasn't wouldn't cause a hyper fixation. You know, not every game has to be like objectively good at everything. It just has to have certain good qualities. Like, you can uh, rag about the graphics on this game pretty hardcore, and you'd be right to do so. It's got a lot of problems. But um, the catching mechanic's fun, so it's a good game to me. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit closer. <clears throat> oh. Where's the spoiled apple corns? There they are. Don't notice me. Don't notice me, Mr. Shinks. I'm not a threat, I promise. I'm just here to chill. I'm just here to chill. There we go. That's what we want. <clears throat> the numbers go up. <laughs> we are beholden to the numbers going up. Oh my freaking god. The numbers go up is very addicting. Jinx eyes glow at night. Seeing that for the first time was terrifying. I thought it angered an alpha somehow and got confused it wasn't, as why the music wasn't playing. Oh, I love that their eyes glow at night. I think it's the coolest thing. I think it's like the coolest thing in the world. Like, so neato. Here's some more Drifloons. A little Drifloon nest, if you will. Come here, babies. I just want to catch you. Oh, whatever. I caught your friend. Oh, oh no. Come here, stop running. Bonk. Yay. Oh, you little bitch. You little bitch. Come here, bonk. There we go. That'll teach you. That'll teach you. That'll teach you real good. me. I'm just here chilling in the grass. Here we go. I don't want to catch you, but I do want to catch you. All right. More. More Drifloons. 
gonna have to get some more Pokeballs. <laughs> Silly Pokemon mimicking humans by hiding in the grass. It's true. It's true. All right. <clears throat> Hope it's about to be daytime. Can I catch this one? Oh, it noticed me. I was trying to go too fast. He's gonna despawn. Oh, I don't need a heavy ball. There we go. Got him. Got him. Oh, I think he despawned though. I don't think he caught. Oh well. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> After we run out of balls, we'll go see how many how many boxes we have filled up. What? How did you not get caught, Wormple? I threw it right at your face. Oh, because you're a bitch, that's why. Whatever. The skittish Pokemon are the most annoying. But you got to catch them all, so... That's that about that. Alright, let's go over in this grass. Got him. <laughs> Never have trouble with the skittish ones for me. It's the angry ones that are a pain. Oh, I just like bonk those guys in the face with the, the stunner. <laughs> so I don't really have a lot of problems with them. I just stun them first and then they're like, oh. I can't believe he didn't notice me. Can we get this one to not notice me too? Oh, shit. That was dumb. I'm terrible at timing the stun items, so by the time I have the balls ready, they're no longer stunned. Oh, I see. I believe in you, Koneko. You can get good. Okay, you'll see how bad I am at fighting the bosses um, when we do that. I'm very, very, very bad at it. You'll see I have no aim. It is just, aiming is just not a skill that I have as a gamer. It's not something I can do. I mean, you can hide in the grass from the aggressive ones too. You're terrible at fighting the bosses too, I'm mostly off. Oh my god, the Arcanine? Okay, out of all the bosses, the Arcanine is the hardest one. It is ridiculous how hard the Arcanine boss is. Like, I was like, are you serious? Like, it's harder than the final ones, you know? It's crazy. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see what we have. Okay, we're filling up Pasture 3. Oh, and Pasture 4. Okay, now it unlocked a bunch of pastures. I couldn't see these before. I wonder if that's enough that she'll give me the thing. Let's go try. Let's go try. Yes, let's report. Arcanine Arena sucks. It does! It's really hard to navigate that arena and, like, actually win. <clears throat> I disliked that fight a lot. Oh, I never talked to Silene. Yes, I do need to report to Captain Silene. I forgot about that. I need to get my star level. Level Electrode is also kind of atrocious. I just cheesed it with continue points. Yes. Same. But Arcanine gave me the most trouble. I would say out of all the bosses. I'm going to talk to Silene before I forget. Again. Should have gone and talked to her before. Hey, baby. I got some Pokemon for you.
Give me a star. Two star, two star. With this, you've officially attained second star. Yeah, you can now use feather balls. Wonderful. Yay. Love it. Alright, let's go talk to the other lady, and hopefully now we can mass release. We'll see if we need to catch more. Ranch lady. I love how you see your Pokemon in the ranch, like, oh, there's some of those Drifloons that I caught. Wonderful! <laughs> Hang on, the doggy wants in. Come, baby.
Okay, so sorry about that, y'all. The doggy did not need to come in. She needed some help, so I had to help her. Okay, did she unlock anything? No, I guess I have to fill up more. One, two, three. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Okay. I need to catch like 30 more Pokemon. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go buy. Let's go buy some more Pokeballs and we'll catch some more Pokemon. Hello, Mr. Shopkeeper. Eevee lock. Well, we're not really doing a Nuzlocke, but we are doing an all Eevee run, so basically. <laughs> but I'm not putting it on myself in this game to like, um, let's see, to, I don't want either of these. I want Pokeballs. Can I buy Pokeballs from you? I cannot. I guess I gotta go back out. Um, but I'm not putting it on myself to like, if a Pokemon dies, I have to get rid of it or that sort of thing. But I am doing all Eevees. I am doing all Eevees and we've got them. All right, yes, let's go here. We've already evolved our Umbreon and Espeon. We're gonna have to get stones for some of the rest of them. We can evolve Leafeon pretty soon. Um, but right now, I am trying to get it unlocked to where we can release multiple Pokemon at the same time. Do you know you don't need to release them? Yes. But I want to get the grit and stuff so that I can make my, my Eevee strong. So I know we do not have to release. I'm trying to unlock the max release. Or the multiple release at once. So we can get those items. Because it is very helpful. That's right. Any random shinies. We have not seen any shinies yet, my friend. We have not seen any shinies. Um, but we have not beaten the first boss either. We unlocked Wide Ear, but, um, but that's as far as we've gotten. Oh. Oops. I didn't mean to smack you. I meant to catch you. Five followers, primes, and viewers on, on my stream store. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, let's see. Where's my button to... Oh, yeah, it's a bot, for sure. Uh, oh, my gosh. Man, there we go. There's the button. Yeah, that's definitely a bot. <laughs> they always, these bots always promise in me that I can be famous, and they just, they never deliver. And it's very annoying. They shouldn't promise what they can't deliver. I do want to be famous. If I was famous, think of the crazy fundraisers we could do, you guys. Just think of them. Thank you, Kaneko. Appreciate it. I should make you mod. You're in here so much. Do you want that? You don't have to answer right now. If you want to answer me privately, that's okay. But I just realized, like, why the heck and heck have I never made you a mod? I should. There we go. Caught. Come to me, Starly. Yeah, see, we've got Umbreon and Espeon, and then we've got the rest of these are Eevees. And I've got two other Eevees in the in the pastures so that I can, um... Oh, okay. Maybe I have asked you before and you said no then, and I just totally forgot. But no worries. No worries, my friend. I do know, but thank you, Loot. I am okay with a little bit of backseat gaming to try to help me out. I have beaten this game, though, and so um, I do know some about it, but I haven't played it in a while. I played it when it first came out, like, hella, for um, for a good, like, minute. And then I put it down, and then I picked it back up to do this all Eevee run with you guys. Oh, at nighttime. Come to me, Wormples. Oh, what's that? Another Wormple. Hiding in the grass. 
Yeah, we'll get Leafy on soon and soon. We can walk over there and get it whenever we're ready. <clears throat> We're gonna have to get evolution stones for all the others, because it'll be easier to get an ice stone, I'm pretty sure, than to wait all the way until we get to the icy place <laughs> to get to the icy rock. That's like the end of the game. I might do a Glaceon run. Oh, fancy. You have to get ice stones for that, right? Because it would take so long. We can catch some Buizels. Come to me, mister. Done. See? You just whack him. You just whack him. And you can lock on. So. Oh, we are close to a hype train, by the way. Twitch is telling me that in one more minute, if we get some more subs, uh, gifts, or bits, we will have a hype train going. And remember, like, I am going to donate that money as well. I'm keeping track of, like, how much I'll end up getting from my Twitch payout when it comes. So I'll be able to donate that too. Oh yeah. Okay, we don't need any more Bidoofs. We don't need any more Bidoofs. Or I could put a Glaceon in home and trade it to a new save file. Oh yeah, that's true. I guess you could do that. That feels like cheating though. <laughs> using home, I mean, I know it's not cheating because it's like, it's a mechanic that the games have, but using home feels like cheating. I always hide, feed, then throw, or just fight. Oh, I see. I like to use the stunning items. I think they're fun. I like to whack them in the face. Feels good. Ooh, it raining. It raining. All these ponitas despawn. What's this? I do. I didn't need it, but oh well, whatever. Another by doof. All right, let's go back over this way. Oh, well, here's some darlies. We can use those for sure. Oh, why you run? Why you run, baby? I just want to put you in a ball. Forever and ever. And then turn you into grit. That's all I want. It won't be bad. It'll be good for you. You'll have fun. Come to me. Just like that meme, why you run it is right. Why you running? Why you running? Why are they running? They shouldn't. Why? I hit it. I hit it. Why did it exclamation instead of catch? This Wormple's rigged. Now he's gone. catch you instead. I'm the Will Smith meme screaming run in the background every time. Run! It's true, it's true. <laughs> you don't want me to catch the Pokemon, Jane? You want them to live in the, in the wild? Live out their best free lives? Oh, yeah. Don't pay attention to me, Starly. Turn around. No, I feel bad for them. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're meant to be caught, though. They exist specifically to be caught by me. That is, that is their whole reason. There's their whole raison d'etre. So if they don't get caught by me, then, like, what are they going to do? What are they going to do with their lives? Absolutely nothing. That's what. See? It's why he exists. Always have. When I played as a kid, I told my people my Pokemon were essentially free range. 
<laughs> Jane out here R RP in her Pokemon games with her free range Pokemon like it's the anime. <laughs> like Pikachu. That's too funny. Let's get some more over here. When we run out of balls, we'll go check again and see if we've got enough filled up. I think I bought enough balls that I would fill up four boxes or get pretty close to it. And since we were guessing that's the amount. It is good when you have the Pokemon games where the Pokemon can follow you. And I mean, I can take these guys out of their balls and stuff, you know? Ugh. Why? I could have caught you all sleeping. It would have been very painless for you. But you just had to wake up. And I'll take the Pokemon out of their balls in a minute and show you so you can see. Like, the, this mechanic, like, every Pokemon game from now on should be like this. You know what I mean? Like, I hope Scarlet and Violet are kind of like this in regards to the way the catching mechanic works, because this is, like, so way more fun than joining a battle to catch the Pokemon. So they should all do this. Come here, Cricket Tot. Mood, exactly. Koneko, you get it. Oh, what? What? What is this? What is this? Not staying in the ball. What's wrong with you? Whatever, we'll just go get these over here. There we go. Got you. Got you. Oh, no, I didn't. I miss estimating. I'm throwing them when they're too far away. Oh, check mark that off. Did we catch enough Starlies then? Maybe we have. Let's do one more. Oh, now we've caught enough. Oh, they all got their friendship. Oh, so you like Pokemon trying to kill you? Yeah, I kind of really do. I think it's like really cool that the Pokemon actually like attack you and you black out. Like, I think that's neato. And I hope that they keep that. Like making Pokemon a little bit dangerous, you know? It's like, it's a welcome change because like that's how it would be. They're wild animals. Like these are the animals of this world. Like, I know that there's some discrepancies in, like, the old anime and stuff and some lines from the older games and things like that. But to me, there are no animals in the Pokemon world. These are the animals of the world. These guys right here. Oh, we don't need Starlies. There's the Alpha Floatzel. <clears throat> He's not useful to us. 
Hey, Kendra! Get that coffee. I got some coffee here, some extra coffee. I have my morning coffee, but this is my extra pick-me-up coffee. How are you doing this morning? Pokemon are allowed to TKO me any day of the week. Exactly. Exactly. As they should. Okay, we're not going to worry about that Alpha Floatzel right now. <clears throat> oh, did I catch enough Drifloons? Smack in the face. <laughs> That's right. It's the circle of life. Okay, we can definitely catch some more Drifloons. I hate coffee. You hate coffee. Loot, do you drink tea or anything like that? Or are you anti, like, all of that sort of stuff? I love coffee. I wonder how this kind of gameplay would combine with Pokemon Ranger. It's very similar. Oh, hang on. I gotta go get the dog again, you guys. Oh, who fighting me? Who fighting me? Oh, that guy. Hang on. We'll just go to the, go to the map. I'll be right back. <gasps> All right. Riri says, hello, everybody. I'm a doggy. Go some water. We gave Ri. Oh, there we go. We gave Ri the bone from the pork butt last night, and uh, her tummy did not have the best reaction. So. Poor thing. She's an old lady. She's an old lady. So, she has trouble sometimes. Alright. Where's that? Where's that boy? Boop. Yeah, she is an old lady Pokemon. <clears throat> Poor thing. Okay, I have one more Pokeball. Try to get this Drifloon with it. Oh. Don't turn around and look at me. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I love tea. Oh, that's good. I like tea and coffee. But tea is good. Yeah. Ah. Maybe with the heavy ball. Oh, yeah. It doesn't go very far. I forgot. I gotta get in their face. Okay. Ran out of balls. Let's go back here. Yes. I'm gonna see how many Pokemons that is. Okay, so I've got Pasture 4 almost filled up. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more Pokemon. So let's get some more Pokeballs and fill up Pasture 4. But coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? For me, coffee. For me, coffee. I really don't drink hot chocolate. I mean, I have, but it's not like on my mind, you know? I don't go for it. You're cute. You're not going to say that in an hour. Why wouldn't she say that, Kendra? Why wouldn't she say that? I'm sure you're cute today. You okay, Riri? Uh oh, hang on. She still wants something. Let's go back to the map. What you want, Riri?
Go over here then. There's not. You come in, Oreo? Gotta close the door. You lady? All the Pokemon want to join me. <laughs> come on, lady. You wanna come in too? Okay, they're probably gonna, they're probably gonna get uh, asked to leave in just like five minutes, but whatever, they're here now. <laughs> I don't know of any Pokemon named Oreo. Well, now you do, my friend. Now you do. Yeah, he's a real life Pokemon. He's a silly boy. It's sleeping while flying. That Zubat was sleeping while flying. Have you ever seen such a thing? I have not. Welcome in, by the way, just a root. Happy to have you here. Am I out of? Yeah, I'm out of the thingies. Run away! Run away! Hello! <laughs> Sleeping while flying. Just Zubat things. Let's run up here. Oh, perfect timing on the fundraiser message. Yes, we are doing a fundraiser today. All proceeds from today's um, stream and tomorrow's stream benefit Carolina Abortion Fund. So if you would like to donate, the best way to do that is by tipping, but you can also sub, you can also cheer, whatever you would like to do. We are doing um, Hot Sauce Escalation Challenge today. So what that means is for every $10 we raise, um, I will go up a level in Hot Sauce. We're on level three right now. We got to do level four. Um, based on our totals... Of everything, we are at $140.76. Once we get to $150, we will do um we will do the next level of hot sauce. We also cut off a bunch of my husband's long, long, long hair that he's been growing for three years yesterday. And um, it's looking like a hot mess. <laughs> and uh, and we need to cut off some more. So if you'd like to abort some of my husband's hair, you are welcome to uh, to tip for that as well. And we will cut some more chunks off. You see me? You see me. Where are you, go? Where are you? Oh, right behind me. Oh, bitch. Got you. <laughs> I fell, it put me to sleep and I still caught him. All right, let's try to catch one or two more, and then I think we'll have filled up to number f the pasture four, and we'll be on pasture five, and then maybe she'll upgrade us, and we can release more at once. This is so easy, you can do it in your sleep. That's right, Koneko. So easy, I can do it in my sleep. All right, one more Pokemon. Where are you? Who will it be? This Zubat. Ugh, he saw me. A little butt. Oh, that's a heavy ball. There we go. Ugh, rude. Very rude of you. I guess I'll just have to beat you up. Oh, Snarl. Okay. We'll Snarl. We're gonna Snarl him to death. Goodbye, Zubat. So yeah, if you guys have um, Prime subs available, if your Prime sub is available, uh, I encourage you to use that, because that counts too. Um, you know, spend your Bezos bucks 
make Jeff Bezos help uh, support abortion funds. All right, let's go see if that's enough. Yes, beat him into complacency and then deny his right to autonomy. That's right. That's what we do with Pokemon here. All right, show me. Yep, okay, we got enough. Let's go see if she'll give us the access. Yes, I will report, I will report. Let's return to the village. <laughs> All right, lady, do it this time. <laughs> yes, 42 Pokemon is the answer. Life, the universe, and everything. Okay, lady, come on, give me the goods. Maybe it's five pastures? Holy crap. Uh, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Whatever. Oh, I can. If she did let me, I was just not reading properly. Hang on. Let me go see. Oh, yeah. I see. Release multiple. Okay. Well, let's find our best of the best. So this Starly has three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. Let's see if we have another one that has more than eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. Okay, that is the best Starly. Um, actually, hang on, you guys. The dog is acting uh really weird. Um, I'm going to put y'all on the Be Right Back screen real quick and um, and play you some music.
Okay. I'm back. Thank you guys. Um, I think she's okay. She's just a little bit stressed out and her tummy's a little upset. Okay, let's see if this is our best Baidu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know none of those are nine. I think most of these are not nine either. Oh, we only caught one more Baidu, actually. Yeah. Where is it? This last one? Yeah, okay. So we're good on him. This Shinx is only three. Do I have a better Shinx? That's a four. Oh, that one's good. Three, four, five, six. Four. 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 Two, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's our best Shinx. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want me to play it again, Just? Uh, give me, do a, um, do a dollar or more donation. I'll, I'll play it. Uh, the way I have it set up, it's split audio, so the VOD can't hear it. Only uh, you guys can when you're watching live. So this is five. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That's another five. Do you have anything better than five? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. There's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's another six. Move him. Ooh, one, two, three, four, f that's another six, okay. All right. Um, Krikatots, this one is a one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We also have... Let's see what other Pokemons we got. We also have um, Boizel, that's a two, four. Okay, so here's our best Boizel. What else have we got? We got Zubats, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Oh, that's a pretty good one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you have anything better than that? No. All right, do we have any other different types? Oh, Wurmples, that's right. One, two, three, four. That's some four Wurmples. Do we have anything better? Oh yeah, he's pretty good. We'll keep him. We need to keep two Wurmples. That's a good one too. Oh, that is not who I meant to move. <gasps> My bad. Where are you, Umbreon? There you are. Oh, shoot. Too happy with the fingers. All right. Do I have anything else that I might want to keep? This Geodude. We only have the one Geodude. Yeah, okay. So now we're going to mass release. Goodbye, everybody. You're going to a worthy cause of making my other Pokemon strong. Okay, then we release. Uh, yes. Goodbye. And now we get grit. I'm a big fan of that great way to start the morning. Yes, that is right, exactly. Heck yeah. Alright, let's make them stronger. So there's the grit gravel. And then we've got grit dust. 
up to level three. Okay. Um, let's improve your special attack. Oh, we're out. Okay. Let's improve your special attack then. Alright, let's go get some of that grit dust or whatever the gravel gr downgraded. Oh, sometimes it glitches for selecting multiple boxes. Really? Okay, I'll go check. Thank you, Koineko. I had no idea. I don't think I've experienced that. Um, let's see. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. Alright, let's go over to our training ground lady. I think she will downgrade the stuff for us if I remember right. Mm, yep, exchange items. But I want to go down. Can I not go down? Um... Oh, I guess because I can't select grit dust. So I can't downgrade. Boo! Alright. Well, can I still just use this? I can only use it if they're already at level 3. That's weird that it won't let me downgrade to the lowest one. Yeah, but for some reason it doesn't allow me to go to the bottom tier, which is weird. I don't understand that. It should let me go to the bottom tier. Zubat's eye. Probably because it's so plentiful. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just, if I just release one at a time, then I can get a bunch more. Not like it's hard to get. You know, my ear hurts. I have to switch to the other earbud. Oof. I love earbuds, but I hate earbuds at the same time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where's the clothing lady? Is that this one? I think I have a different outfit I could change into. Oh, no, that's just the regular shop. This must be the clothing lady. Because she's got clothes, so that makes sense. What is this? Oh, everyday kimono. Um, oh, I can change my eye color. Oh. 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 I do like the lavender ice eyes. Let's see. Okay, wait. Do I have a better color of kimono? Yes, there are better colors. But there's nothing that's that pink. We'll just keep our everyday kimono for now. Yeah, I think this is good for now. Yes, we're done. Don't worry, I will. All right. Let me make sure... Nope. But I'm not supposed to go talk to someone. Speak with Clarissa to learn about her request. Okay, she's over there. They should let me have my Y deer in town. I should be able to run around on my deer while I'm in town. Did you get the new mask via mystery gift? I don't remember. 
don't remember because I reset my whole game um, for this playthrough. I had so I had it once upon a time, but I reset everything. So if I have to get it again, then no, I haven't. It doesn't have any eyes at all, Clarissa. It doesn't. There are no zoo bat eyeballs. Worth checking, it just came out. Oh, okay. Yeah, no eyes. Yeah, no eye. It just uses echolocation. Yeah. Take a zoo bat. here it's miss it's under here right mystery gifts yeah get via internet am i doing this right if i remember right i think i'm doing this right just gotta get that mask thanks for the room yeah okay sweet i did it right clothing gift i just used the regular one the whole playthrough so the shiny one was a nice treat but we'll, we will put on the shiny one. Baneful fox mask. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the clothing lady and we will put that on. No. Why can't I put it on? What am I wearing that stop? Oh, with your hair styled this way. Hmm. Okay, we have to go fix my hair. I thought another piece of clothing was interfering, but no. It's my hair. Uh, style my hair, lady. I wish you could didn't run out of stamina or whatever when checking clicking the stick to run. I just want to sprint everywhere, yeah. And it doesn't even show you. Like I just stopped sprinting in this game because it doesn't even show you. You just get tired all randomly. It's very very annoying. I guess out of what we got now, we can do long. What colors does it let me do? Let's do white. And then, oh, that's eyebrows. Okay. No, that's fine. Yeah, this is good. Yes. Eventually you unlock pink and you can do pink hair. So we will do that eventually. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, you have pink hair like in real life. I wish I could. I wish I could do something like that, but my um, my work doesn't let me. We have to have natural hair colors for our dress code. Gross. Boring. There we go. Oh. Oh, I do love it. Oh, I do love it. Okay. Yes. Thank you, guys. Look at me. Who's that? What? Who's that girl? Oh my god. Who is she? Yeah, I look good. I wish it was that quick to change your hair color in real life. True. Get the wide ear kimono? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you guys. We'll get the wide ear kimono. You think that would match good with it, Koneko? Yes. 
Yes, and I'll be changing now. Now I feel like the pants are kind of dark. Maybe I need purple pants. I think... Oh no, I don't like the fancy bottoms. We're going to get amethyst. Yes. Yes. There we go. Weird ear. Ha 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 ha. Are you done shopping for now? Yes. Okay. There we go. Now it all ties together. Okay. We're fashionable. We're going to be pretty. We're going to be pretty now while we go catch some Pokemon. Because you can't really catch Pokemon properly if you're not gorgeous while you do it. Okay. No, I don't want to go somewhere. Work with Lan and Irja to make tea time balls from Cleaver's favorite food. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we have to go this way. Gotta dress them all fashion, Mon. Just let's just do a little jaunt through the rain. Just a little rain time. We're gonna actually walk on the path this time so we don't end up falling in the water. <laughs> I'm gonna try to follow the way the game wants you to go. So I don't have to climb up the ledge. That was annoying. You know one thing I will say about the design of this game? Why is the same button to go faster with Y-Deer the same button as sneaking and crouching when you're not mounted? Why is that? That's dumb. I know it's the button to alter movement, but they should have a different, they should do it differently as far as like which button is the button that makes you go slower and which button is the button that makes you go faster. Like, what in the heck? It's confusing. So you say that you galaxy people came up with the method to try to quell Lord Cleavor's frenzy? That's right. I look cool while doing it. Hey, you got it, Kendra. <clears throat> All right. Yes, yes, yes. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Confusion. What to do with the noble Pokemon. Time to fight. What level is her Pokemon? 17. Though I am still under leveled a bit. But that's okay. I'm gonna kick his booty. It's just like the others. I'm pretty sure she only has one Pokemon. Get him, Umbreon. Bye, Glaceon. Heck yeah. I know, I understand. We plan to throw its favorite food in its face. Bombs. The traffic cone Pokemon? Which one's the traffic cone Pokemon, Kentra? <gasps> I'm not familiar. Um, let's go make Leafeon first. I'm not ready. Oh, Umbreon. Oh, because he's blackened with the yellow stripes. I understand. I was imagining a, some kind of Pokemon that was actually shaped like a traffic cone. And I was like, what Pokemon would that be? I'm very confused. 
mean, they're definitely triangle-ish Pokemon, but none that evoke traffic cone to me. So I was confused for a second. All right, we're going to head over to the mossy rock and we're going to create our Leafeon. Neon yellow circles, yes. It's in the new game. It could be. It could be. But wait. Not on the beach, it's up here. I went too far south. Snover is close enough to being a traffic cone. Yeah, I guess Snover would be the one that actually is closest to being shaped like a traffic cone. The other one. I don't know. I mean, Snover's, Snover's pretty uh, triangle shaped. Which one is the tree? Like Bonsley? That line? Sudowoodo? Snover and Snow Rent apart. <laughs> I know what you meant though, Koneko, so it's okay. It's okay. All right, over here, or did I pass it? I think I walked, yeah, I walked past it because there's the alpha low bunny. It's somewhere over here. I was reading chat instead of actually looking at my screen. <laughs> so I, I missed it, I missed it, but he's over here somewhere. Is this it? Is this mossy? This isn't mossy rock. Where the heck is it? There it is, there's mossy rock. Okay. Hi, Eliza. How's it going? Are you having a good Sunday? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, these are all high friendships. So I'm scared if I evolve it, it's not going to do Leafeon, but I think it should still work. So... Let's try to get Leafy on. We're by the moss rock, so it should work. Evolve. Eevee's ready to evolve. Do it. Okay, hopefully this gives me Leafy on and not another Espeon. <sighs> I think the mossy rock should override the friendship. Yes, it does. Okay, wonderful. Yay! All right, now let's go back and actually fight the Cleavor. I'm gonna pick up some honey. Yeah, the evolution animations in this game are like so satisfying. The way it like, does the whirlwind. Like makes evolution a really big deal. Leafeon scares me, why Kendra? Leafeon loves you. Shouldn't be scared. Be you're okay. Calm down. It's gonna be fine. Kendra doesn't want to get by hit by Razor Leaf. I guess Razor Leaf could be kind of scary. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I if I'm um, if I can beat this guy. <laughs> I remember the first time I was playing this game, and like this was actually challenging. I was like, "What in the heck am I supposed to be doing?" We prepared your favorite thing: disappointment. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid its moves as you're throwing the bombs. Okay. You gotta dodge and throw, dodge and throw. <gasps> what? Uh oh, he's scurry. Skirt, you guys. I skirt. Cleavor. Okay. It's concentration time. It's concentration time. Okay, yes, I understand. To claim a victory, you have to quell its frenzy. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Okay. Oh, I should have backed up. 
instead of done that. What? I was not close enough to it for it to hit me. You can send in a Pokemon sometimes to do battle, but like, honestly, I don't really bother. Uh oh. Oh shit, I was too slow. What does that thing eat? I tell her, and humans. It does eat humans. It does eat humans. You don't stay stunned for long enough, my friend. Oh shit, that's a new move. I wasn't going to get it the first try. Okay, but we're going to cheese it. So this is how they kind of make the game um, tolerable. If we do continue battle, it will uh, go back. Yeah, it's going to already have a reduced gauge. So we're going to keep previous progress. You can see it's only going to be so far. Bitch. Oh my god. <gasps> I was dodged from you. You stupid thing. Hello. I I <laughs> Do you want to show them how your hair looks? There we go. I got him. We'll switch to the webcam for a second. Hang on. Let's pause. Okay. All right. You can see we got some chunkies. We got some chunkies. And he's got like one little cow look in the back. So we need some more donations for cutting off Levi's hair. So if y'all want to, if you want to help him out and get the rest of it gone, we need a couple more. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to the game. He looks so sad. He is sad. He needs help. He needs help. But he's not going to cut the rest off until you guys donate because he cares more about um, women that need abortions trying to get them than about um, how stupid his hair looks right now. So you want to save him from that, right? Okay, Cleavor, you're not frenzied anymore. Insect plate, yes. Okay, we got two plates now. What happened? Some kind of light eruption from Cleavor's body. Yes, so they're they're talking about the frenzy. Um, it's some weird unnatural power for their Lord po that's happening to their Lord Pokemon. So that's how the boss battles work, basically. That one's supposedly the easiest one. I I don't think it's... I don't think, like, they really... I think they try to ramp them up in difficulty, but it doesn't quite work like that. Because I've had the most trouble with Arcanine, which is, like, in the middle. <coughs> yes, 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 yes. You know what, Koneko? Dodging's for losers. If I meant to get hit, I meant to get hit. But I do know, like, you have to dodge for Arcanine or you can't really do it. Okay, Citrus Berries. Thanks. Okay, she believes me now. I really did fall out of the sky. I don't know why anyone would make that up. But, um, but whatever. 
<laughs> okay, so we gotta go back to town now. Yes. Arcanine's area sucks so bad, even the dodging, dodge rolling really doesn't work properly. Yeah, like you gotta actually like really for real time it. It's it's very frustrating. If he just had a bigger arena, I do think that it would be easier, but the design of his arena makes it very, very hard. Someone's at the door, y'all. Hang on. Okay, we're back, you guys. It was a delivery. Okay, cutscene. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. I have plates. Olo loves my plates. <clears throat> Yes, impressive. I got a plate from Cleavor, and I got a plate from Weirdeer. There's a mystery with the plates. I need to collect them. Mysterious stamina bar that I don't get to know about. Follow is such... Koneko, I think you're obsessed with every character in this game. But, I mean, I don't blame you. They're all very, very, very freaking cool. Adaman is definitely a fave for me, though. Well done. Yes, I quelled Cleavor's frenzy. Just Adaman and Volo. Everyone else is neat, but those two are fave. I do like them. And who's the lady at the end? Oh, I can't remember her name. She's really cool too, though. The one with the fancy dress. Can't remember her name, but you don't really meet her until the very end. And she's the coolest. More potato mochi time. <clears throat> I have never had potato mochi, by the way. But in this game, you eat it all the time, so it must be good. Yeah, she's neat. Yeah, it's a secret hideout, exactly. That lady. <clears throat> I've been waiting for you, Karen. My name is Vessa. <gasps> okay, I'll come with you. It's a secret. Something terrible happened. Okay, so this is basically a side quest because um, this game can't ever just let you catch Spiritomb. You always have to catch it in some kind of weird, fancy way. So if you do this collect crazy collection quest, then you can end up catching Spiritomb. So that's what we've got. Yeah, 
Yes, I understand. Thank you. You have to get those things all over the area. Fancy lady gives me like Yuko vibes, like you know. Yes, exactly. Yuko from Holic. That's exactly the vibe she gives me too. Who and she's awesome. Yuko from Holic is awesome. Really, really good character. <gasps> it absorbed. And as you gather them, like the more you get, she'll give you little prizes kind of as you as you go. So you do get little bits, um, bits and bobs. <clears throat> I want to cosplay Yuko at some point, but I need a wig for that. And cons are always when it's super warm. That's true. And then you just be hot with your wig all day because it would be a really long wig. Who is this? That's me. I quelled the cleavor, but who are you? Yes, I do have a reputation. Arazu, warden of the Diamond Clan. This is the other Diamond Clan person. All right, let's go pick up some. Uh, let's go pick up some more quests. Jane, welcome back. Did you get to finish all of your chores? I hope they went well and easy. Okay, it's up here. Hello, Mr. Man. Ursaluna? What? Not Ursaluna, too. Oh, no. <gasps> Look who it is, you guys. It's Kendra. No, no, it's Ursaluna. Oh, it's Ursaluna. Okay, it's Ursaluna. <laughs> um, Ursaluna, would you would you like to be on camera today, or do you want to do your voice today? I'm going to have to do my voice. I don't have my camera here. Oh, okay. You're at the other house. I am at the other house. If okay. I show up on your stream, I'm just at the other house. <laughs> I feel like that happens almost every time. It's, that's just what it has to be. I think there was like, when we did the historical fantasy. Um, yes. <laughs> I, I did bring my setup over here. Yeah. For that but, one. Oh, uh, hey, Jane. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. You get all the fun gross facts today. <laughs> yes, you guys. So in addition to um, all of the different things that you can choose. Every time you donate, no matter what it is you're choosing, uh, Kendra will also share a fun um, mom fact or an unfun mom fact, whatever whatever we want. And, and Kendra, do you want to explain why? Why are we doing mom facts for an abortion fund? Those are two opposite things. No, they're not. <laughs> Tell me no, more. <laughs> uh, a vast majority of the people who seek out an abortion who get an abortion or who think about getting an abortion are already parents themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there are so many reasons why a parent, somebody who already has kids, somebody who already has experience and knows what they're doing would say, I cannot do this. Mm -hmm. Yep. So many reasons. There's so many reasons. There was, so I couldn't stick with the show, but at some point during the pandemic, when Netflix put out Working Moms, mm. um, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Preemptive bless you? <laughs> oh, excuse me. <gasps> Kendra, um, your sneezes are so cute. Stop oh, it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what? I usually get, I, I don't have the, the normal mute button that I have at home. <laughs> That's my sneeze. <laughs> I'm just I'm so I'm all of five foot most of me suits that including the sneeze mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but right now I'm like 80% baby I'm like oh my god by the end I'm gonna be 90% baby oh gosh there's just there's not a lot of body that I have 
There's not a lot of body real estate here. Yes. A free fact from Jane's uterus today is the baby's kicking me downward and hurting, hurting my butthole. Oh, thank you for sharing, Jane. Yeah, Jane. So about that, here, I'll, I'll bump off that at my last uh, pregnancy appointment. Um, we found out that baby is technically breech, which means feet are pointed down. So every time baby stretched, he was pushing on my cervix. <gasps> oh and no. That hurts. Oh my god. And it was stressing me out because uh, this is my second pregnancy. So I'm used to like that cervix push near the end. Cuz that's when, you know, the baby's descending the way the weight of this whole whole giant thing is just on your cervix. As it thins and gets ready for labor. And that was happening at, you know, 20 weeks. And I was like, excuse me, there's oh a problem. And they go, oh, no, it's fine. Baby's just breached. I was like, excuse you. This is not fine. This hurts. <laughs> like, oh, Apparently it's, it's normal. <laughs> yeah, it's normal. So that's fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was tweeting that you're here. Oh, so yay. people's better come. They, they so y'all can go come. re so y'all can go retweet that uh, that Kendra's with us. Yeah, yeah. I'll open up Twitter so I can retweet it too. Okay, sweet. Everybody retweet yep. it. Everybody retweet. Come get it. Uh, <laughs> working moms did stress me out and did make me cry multiple times, but it also made me feel very seen um, at a time when being a mom was really hard. Mm. All of the support networks that I had and I was lucky enough to be able to access mm -hmm. were gone with COVID mm. at the very start. But there was an episode where one of the moms finds out that she's pregnant. It was unexpected. And the whole episode was her deciding whether or not to go forward with the pregnancy. Oh my gosh. And she decides not to. And another, and one of the other moms goes with her to the clinic and is like, I'm right here with you. And it was so beautiful. Um, I'm glad she had a friend with her. She had a friend with her. She had the support. It was a very beautiful, non-judgmental handling of the topic. So I, I really enjoyed that episode. I didn't get much further than that. It was just, it's a hard watch. Yeah. It's a good show, but it is a hard watch. Sounds like it's very, very serious, right? Very serious, no. very real. <laughs> it's it's not very serious. It's very um, tongue-in-cheek about different types of motherhood, and it doesn't shy. It's like... In the same vein of Grace and Frankie being very tongue in cheek about aging. Oh, okay. It's similar like that. Yeah, she had, she still had a child, mm -hmm. a very a small baby. And she and her husband were like, you know what? And they had an older child too. So this would not have been a first time thing. It wasn't the second child, it was, you know, a third or fourth kid. Mm -hmm. third or fourth pregnancy mm -hmm. and but, my understanding is that's what happens like a huge portion of the time like the abortion is considered not because the person doesn't want to be a parent it's because they all they are already a parent and they don't have the resources for more or they have a pregnancy that doesn't go well or you know situations like that it's not about like oh no mistake yeah <laughs> and it just it, it's not a viable option Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, the family decide uh, they decided as a family. Mm -hmm. um, the parental units decided as a family. Their small children were not involved in the discussion. <laughs> That's a little, <laughs> a little rough for a kid, right? <laughs> oh boy. But yes, uh, poor Eliza, trying to. Um, she overhears some of these conversations mm. just because she has ears and yes. is around adults a lot. 
and that's what's on the news. Mm-hmm. My in-laws watch the news. Mm-hmm. So she hears. She, I don't think the comprehension is there, but she hears. She gathers that you know there are things that are upsetting. Um, you know when the decision was leaked. Um, it was a time where she and Matthew were out of the house, but by the time they came back, I was just, you know, let me, let me squeeze you. Let me come here. Let me hug you. Mm -hmm. Similar thing. When anything bad happens uh, to children that makes national news or local news, think bad things happen here too. Yeah. It's just, I just need to hug my child. (laughs) There's absolutely (laughs) nothing I can do at all but support this tiny human it's it's rough it is so rough out there and she hasn't asked questions about this so that's you know that's a good thing for now i i do not know how to explain this to a four-year-old yeah i mean at some point of course she's gonna have to understand but she's young enough now where she can get away with not understanding really what this means she um, understands how babies are made. Mm-hmm. And I am so thankful that so far we're five months in. I'm so thankful that I have not had the experience of being out in public in the store or at the park with her, where she loudly announces in her child voice, your egg cell met daddy's sperm and they oh. collided. <laughs> Eliza, you would. Oh my god! I know she would because that's the we go. You know, well, a baby needs two things. A baby has uh, there's an egg cell and there's a sperm cell, and they have to combine. They have to meet together to make a zygote. Mm -hmm. And then, and she's gone through the developmental like fetus stages, zygo, embryo, fetus, all of that. So she logically knows, freaks my mom out every time she says something about it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, A little bit of, a little bit of they grow up too fast kind of, right? Yes. uh, However, there's studies that show that Using this type of language, being open about this process, um, helps reduce opportunities for sexual predators. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. like, well, you know, it's not, not a using comfortable euphemisms. conversation. Yeah. No, not it's not a comfortable conversation to have. Yeah, uh, but it's always been our policy if she asks a a question about it to nurture the question as long as it's age appropriate. Yeah. Uh, She's recently figured out that bacon is made from pigs. (gasps) Oh, how did that go? Oh, fine. Oh, good. (laughs) She's like, whatever. Because I know she was, um, she was hardcore watching Peppa Pig for a while. So yeah. Gosh. I, it's like, whatever. Oh, that's fine. Um, and, and then hamburgers come from cows, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like it's, you know, you grow the, you raise the cows. And then when the cows die, you take parts of their body and it, you make it into the food. Mm-hmm. Um, her that's thing right now. close enough to what happens. That's what happens. Yeah. It, you know, the animal dies. Its body becomes food. I I don't need to describe how the animal dies. (laughs) That's 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 the age appropriate part, right? Yeah, it's not age appropriate. And I don't like thinking about that. (laughs) Yeah, nobody does, right? Uh, You know, I don't know. My in-laws have neighbors who have a mobile butchering service. Really? Yes. Because that's where we live is, you know, farmland. Mm Mm-hmm. I guess I never imagined a mobile one, but I guess nowadays they would have that sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, you, you've got to with people like me who want to raise sheep, but they don't want to do the killing part when the sheep needs to be killed. 
Yep. Well, it takes a lot of extra resources and time and stuff to do that stuff as well as it being unpleasant. And a skill. Mm-hmm. You know, you've got to be able to do it in the most humane way mm-hmm. and know how to drain them properly. Like, it's it's disgusting. Yes. It's absolutely it's, disgusting. It is disgusting and it's a lot. <laughs> it's so much. But this whole family, like, it's just this family business. And I'm just, I'm thankful that they don't drain their livestock um, right by the side of the road, right on their fence line anymore. So that that sounds uh, very pleasant. <laughs> yeah, it was great. We're in a school. They, my in-laws live right next to an elementary school. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and this is like the last farm. So a lot of kids whose parents drive them to school, like minivans, stop all the time on the side of the road. Yeah. And open the door to be like, look, cows. Because the cows yeah. are always like right there. <laughs> yeah, oh those poor God. kids. Yes, for real. <laughs> this Why is it this so Togepi? Annoying. It's so annoying. It keeps doing the draining kiss so then it restores its health. And it's not even his only Pokemon. So I'm uh, like, really annoyed. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Man. Let's try Leafeon. That's the U.S. government right there. <laughs> Appropriate. We're going to try to use the, the agile style so we can go faster and maybe that'll beat it. Um, I used to make extra cash slaughtering turkeys for farms. Lots of processing is brought into farms. Oh, that's cool, Jane. Jane, I wish that I could be surprised. Here we go. Got hey, it. you you say the most fuck wild things. You've had the wildest life. <laughs> and I now you say things. I'm just like, yeah, you could tell me that you uh went and did some like covert CIA operation against Mussolini, and I would believe you. <laughs> me too. Like, I'd my be friend. Like, yeah, that tracks. That that sounds like Jane. Sounds right. Chop chop. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh my god. Please, please. I oh right, let's man. strong stop. This Gibble. I love Gibble. It's so cute. It is super cute. Oh my god. I love this Pokemon. Kendra, have you ever played this one, Legends Arceus? I started to. Uh, I was very excited about it. And then I Fun free mom fact. I am one of like the, you know, 10% or whatever it is of people who get turbo morning sickness. So for me, this will be my last pregnancy. I cannot physically or mentally do another pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, with Eliza, I lost 30 pounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you gain weight. You're supposed to gain weight when you yes. have a baby. You're not supposed You're, to lose it. No, it's not supposed to be a diet. Mm -mm. Um, and I am still, it's not an everyday thing, but I am still taking the medication that they gave me. Yeah, because I mean, it's still coming on some days, right? Yes, and it can come on real strong still. Yeah. So it's basically fun thing i feel like any mom fact i'm about to share needs to be prefaced with okay hey uh body horror trigger warning <laughs> um, well you know people like gross stuff people seem to um enjoy the the cupcake thing with um eating america yesterday so you know i know this is a different true. type of gross but um it i think the people like the gross. gross i think they like it though okay so yeah um because it one of the requirements for a hypermesis hypermesis gravidarum is the technical term. It's turbo morning sickness. Mm -hmm. It's I was throwing up ten plus times a day, every day, mm -hmm. consistently throwing up so hard <laughs> that you know losing control of your body. And your bodily functions, not being able to keep liquid, anything, nothing. Ended up in the ER. Like, it's just, it's bad and it's hard. And pregnancy is hard on a normal, healthy body mm -hmm. without 
all of this extra no nutrients happening and this clump of cells at that point inside of you any nutrients you get skips you and goes straight to that when your body is in that state of un being unable to take in anything yep yep so you get even less than what so you I like otherwise. I it was just bad it was so bad topped with the mom guilt of I feel like I'm neglecting my child mm -hmm. the one that I have who doesn't understand why all of a sudden mom can't go to the park why mom can't get down and play why mom can't do this and yep. being a primary caregiver it was just it was too much and I think that's a big um, that's a big part of it, right? A, a lot of times when moms are considering um, abortion, sometimes it's literally like they do not have the capacity and resources to have another one. You know, it's, it's, it's very it's nothing, true. Yeah, it's nothing to do with like not necessarily wanting a, a child or, you know, or that sort of thing. It's just it's just more like we have limitations, <laughs> you know, it's moms are not, are not super. To, yeah. Moms are not super heroes that can do anything. And any parent who is not the lady at the park I was at the other day will <laughs> tell you. I'm still, I'm still so mad about the conversation I overheard. Like I was who fired up about it yeah any parent will tell you that parenting comes with guilt mm -hmm. that you are always going to feel bad about what you're doing for whatever reason be it you know you feel like you should be doing more or you feel like you did something wrong even if you didn't because you're gonna mess up mm -hmm. like you will the important thing is, is that you model how to handle it when you mess up. Um, yep. <clears throat> yeah, so, like, you know, my four-year-old's pretty emotionally intelligent compared to some of these other kids at the park. Because I'm sitting here going, oh, when I mess up, I say, hey, when mom did this, that was not okay. I am mm -hmm. very sorry. I should, I know better. I should have been better. Um, so this tiny child is just running around being ridiculous <laughs> at the park. <laughs> and just like, oh, okay, you want to do, yeah, sure, do, 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 do. And it's great. And you can tell other kids who have respect, whose parents are using a respectful parenting in the park. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to tell. Mm -hmm. And which ones are kind of just letting their kid, you know, do whatever. And, uh, and or like, an authoritarian or, parent. Yeah. Or the opposite of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very easy to tell. Um, but you know, it's, it's interesting with Eliza, we had, we, we planned for Eliza. We tried for a few months. We got very lucky. It did not take us long. With this pregnancy, we weren't, we did not have the discussion of, oh yeah, it's time to try for another child. It was a, you know, another friend of ours is also pregnant. Um, and she was asking those of us in the friend group who have had kids before, what their first like pre positive pregnancy test symptoms were. And we were all, those of us who had kids were all sharing our experiences. And I realized sharing mine, that those things were happening. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So I found out very early with this, mm -hmm. uh, which was good because yeah, I wasn't doing all the things that you do when mm -hmm. you're growing a person. Yeah. Oh. And but getting boy. a head start on those things is always going to be beneficial. Yes. 
Eliza said something weird at some point last year, like right, you know, at the fall, October, September. It was something and about was baby like, names or something like they were going to have a sibling and, and she like already knew the name or it was something like that. Yeah, it was something weird last year about it. And I said, my child knows too much and there have been too many weird coincidences. I'm just going to start taking prenatals. And because ideally you want to be taking prenatals about three months before conception. Mm -hmm. So the buildup of nutrients is there. So there is a pool for a baby to draw from and is not just, you know, draining all the calcium from your bones. Mm -hmm. Babies are fun. (laughs) They are. I love it. I would not change this. Um, but the point is it's very hard so you should have every um, ability and opportunity to make it a conscious choice and obviously since it's been several months now um, you guys decided like yes yes, we do want to keep this pregnancy but you could have just as easily not decided that yeah yeah that was a decision that I did have to struggle with yeah because it was I'm in bed throwing out or on the bathroom floor for 80% of the day. I am mm-hmm. not able to do this. Can I justify this? Can I justify feeling like I am neglecting my child that I have right now who still needs me? Mm-hmm. Who can I justify missing work Yep. for this? Because it was, I we got very lucky and there was about a month where my work was closed so I didn't miss as much work but I was unable to work very early on mhm you had I several months where the, the yeah you had several months where the morning sickness was all day sickness and um, it, it, yeah. and so working was not going to happen there was and no accommodation they could make so that you could it. come in <laughs> there was none and I very lucky with my boss who's a wonderful person and who I told very early um, just so that she would be aware like hey I am going when I'm in because I did not work very much but when I'm in I'm going to be moving slower Yeah. just so you know (laughs) and she was like whatever you need if you need to lay down on a bed you go lay down on that bed Mm mm-hmm But there are people who still get laid off for other reasons. Yes. On paper that aren't pregnancy, but it's pregnancy. Yep. Yep. Kendra's um, uh, job that she's talking about in reference to that time period was uh, was a hotel, by the way. So it's not she doesn't just have beds at her office or something. (laughs) That would have been amazing. (laughs) That would be very cool. (laughs) That would be the best office job. Yeah, there's a nap room. Mm -hmm. Go take a nap. (laughs) I wish there was a nap room at every office. There should be. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, man. I want a nap room in the office. Oh, gosh. Wouldn't it be great? Yes. Because sometimes you just need a little 20-minute rest. Sometimes, yes. And then you can be refreshed, go back to being productive or whatever. Gosh, the eyeball animation is perfect. (laughs) <laughs> for baby doll eyes, isn't it? It's I so love funny. It. I love it so much. Okay, we're going to bring out oh. Beefy on. He's like way higher leveled. I'm going to have to level up after this. Yes, This is like are. too much. I can't believe you're here doing this specific <laughs> one at this level. Like, why yeah. what, what's happening? You know, I tried to look up a, a guide that like of what level things were, so I didn't spend too much time on stream just leveling up pointlessly. Because um, yeah. that's boring, but um, but I couldn't find one. Like nothing, not, I couldn't really? find a list of of levels for anything. I was like really oh my annoyed. Goodness. Yeah, I can't believe that. That yeah, I couldn't believe it either. So wild to me. Yeah. Um, there's probably guides out there that list the levels, and I just didn't find the right one. But um, yeah. but yeah, I I could not find it. I struggled. And they weren't listed as whatever what it was you were looking for. Yeah, exactly. Like, they must have been listed as some other kind of guide that I didn't find. 
Mm, let's bring Sylvie on. But he's only one and I have six, so, you know. Yeah. He should be cool. Well, so you say that. <laughs> I got him to halfway. Oh, bitch, yeah. baby doll eyes me. Rude. Oh, here. Just love the big eyeball. Yeah, it's so blink. goofy. Blink, blink. It's so goofy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, even the strong one didn't do much damage, so I like, there's no yeah. reason. Just use regular so I can go faster. Exactly. <clears throat> he almost dead. Perfect. He almost dead. We're gonna get him. Yeah. He's down to red, but boy. So are you. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, oh, let's man. try that. Oh, it's... Mm. <sighs> Yay, defeated Ursaluna. Yay! You did it. Sweet. Oh, man. But I feel like most of the time in this game, they only make you fight one at a time, so you can kind of, like, be under-leveled yeah. and it's okay. You can get away with it a little bit. Yeah. There's not really like gym battles where they have multiple Pokemon like you would have in a mainline game. Yeah. That is the thing. I get bored very quickly with mainline Pokemon games. Mm -hmm. This one held my attention a lot longer. And it was very sad when I was just laying in bed with unable to do anything. <laughs> like I just want to play Pokemon. Mm hmm. But yep. see, like, looking at something that moved was enough to trigger. I remember. Bomb. I don't know if y'all remember. There was several months where Kendra did not stream because of the morning sickness. Because, like, any type of movement or scrolling or, like, the person walking on a video game, like, she couldn't handle it. Sitting up for two hours was yeah. just unfeasible. I could not do that. Mm-hmm. I remember. It was curled up fetal position only. Yep. Speaking of which, um, let's play a, a clip from uh, Kendra's channel. Y'all should go follow her. Let's, uh -oh. see, let's see what it picks. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to pick the spider. Let's find out. Oh, man. Here we go. Hmm. Rudy's dealing with some peasant uprising. My goodness. There we go. Bonk. Oh, not the spider. Bonk. Bon, bon. <laughs> oh. I had like coffee. That Baby likes coffee. Boy. Oh, really? Your uh, your current baby likes coffee? Any sugar is going to make baby move. Mm. Uh, and again, I, I am only five foot. There's not a lot of real estate there. <laughs> so... Baby's about a foot long at this point. I feel baby when baby moves. Constantly. <laughs> um, and it's great. It's a great feeling uh, to know that he's in there doing all right, doing good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't feeling that, I would be anxious. But yeah, for sure. <laughs> at the same time, it's also like, oh, this is a weird thing yeah because it's still like not pleasant go to the it's, commander and like, okay. it's so weird it's such a weird feeling yeah i was trying to figure out how to explain it the other day and the closest thing that I have is, you know, those body socks that people have in like aerobics class or like gym classes now or whatever, where you just like in a big pillowcase. Yeah. Uh, and when you, when you watch someone in that move around, it's that it's watching someone move around in that. That's the feeling in your tummy. <laughs> <laughs> that oh is God. the closest I can get to because there's not a lot of other bodily functions that feel this way mm -hmm. early on 
maybe you can mistake it as gas moving through your intestines, maybe. Um, personally, I never understood that. That was not my experience, but a lot of people say, yeah, I can't tell if it's gas or flutters. And I'm sitting here going, what type of gas are you having? <laughs> well, you don't know. You don't know what their struggles are, Kendra. It could, it could I be. I don't. That's why I'm asking. What yeah, type of gas are you having where you could feel it like bubble, like a cauldron? Oh my gosh. And I'm just like that. And it's not in the place of bubbling where you go, oh, I need to go to the bathroom right now. And it's not that. Uh, connection there so i'm just like <laughs> what is happening i'm very concerned for your uh gastrointestinal tract oh my god koneko that's crazy i didn't know you could drown in um in one of the pools i thought you could only drown in like the river area um oh no so I, hope, I found it that doesn't you, you found it too yeah i found it it's um embarrassing because <laughs> well, you think you can just run through the pools so why would you not yeah. just run through them i know and then you have this shame you're playing this game alone in your bedroom and you feel shame. I definitely haven't encountered it, but maybe we will. <laughs> I hope you don't. I hope I don't too. The drowning is annoying in this game. And drowning is annoying, but also you're doing it publicly. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> like, I have a heightened sense of shame just because of who I am as a person. But... <laughs> You're doing this in front of people. I can't imagine. Well, I mean, I will put myself through shame if it will get donations. So y'all keep that I in mind, y'all that are listening. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> We're only on, we only did the three levels of hot sauce. So we definitely need to get some more donations today. So you guys I have can't believe Twitter's. Only... What, My... only three? Why am I not signed in? There we go. Okay. So signed in to what? Know. Twitter. Oh, yeah. Y'all that have heard... Twitters, um, post it up. <laughs> Get some peeps in cool. here. Get some, Wait. make some friends. Gosh, Levi. <laughs> oh, God. Every time he comes on, I'm just like, you are the saddest looking human right now. What? You poor thing. He's he doing it for the cause. So morose. <laughs> it's okay. He's being, but he is being very, um, very patient. So I am so impressed. I would pull my own hair out if I had it cut off in chunks like that <laughs> and had to live with the chunkiness. Oh, believe me, he wants to. He wants I to. I bet he does. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I cut it off here. yet? <laughs> I like I want to just show up and shave it at this point. I'm like, you poor thing. I need to put you out of your misery. Well, you guys, you can put Levi out of his misery. We can get, do a couple more um, donations to cut the rest of his chunkies off. And um, then after oh, that, please. yeah, then after that, we can do some kind of goal for shaving it. Sorry, I just saw a tweet that said, what if we kissed and I dislocated my jaw like a snake and swallowed you whole? And What if? Uh, yeah, what if? Tell me, what would happen? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. Just slurp. Interesting. I, I'm so just like taken aback now. Like, hold on. <laughs> you follow I'm some interesting up. Twitters, Kendra. I that that was retweeted from a mutual friend. I'm just like, what's happening? I don't understand. Okay. And I also saw a cool uh, artwork of a cat from some German man medieval manuscript. I'm like, oh, that's Oh, I good. love those. I love those too. <laughs> it's my brand. Dumb medieval shit. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go with the Ursaluna, but I'm supposed to search for something with this guy. Yeah, person, right? Yeah, I think so. Good luck. Yeah, but I don't see the signals. Yeah. I, Ursa Luna's controls were so touchy for me. I never... Yeah, I don't really use him um, after yeah. this, the quest that you have to use him. 
Exactly. It's just like, no, thank you. That's too much. Whew. Oh, who are you? Deep in. Ah, NFT. I see. I see. Okay. We don't want no NFTs up in here. No, I know. Uh, I got a Twitter notification, and I was like, I don't know this person. <laughs> and then I I track, and I was like, oh, okay. That's all right. That's why I don't know this person. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I see a shard. A shard. Up a little ghosty wisp. Oh. I'm not really yeah. worried about those right now. Oh, okay. boo. What the heck am I supposed to do? I, maybe I should actually read. That well, again, the Lady of the Ridge has been driven to a frenzy by strange lightning. Investigate the matter and find a way to quell her frenzy. Ride on her saloon and follow the blue signals to sniff out Azure in the Crimson Mirelands. Hey, Jacob. How's it going? Welcome into the stream. Um, I don't think you've been here in the, um, in the fundraiser yet, so I will explain to you how it's going. So this is all to benefit Carolina Abortion Fund, and um, your state and local abortion funds is who needs you the most right now. So we are going to do, so I'm, I'm in the Carolinas, so it's Carolina Abortion Fund, but the Southeast especially, uh, we need some help. So mm -hmm. that's what's up with that. So there's a couple different things we're doing in regards to donations today. While Kendra is with us, any donations that we get, um, she will share a fun mom fact. Uh, also, we would love to finish cutting off um, Levi's hair. He is he is helping with the with the donations by cutting off three years worth of hair, and um, so we did a bunch of chunks yesterday. We need to do some more today, and uh, and so you can do that. That's two dollars or more. Um, also, for every ten dollars that we raise today, I'm escalating these hot sauces. We're on the next one is level four that we need to eat. So. Once we get 10 more dollars, we will do the next level. I think that's the main things you need to know. Tipping is the best way. Oh, thank you, Fineco. I'm just like so not paying attention because I'm talking. Um, tipping's the best way, of course, to get your donations to go through properly, but uh, happy to take subs, happy to take bits, whatever's easy for you if you have bits to give. I can't remember, how do I break the rocks? What's... I think... What's the button? Don't you need... A rock type to break the rocks. Oh, I throw the Pokemon at it. I remember. Yeah. No, you don't. You just do this. I, I always use Geodude for that. Well, that makes sense. Geodude would do it. Yeah. Aha! There she is. Get off, you to Pokemon. Great. Good. Yes. Thank you, Koneko. I've forgotten. I had forgotten eat. that you have to eat the Pokemon. <laughs> I helped her, Saluna. Um. <clears throat> hey, you caught it, Kendra. Oh. Yeah, I'm on a roll today in this game. You really game. are. You really are. <laughs> You're catching all the I Pokemon. Refilled, I refilled my bag because I'm not usually um, on... I don't usually watch your stream on a computer. Mm-hmm. So... So it's harder to get to the little app thing down at the bottom on the phone, right? Yeah, it just doesn't happen on the phone. <laughs> I think that I, if you go through the menu, you can do it, but it's really, it's difficult. It's annoying. Yeah, I haven't figured it out. So, basically, last night as I left the stream open, I was just like, oh, let me just see how much Pokemon money I have in here, and then I'll just do, 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 do. Mm hmm Spend it up. Yes. Oh, it's a little teacup. That's so cute. The Sinistee, yeah, it's really cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Yeah, that's one of the ones from um, Sword and Shield. There's just so many. There's no way I would know them all. I would be very easy to trick into believing a fake Pokemon was a real Pokemon. Well, you know, aren't there's like quizzes like that that are like um, try to guess which ones are real and which ones are fake Pokemon. And there's so many Pokemon at this point that like is hard. <laughs> and I know yeah, most I of the Pokemon fail. and it's hard. I would fail. I do not know most of the Pokemon. I understand my limitations. I would fail. That's mm, it. Makes it's sense. just like, mm, nope. If you want to laugh at me, I'll do that. Uh, you, If you click the uh, tip button, oh, Karen. Karen's got it. I yeah, was gonna... the tip. Click on the where it says um, the stream elements tip. That's going to yes. be the best way. It'll take you to PayPal. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. And PayPal um, does take a percentage, but they take less of a percentage, of course, than Twitch does. So that's going to be the best way mm -hmm. to get it to go through properly. I okay. was very um, pleased yesterday when I went on and one of the just like, oh, here's the latest custom amounts or whatever. Mm -hmm. and someone did 420 and I was like, yes, nice. that's the one. Nice. I'm a millennial. Like this is a funny <laughs> number. Let's do this. Goodness gracious. My okay. father just had his 69th birthday. Oh, congratulations. Happy birthday May. to him. Yeah, it's uh, amazing. For him, this is amazing. That's amazing. So I mean, the poor guy was recovering from a terribly invasive surgery, so he didn't have a fun birthday. <laughs> No, okay. but he made it all the way. He made it to 69, so that's awesome. He made it to 69. It's amazing. Uh, my mom got really, I don't want to say frustrated, because it wasn't mm. frustrated. Uh, flustered, maybe confused, because my little sister, my middle little sister. Middle little. Um, that's cute. <laughs> Thank I you mean, for the lurk, by the way, Koneko. Yeah, we love lurkers. Um. When mom told my dad on FaceTime to tell Eliza how old he was, mm -hmm. he goes 69. And together, Kaylin and I both went, nice. <laughs> <laughs> because oh. we're chronically online. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and my mom is just like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Everything. Everything, I'm like, mom. it's the funny sex number. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're... If you're going to have a funny number, enjoy it. That's right. No. It's like how you got a screenshot when you have 420 followers on um, on anything. Yeah. It's just, it's part of it. Yeah. But I rules. guess if you're not chronically online. <laughs> yeah, maybe you don't understand. You don't understand why it's as funny as it is. I think it's hilarious. It's very funny. It's really stressing me out that I can see all of these wisps and you're like, whatever. <laughs> They'll be okay. I know. But that's just the type of gamer I am is I'm like, I want to do everything I possibly can in whatever area I'm in before I move on. Oh, yeah. When I play by myself, I do do that to some extent, but I just feel like that's not very entertaining to watch. KJ. Oh, thank it you so much, KJ. Okay. Your friendly Yay, oh, it said from your friendly neighborhood, KJ. All right, KJ, what do you want for your um for your donation? That's definitely enough to do another hot sauce, but do we also want to do yeah. um some hair cutting and stuff too? Yeah, so you let us know. Mm -hmm. uh, for that donation, let's see what's a good. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, some hot sauce every uh what was it ten dollars yeah karen's been escalating uh the spice level on hot sauce yep so we're doing the next one we're trying to get karen to suffer mm -hmm. um i thought i heard hair yeah we'll cut off levi's hair also that yeah. yeah. So Jacob, you missed it yesterday. He's been growing out his hair for three years. So it's ridiculously long. And um, but he's going to cut he's willing to cut it all off for your viewing pleasure um, to help with the abortion fund. Yeah, his so, hair is beautiful. Yeah, uh, it, or it, it was beautiful before it, it got chunked. It will still this be beautiful. Man, and don't worry, he can grow it out again. It is just I, hair, but like, his hair is great. It really is. It's just chunky now, and I can't. I'm so. <laughs> Poor Kendra. Okay, so we're on number four for the hot sauces. And this one has, I'll read it to you, what all it has in it. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, um, this has jalapeno, habanero, habanero powder, and ghost pepper. Yikes. Yeah, we're doing the hot sauce regardless, um, Jacob, but we can do something else too. I would cry. I would just, that would just make me cry. I live in Weenie Hut Jr. Not bad yet. It's not bad yet. We gotta yeah. keep going. 
I would I would cry. I would just keep going. Um is Jacob in the Discord? There's pictures of Levi's hair in the Discord. Mm-hmm. You know um, my Twitter, too. But also too. on Karen's Twitter. Mm-hmm. Or it's the Discord. There you go. Um, so fun, fun mom fact. Mm-hmm. We're going to go on Kendra's mom rant for oh. this one. Um, because I don't publicly talk about parenting very often um it's such a niche thing and <clears throat> it is something that i feel like you you should be invited to talk about that mm, mm-hmm. uh, you don't it, it's the worst to me when i hear people just and that's all they talk about i have always wanted to be a mom that like that's just a fact about me i grew up in a very interesting family dynamic. My two older sisters are 15 and 17 years older than I am. So I was raised as an only child for about nine years. Mm -hmm. That's when my little sisters were born a year apart from each other. (laughs) Which, for reasons we can get into with another donation, is horrifying. (laughs) Um, And I am appalled at my father specifically for this (laughs) knowing what I know now Um, but I just I always wanted to be a mom I got really lucky my mom was able to stay home with me when I was little I I really wanted to be able to do that when I was in middle school one of the for like a career day a mom came in and her whole thing for her career thing was being a stay at home parent. Mm. And I was like, that is the most badass thing I have ever seen another human being do where you treat this with the respect and dignity it deserves because Mm -hmm. it is a full-time job. Yes. Um, Parenting is a full-time job. Even if you're working outside of the home, it's a full-time job. It is hard. But parenting is also not an 18-year commitment. And nothing gets me as riled up when I hear parents say, yeah, my kids know that at 18, they're done. They need to be out of my house, you know, and they absolutely better be gone by 21. Mm. They're not freeloading. They're not whatever. And yeah, I, I guess they have a crystal ball and they can just see into the future. And, you know, <laughs> so there are so many reasons why that's just a terrible thing to say. Yeah. Because it doesn't make any financial sense at all. Just period. Mm-hmm. At this point. Um, when is their birthday? Does their birthday fall in the middle of their senior year? Are you going to kick them out in the middle of their senior year? Yeah. You want them to start paying rent in the middle of their senior year. How are they paying for college? You want them to go to college too, right? Mm -hmm. What's happening? Um, Leaving all that aside, parents who say that will say it around their kids. So now their children know that their parents' support has an expiration date. Mm-hmm. And yep. they and these parents later in you know 15 years wonder, well, why doesn't my kid come around? Why doesn't my kid call? Why doesn't why don't they visit? <laughs> why don't they want me in their life? And I'm like, you told them that they were supposed to be done with you. They are following yeah. your directions that you sent out. Like that's the easiest way to really harm the relationship you have with your child. And this mom was saying this in front of her children who are older. It was an older kid playing. But I'm like, what are you doing? This six-year-old now knows that her mom, that everything, that her relationship has an expiration date. Parenting is not an 18-year commitment. 
unless you plan on relinquishing everything to do with this child minus child support payments. That is the only time it's an 18 year commitment. Parenting is at minimum a 40 year commitment. It is the rest of your life. It does not stop. The relationship changes. Your responsibilities as a parent will change. And I don't have grown children. I'm 30. That would be weird. <laughs> um, however, uh, I it's I I am the type of person who gets along better with postmenopausal women than <laughs> other, you know, 20, 30 year olds. Uh, it, like it, that just Kendra's is what an it old is. lady at heart. I've always been an old lady at heart. <laughs> um. And I have listened to these other people talk about parenting, and I have seen other adult children talk about various relationships they have with their family. I have seen people who are like best friends with their parents when they're grown ups. Mm -hmm. They really want their parents involved in their lives, they love that. And I have seen people go full no contact. But you are always going to be thinking about your children. It does not stop. The things that you do for your children do not stop at 18 or 21 or 30 or whatever arbitrary number you have. I think also this kind of brings up an interesting thing as well. Um, and this is something we really don't talk about, but there's a lot of people I feel like that are parents that do not want to be parents that sort of like resent becoming parents, yes. um, maybe did it for the wrong reasons and things like that. And that's only going to increase the harder it becomes to obtain an abortion because we have now taken away that choice or delayed that choice to the point that the person might decide like just to have the kid. Um, so it is it's it's not right it's not right no. and this is something i follow a lot of um therapists on twitter this is something you'll see like therapists talk about because they tend to hear the things that people don't share with everyone that's what else. keeps them in a job yeah so like you know you are a... setting up a lot of lamborghinis uh, uh, in the future <laughs> yeah with this basically yeah but it parenting is something that should only ever be entered into if the parties involved have an answer like oh hey do you want to be a parent the answer better be an enthusiastic yes yeah if it's yeah or okay or sure or i mean maybe probably my partner wants to yeah there's gonna be none problems. of those are appropriate answers mm -hmm. <laughs> for becoming a parent yep. none of those and I get that as a society in America, that's what I can speak on. It's expected to, you know, grow up, have kids. Mm -hmm. You are expected. That's kind of what you're supposed to do. It's like the default, right? If you don't want to think about it, it too is. hard, here's what you can do. Yeah. And, and like, okay, but that's awful. And I would hate it if... Somebody said, hey, because the way that you are X, Y, Z, you can't have kids. This yeah. is a reality for a lot of people already. Mm -hmm. But now the reality is because of the way that you are, because of the way that your body is built, you are supposed to. Yeah. And you will. We're going to make sure that you do. And not good. Not great. It's a bad look. Yeah, I saw a and story it, the other day. Oh, um, wrong. I saw a story the other day where in Ohio, I think it was, um, they had, there was a child like 10 years old that had yeah. gotten pregnant through, um, through yes. abuse from her father, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and she had the baby. She's going to have the and baby. She's going to be forced to carry it. Like that's, that's what, you know, supposedly if has been decided this child survives that experience 
it will be a miracle. Your body is not ready for that. Mm -mm. Just Mm -mm. because it happens does not mean that your body is physically able to carry that. And you are not mentally able to do that. Yeah, definitely not mentally able. And I wish for very unpleasant things to happen to the people who caused that situation. Yeah. That I can't, you know, say on Twitch. <laughs> yes. Because I'll get Karen kicked <laughs> off of Twitch. Get me banned. <laughs> but, like, it's, you know, no, I would not be, um, it wouldn't be a surprise to say these things. People just, you know, it's, it's a thing that people will say just talking about it at the dinner table. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, this person should X, Y, Z. I'm like, yeah, but absolutely. But, does not know what they're talking about. Yeah. It, yeah. So, no, it, it needs, it's a choice. It should be a choice. And it should be something that's entered into with excitement, not fear and not... Um, what is it? Not responsibility, not coerced. Yeah. So. Ah. <laughs> so that's my so mom we, fact. So fun Parenting mom fact is not 18 one. years. Yeah. I, I get so mad. I get so mad every time I hear that. Yeah, no, but I think you're right. It's more. Because I am right. <laughs> All I, right. I will freely admit to being wrong on a lot of things. This is not one of them. <laughs> okay, we need to definitely... Okay, let's see what's, what uh, quests we still have. So, uh, show wasn't there, so I tried to do that one, but I think I must have to go back in the daytime. Yeah. So Good. what else can we do? Cherim, will o what's this one? Catch a mysterious will o but windswept run at night. Is that here or is that back in the other area? That's back in the other area. Let's um, let's try to do something in this area. I love Ghastly. So Ghastlies cute. are so cool. They're just adorable. <laughs> and the design in this game is top tier. Mm-hmm. And let me just calm down and talk about how cute the ghost Pokemon are. <laughs> like, aww. How oh, sweet. we can do how this one. Gone astray in the Mirelands. Ah. We had to do it. It's another Ursaluna hunt quest. Yeah, might as well. Yes. I love Ghastly. Mm hmm. Ghastly's so cute. Just adorable. Well, My goodness. Yep. I think I have to get actually close to where the person is before the blue ones will start going off. That's actually the tracking. So maybe we should just catch some Pokemon because we need to level up like a lot. Yeah, I <laughs> Ursa Luna was twenty six on level. Yeah, Ursa Luna was. Oh, I didn't levels. mean to press home. Ursa Luna was twenty six when I fought it, so I need to catch some more Pokemon's. Yeah, you gotta be. Go get strong. Get good. Yeah. But it is really cool in this game that you just, like, you literally just catch Pokemon and then you you level up. It makes so much more sense. It really does. In my brain. It makes sense in my brain, too. And I really, really hope that Sword and Shield has this. Are you going to, I mean, not Sword and Shield, um, Scarlet and Violet. Are you going to get Scarlet and Violet when it comes out, Kendra? I probably will. (laughs) I need to get back into gaming. I've Mm. fallen off the wagon big time. Mm-hmm. And I'm slowly coming back like, okay, here we go. Let's do this. Let's try to, I'm so mad at Crusader Kings. <laughs> well, I feel like every time, every time you get far in that game, it just resets. So it does. Um, <laughs> I, I think so. It's got to be because I don't understand how, if you are playing consistently playing the game when updates come out like it's not even major updates just other updates come out suddenly because the save file was in a different version of the game 
suddenly it's you can't play it and i'm like that's not that can't be it that just there it cannot be it we need to find a new game that kendra can stream since crusader kings keeps failing us crusader kings is making me real real angry loved uh when i play personally i play a lot faster i speed Mm -hmm. up the time a lot more well yeah because you're not having to talk over it yeah and because I'm just not focusing on the same things that mm-hmm. I focus on when I play for other things. But it was yeah. so funny last night with appointing the king's grandson to spy master because he's great at it. And then forgetting everything that happened like 20 years ago in game time. <laughs> and this poor kid found out that his dad was boning his grandma. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, child. This I is how it goes down you. in Crusader Kings, though. I forgot. I kept getting notifications of like, hmm, you know, every time my wife talks about this specific child, she, you know, gets really distant. I wonder if it's, he's actually mine. I'm like, well, uh, chances are probably not. Yeah, probably Good not. Not is. if the game's giving you that. So I finally was like, you know what? We're just going to have our spy master investigate our court. Maybe we'll find something useful. Mm-hmm. Forgetting. Um, forgetting everything. And I feel like I just traumatized this a poor child who <laughs> is a piece of computer code. But I he's reeling so your bad. heart. He's, he's reeling, reeling heart. my heart. I felt so bad for this kid. Poor <laughs> thing. Oh, buddy. You're 19. You've got the most important job in the kingdom. And then you figure this out. Oof. Oh, that's yeah. rough. Boy King. We have Boy King in that one, right? That's uh, the same one that you were playing on stream. Yeah. No, this is um my personal save file. So I'm in a different area of Spain, but still playing through the expansion. Oh, just some wild stuff. It's a cool thing in the expansion is you can, if you get to a certain level of fame or something, you can decide to end the struggle. Mm -hmm. And then that, you know, back and forth oscillation between compromise or opportunity, compromise, opportunity and compromise stops. And people stop trying to take over Spain. Oh. Um, it's really cool, but I want to take over Spain. Yeah. So, I'm like, why would I do that? This why save would file, you? I somehow accidentally ended up with parts of Germany and England. Um, well, it's probably I'm better st- for them anyway. Yeah. I 100% I'm better for them. Uh, but I'm not quite sure how this happened. <laughs> Like, I have been very focused on only Spain. I love Psyduck so much. <laughs> um, I wish I had a Psyduck. I just, man, love, I love to see Psyduck. And that little wiggle, the body, full body wiggle of Psyduck. Psyducks are pretty it's cute. So good. I have chronic headaches, so it's like, yeah, this is my spirit Pokemon. (laughs) I get it. If you get me stressed out enough, I'll make everything explode, too. (laughs) I don't understand, though, why Psyduck is a duck. Like, why is it a duck? Why is is the duck the psychic headache Pokemon? Have you seen a duck in real life? Well, yeah, we have, like, ducks and geese and all kinds of water birds because we have, like, a huge pond. Um, in a, another section of our neighborhood. And so there's a lot of them. That's, that's why. Uh, Tangle is terrifying. Tangrowth or whatever the big one. Yeah, is. that one was Tangrowth. But yes, they it are kind of scary. The names. Names are bad. I... I need to get some stunning things. I guess I could just fight it. You could just fight it. You I guess if it wants to fight me fight. so bad, I could just do that. I could just do that for it. Yeah. You know. Here we go. Let Goodbye, Carnivine. Let go wild. Mm-hmm. Rah! 
The circle of life. Yeah, and then when this thing dies, it turns into vegetables. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because yep. some Pokemon are animals, but they're actually plants. Because they yeah. photosynthesize, but they move. <laughs> Most plants don't move. Well, I don't know. I've read some stories that would disagree with you. Uh, I mean, some plants move, but not very many. And the ones that do don't move very fast. No, not like that. No. But, again, I have read some stories that would disagree with you. <laughs> There we go. Got that carnivine. Ah, no, I didn't. Nope. It's so rude when they break out of the Pokeball. They I shouldn't know. be allowed to do that. And they get mad at you, and it's like, mm -hmm. listen, I'm just trying to give you a nice, good home where you don't right. have to worry about food. Don't you want to live on the ranch? I think they would want to live on the ranch. Yeah, I'll send you to a farm upstate. It's great. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can go hang out with my, my old cat. I mean, it's kind of a farm upstate, like... It feels you know. like a farm upstate. <laughs> like, it's just, it's over there, so... Yeah. Yeah. It's just over there. It's just upstate. Oh, oh boy. Me. Run away, run away! Uh -oh. Hi, kitty pie. What you Did doing? Did come to visit you? Yeah. Ah, uh, you need a kiss. Oh, and hello, Bjorn. Please don't. No lick. Come on. Okay, I'll give you a kiss, and then I need you to go back with Nomi and Papa, okay? Mwah. Okay, come on in today, baby. All right, go on. You're welcome. That is a printer. What's up, Eliza? Bye, sweetie. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Run away. Oh, it's my heart. She just wants to come and rub. I, boy. Who was that? Was that Eliza? Or was that one? Was that a kitty cat? Uh, that was Eliza. Who, uh, you know, she was two when COVID hit. Mm -hmm. So she basically was socialized by six cats and a dog. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's fun. Um. She to calm when she wants to be snuggled and calm and you know feel loved she wants to rub on your body like a cat rubs on you when they walk mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. yeah it's real great eliza's um, yeah, oh boy. favorite npc uh she's gonna she's gonna do something i she will burn the world down if it's still like this when she is an adult. <laughs> um, full stop. And I will be so happy to support her in whatever she needs. Well, I sure hope that someday we're going to be quest. past this kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, you know, I... It was the most harrowing experience to be making the same promises... to the child that I am carrying that I did five years ago. Yeah. And I've I've kept them, but it's still very much a, why why am I making this promise? Why, why is this the situation I'm in? Mm-hmm. And why am I apologizing? Mm-hmm. I, this is not something that I should have to be doing. Um, it, it is wrong. We've covered the reasons why it's wrong, but it was very much word for word. Oh. I will not forget. Y'all saw that. Oh. It just clipped on top of me. Y'all saw that, right? <laughs> it just appeared. Yeah, it just clipped in like right on top of me. <laughs> what the this heck and heck baby. was that? This baby I did not ask for that. I did not ask for that. What is it That's doing? like this baby. Yes. Uh, but it, it was very sad to... And I remember election night after the election back in 2016. Matthew and I had a real long conversation on are we going to stop trying to conceive because mm. this isn't tenable. And I mean, obviously, 
didn't, but it it was touch and go. It was a well, you know, I can we should we what's happening all of that. But to then five years later be saying the same things is just it's exhausting. Heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. <clears throat> but I do think I do think we should make an effort to not lose hope. No. You know, I don't I don't think that like it's doomed forever. Um, no, it's set back for years. Yeah, but I don't think that point. I don't think that I still don't think this is a forever state. You know, I think we will no. we will go through this. It will not be a forever state. It The people will not allow it to be a forever state. I sure hope not. Okay, I need to sell some of my stuff. Yeah. My I am like, I got a lot of things. Or make and, stuff. Yeah, a lot of, and a lot of this is not useful. Yeah. <laughs> that is the one thing with this game, because I wasn't like making a bunch of rice cakes. I was like, why do I have all of this? Yeah. This is annoying. Yeah, it's a lot of it is not useful, but let's go make some stuff. We're going to make our Pokeballs. We can definitely make some smoke bombs. Um, I need to sell things, I think. Let's sell some stuff. I don't know how to make that song work, but that's the... Everything the song? you just said. Yeah, everything <laughs> you just said. I want it said to that tune. Like, yeah. Let's sell some stuff. Oh my gosh. My goodness. I okay. forgot that, and my mom forgot too. <laughs> That's the best part. Uh, this local college around here every summer does a line of musicals. Okay. And their level of, like, they get Broadway performers. It's that's the caliber of the theater is Broadway wow. level without Broadway prices. That's cool. Um, I haven't been to the theater in years. I'm a big theater kid. Mom, when my parent, when mom was looking at stuff going on this summer because they're up here renovating their house, she goes, oh, they're doing Mamma Mia. Will you go see it with me? I was like, of course I will go see Mamma Mia with you. Yeah. It's Mamma Mia. Number one. Number two, I would love to go to the theater. I miss it. Yeah. So she got um, tickets for today, like oh. a month ago. And I forgot. No, oh, <laughs> no. Well, Which so are you still going? Yes, um, because it's after stream. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it was the moment of like, uh oh, you accident, you almost accidentally double booked yourself. Yeah, I did. Well, it's okay. You could. I would not begrudge you going to see Mama Mia. No, I'd say peace, Karen. <laughs> Have fun. I'm gonna go see Mama Mia. Yeah, a story uh, that happens because a woman was able to make a choice that she felt was right for yeah. her. Instead of oh. having that choice taken away from her. Exactly. So I'm, I'm very excited. I'm just, I'm in the musical mood now. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Wee. Yeah, that sounds super fun. I'm so excited. <clears throat> Mama Mia is so great. <laughs> That's crazy that they have like Broadway level, like local to you. It's, I know. I, I live in Idaho. This is wild. <laughs> yeah. I... I'm not surprised. The theater program at this college is very good and has been for years. Mm. They they make a point of that because it's like the only spot in like the whole state, basically, where you can uh, get a good start at that. I see. Um. It was fun. It's so much fun. I loved loved working with the this theater department when I was in school. 
It was so much yeah. fun. Yeah. What stuff did y'all put on when um you were in school? When I was in school, oh, let's see. I personally I worked on third, which mm -hmm. is a really cool straight play about um a conflict between a college professor and a like trust fund type kid who she accuses of plagiarizing because she's like there's no way a kid like this could uh be this eloquent could be this smart mm. and he's like no i paid attention in class and i learned and she starts to ruin his life as her life is falling apart and it was just it was a beautiful show uh what else i did midsummer night stream Oh, that's oh, but that one. was when I was in high school. That was fun, yeah. though. That's a fun one for high school, for sure. It's a fun one for high school. It's It was the college doing it, but my mom worked at the college, and she, um, so some nepotism here. She was like, oh, they're holding open auditions for this. You should go audition. And I was like, absolutely, let's go. So it was fun for baby Kendra to go be around all of these college kids. Yeah. Why, why not, right? <laughs> uh, why not? Um, it was funny because the director was planning on having the fairies just be like spray painted, body paint. Mm -hmm. um, but because a lot of, not a lot, there were, I think, two or three other minors in the cast. Uh, we ended up having leotards instead. Oh, <laughs> but, <laughs> what they didn't like, want to yeah, spray paint fine. children? I can't imagine yeah, I why. Know, weird. I yeah, that's weird. They don't want kids around spray painted adults either. I don't. Hmm, weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, good choice, but it was it was fun. Uh, that was the first experience of professional theater mm -hmm. versus, you know the level of community theater I was used to at the time. I see. Um, Let's see. They didn't do a lot of musicals. They did the summer theater program uh, is separate from the college, but they use the college auditorium space. Mm -hmm. They've done Beauty and the Beast. They did The King and I. They That's where I saw Footloose. And fell oh, in love with fun. Footloose. It was so much fun. And it's there's people who are like, I'm taking a break from the grind of Broadway. But I still want to perform and I still want to be a part of theater. And they come to North Idaho on vacation and are just like, yeah, I'll be in this play for my vacation. I'm like, okay. Huh. I mean, I Weird. wouldn't be opposed to that, you know? That sounds it's like fantastic. fun to me. Yeah, yeah I would I do was that. Younger, mom was always going like, oh, maybe we'll see John Travolta, his sisters in this show. Mm. And she's got, <laughs> she had the biggest crush on John Travolta. And I was like, why? You're weird. Uh, whatever. Now that I'm a, an adult, Ed's sitting here going, listen, if, you know, uh, Idris Elba had a sibling. Oh man. And this 50 year old man wanted to come by. And if I could get a chance to peep this 50 year old man, I mean, I was Idris Elba. Too. <laughs> I would be excited too. Yes. So, like, I get it now. As a teenager, I was like, you're gross. That's weird. <laughs> Here, Kendra, just for you, I'll get one of these spirit things. Please. There we gosh, go. It's, thank you. There's one. You happy? Uh, maybe, yes. <laughs> I am happy. It, I, it stresses me out so much. I just don't Why care enough. Not? We're also Why not going to do this space time distortion because I don't have enough like stunning things to really care to be no. able to do it right. It's way. It's it's like there are a lot. There's so much. What we found you her. You found her with Yay. outer Selena. Yeah, I did decide decided not to use our saloon. It was it's too hard. So it's annoying. I just googled where she is. <laughs> yeah, and then we just went to her. 
which is perfect. Yes. The, I think I had to Google her because I was like, I cannot. This mechanic she's in each, is. She's in each place. Like I there's know. one they, they keeps happening every time you go to a new place. She gets lost again. I know. I remember right. And I kept Googling because that mechanic just is not feasible and it's not fun for me. Well, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. <clears throat> I'm fine with well, challenges Luna, and games. Well, yeah, but... Nurse Luna also will track other stuff too. So you get a, other stuff will pop up when it's tracking. Yeah, it it just it's not a fun mechanic for me. <laughs> oh, well, I keep skipping the balloon ones. Um, oh, those ones also. <laughs> I can do the first few, but I remember when I first played through this game, the final one that you do on the bird, um, yeah. I think I spent like maybe an hour or two just doing it over and over, trying to learn oh. the route to uh, finish that one. It was so funny. That feels it took forever. painful. What's up? Really pay to cut my hair? Um, we did have one donation we can use for the haircutting, but... Um, you used it for hot sauce. Yeah, well... Begging. He wanted to see the hot sauce. But he was going to get hot sauce anyway, so I said we could do something else too, yeah, but he, gave, like, he no never answered. Oh. Well, because I swallowed. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> well, um, if we can get, let's see where we are on the donations. It's good. Yeah. You donate, um, we're at 154. We can get, if we get six more dollars, we can do another hot sauce. Well, we're not talking about hot sauce. We're talking about my freaking hair that's butchered. Levi needs help with his hair, you guys. You need to donate so that we can that we can get him help with his hair. This poor Levi. Sauce. This poor man. It is. Kendra says this she thinks you're such a trooper. Cool. <laughs> I'm so like my heart goes out to him. I'm Gosh. Yes. <laughs> it's so much. It's so much. And I know that it's like it's just hair. However, it's not just hair. hair. It's three years. It's three having years. Your hair not be done all at once is so annoying. September twenty nineteen, he just said. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but yes, oh. it's September twenty nineteen. Right before the before times. That's ended. right, right before the before times. Exactly. So you can uh, see how it ended up this way, because obviously there was yeah. a long stretch there that nobody was going to the barber. And still, like, that's a lot of time being up close on another person. I'm just saying. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of time. I, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I think most of my friends are just lurking right now, Levi. I sorry. I don't think they're paying attention. No, we're just having fun. I know, I did it to you. I did it to you. Well, they have until the end of your stream, and then I'm doing the rest myself, because I can't live like this. Oh, y'all hear that? You'll hear I that? You get to see him. more Levi haircutting today, but we're not going to do any tomorrow, so we got to get some more donations today. I feel for him. It, this, I can't believe he's doing this. Me too. They clearly I... do not hear it if they're not present. <laughs> well, they might be like just listening. Um, you do this when you watch Kendra, yeah. right? Where you just kind of listen. I or have it on in the background as I'm, you know, doing bath time or whatever. Right. That's usually when stream is. Yes. So you just have it on in the background for background noise. Yeah. Or unfortunately, turn down low enough. There, I'll be able to hear this conversation. Mm, maybe. It takes like five minutes. <laughs> Levi's not a Twitch watcher. He doesn't understand the delay, the Twitch delay. Oh, buddy. She's right here on this side. Oh, wait, where did she go? Where, oh, she's on this side. She's under the desk. Oh, for a second, I thought you were talking about me being on no, this No, he, he asked where he was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm right here. I'm on the other side of the country. It's okay. Yes. Don't worry about it. The sandwich and stuff, and there's just absolutely no freaking point wasting all that. Yeah. Well, maybe more people will come a little bit later, and we can do the sandwich a little bit later. Because we had a lot more people towards the end of the day, the stream yesterday. Yes. Understandably, less than two hours. I know. Because you're at a normal time. 
because we're in a normal time. Whatever. Kendra, West Coast is not normal time, okay? West Coast is not normal time. Idaho is not West Coast. Well, yes, she's it close is. Enough. Yeah, she's in, she says it is because it's specific time. But it's yeah. not West Coast. Well, it's no, no, close. no, Levi. No, you don't it's understand. Like Idaho is actually two states. <laughs> uh oh, he can't hear you. Can't explaining this, Kendra. He can't ah, hear you. <laughs> drives me bonkers. Because the Panhandle. Well, you yeah. tell him that the Panhandle is considered part of the Pacific Northwest, but the rest of the state is not. Mm. It's weird. I do not understand it. I don't get it. So However, she's explaining it to me through you. Yes. Yeah. So she says the Idaho Panhandle oh, is Lord. part of the West Coast, but the rest Pacific of Idaho Northwest. is like Midwest. And let me guess. She's in the Panhandle. Yes. Oh, y- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Listen. Okay. I don't understand why it's this way. I just it just is. She doesn't know why it's this way. It's just this way. It's because the panhandle is so skinny. It is really skinny, the you, Idaho panhandle. You drive through it in two hours tops. Two hours? That's so tiny. Yeah, from the Washington border to Montana, it, ooh, maybe three. Mm. Maybe, maybe three, three if there's traffic. Well, three makes it sound like it's not that skinny. Yeah, I said if there's traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Which the other day driving no home. You have no choice? This is forever my new hairdo. Oh. <laughs> well, see, it would be a lot more sad if he was on. Hi, kitty. Right. Kitty Levi is whining. Uh, this, this is forever me. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh. It would be a Hang lot on, more sad if got... he was looking into what, the what camera with the see. morose face. Oh, no. Don't, no, don't show them this. Oh, yes. he, but he. I think they there's want to see only no, no, they, There's literally only Jane. There's Kitty and I mean, there's Koneko and Kendra. Kitty just says hi. Hi, Kitty. Kitty, we need help. We need help to cut more of Levi's hair. Tell your friends um, we need some more donations for Levi's hair. Um, oh it's goodness. uh It's really chunky and, and, uh, and silly right now. Koneko, oh. that's amazing. I guess you can show them. Okay. Europe's so cool. I'm going to show it- you guys. It takes eight hours oh. to get through half of, like, top to bottom half of the state of Idaho. Like mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't blame, I would go out in public like that way more if I had his hair. Less humiliating. <laughs> yes, it is. State of my hair. <laughs> one of the ears is busted, Clearly, so he can't even do <laughs> Sponsor me, Kaneko. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at Europe real seriously. Yeah, there's a hole in the other one, so it can't. It can't go. Like there's oh. a hole in my heart because of my hair. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> oh. Okay. I guess I go away now. Four Bye-bye. hour only four. Bye-bye. That's wild. I think. Oh my goodness. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Kendra is giggling. She says, bye. I love it, boy. Just a reminder. The cat's going to attack you facts. if you keep doing that. This <laughs> is the facts, y'all. Okay? Three years of hair gone. Poor, and I'm left with thing. this doodad thing. <laughs> <laughs> and he got to go. Oh, this poor man. So... Y'all can make me poor man. look less foolish. I'd appreciate it. And do it for the for the fetuses. Mm-hmm. I don't want to exist. Cut. Cut. Zygo. Oh, cut. thank you. Scissors against Levi. $3.33. Thank you so, so yeah. much. Let's do it. Scissors, Let's do it. <laughs> That's what they Levi? put in there. There's their name. <laughs> If you want to undo the ponytail. Wait, their name is Scissors Against Levi? Yeah, that's what they typed in. I don't know what, who it actually was, but that's what they typed in. Scissors Against Levi. I'll say, I don't know if I can undo this. Oh. Oh, you did the blood tears. Yes. Did anybody ask about that? No. Did y'all notice my, my blood tear today? I cry in. I cry in she blood. She crying fetus blood. Yeah. She's aborting her feels. Yeah. Aborting the feels. Okay. 
Let's get let's get Chances this. Chances are is it's like gonna white. be an embryo or a zygote. Oh god, Levi. look how much is Come left. On. Yeah. I thought there was like none. No, I raised it to two hundred. What? I raised what? I raised the goal. Oh, you're talking about your hair. I thought you were yeah. pointing at the goal. No, it's pointing. Look at the hair. Here we go. Or like that was one whole side. Holy yeah. Crap. Yay. Why'd you do that? Because we can still do two on the. This is a smaller side. There's like two or three good locks <laughs> on the other side. How the hell am I gonna ponytail it now? You have to decide. I have to have one <laughs> side of a hot <laughs> head. Side ponytail. Yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> can can somebody can somebody help Levi out with his other side while I go throw this away? Oh my god! Make Levi <laughs> suffer. Two K twenty two. I cannot ponytail this. <laughs> yes, you can. Are you yes, you can. Me? It's cute. That's Kendra cute says look. it looks really cute. It is, it's, it's it's not supposed to be cute. He don't want to be cute, you guys. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Landon has one side of her head shaved, and she's hot. Landon is also a girl, so like, let's be fair. Because uh, she has one side of her head shaved, oh. and her hair looks good. Well, I mean, it looks kind of. It's a hot look. There's yeah, a it does actually look kind of. It looks kind of interesting. Nobody has hair that looks like yours right now. Oh, that's a that's plus. True. Yeah, you're unique. You <laughs> yeah. love being unique. <laughs> Anybody can cut like a portion of their hair and say, "Hey, this is unique. No one's done this before." I, that's what uh, oh my God. children do with their scissors. We'll have one hot-sided head. Mm-hmm. I can't ponytail this. You can side ponytail it. Yes, you can. Dude, it's called not a pigtail. Like Pippi Longstocking or something. <laughs> and that's the point. This conversation started. Yes. Why do you have really ugly hair? Oh, I don't know. Ask my wife. Yes, wonderful <laughs> conversation started. I donated it to the fetuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could braid it. Oh, Kendra says you should braid it. Yeah. Sure. So I can, like, you know, unbraid it to get it cut some more? Well, we could just cut off the braid. See, that yeah. I don't do. All right, you guys. Let's do this, okay? Uh, Since it's driving <laughs> poor Levi crazy, if we get one more, we'll cut off this other chunk. I think they enjoy seeing me suffer more than they actually <laughs> enjoy seeing the hair cut. <laughs> Honestly. Right now, yes. Um, however... For Scissors Against Levi, um, let's do a good body horror mom fact. Okay. You can do one. Ready for this. Yeah. Are you ready for for the body horror? Do you want to hear her? I'm sorry, what? Do you want to hear her? Do you want to hear what? Hear who? Kendra, she's going to share a fun mom fact. No. Okay. (laughs) Rude. (laughs) He doesn't want to hear the body horror, but go for it. I heard the last one. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Go for it, Kendra. Um, so, th- you know, your plates, your dinner plates what? that you have, the the size of a dinner plate. Mm-hmm. Picture that in your brain. Mm-hmm. Have picture. that image. So after the placenta detaches from the body and mm-hmm. kind of slurps out of you post baby, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. what it leaves behind is an open wound in your uterus, the size mm-hmm. of that dinner plate. Oh, Amazing. I love that. Yummy. I hate it so much. <laughs> um, which is part of the reason why after birth, you are not cleared for intercourse for at least six weeks. Because mm, the dinner plate has to heal. Because the dinner plate has to heal. Mm-hmm. And it could get infected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so great. Um, which is only mildly less terrifying than accidentally growing teeth in your ovary Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which also that's a thing that can happen too that's a thing that can happen too your ovaries can just be full of spare teeth no she is saying she's saying um that uh twitch chat loves seeing people suffer so you're right yeah it's true i I donated to promote donation donation rights oh yeah yeah Oh, yeah, yeah. Kendra says that's what you should say. No, I say what the hell I want to say. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just saying, if you're looking 
to get people to shut up about it. Uh, and that would make South, them shut up. That would make them shut up. <laughs> should should Today? we donate for the rest of your hair, you and I? I think I can't works. believe Levi okay. hasn't donated for the rest of his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Kendra says she can't believe she can't believe that you haven't gone on here and just donated for the rest of your hair. <laughs> you could send in one anonymously. But I am at the people's mercy. That's right. <clears throat> it's for the just for the like cause. us. Yeah, for the cause. Just like our body. That's right. Exactly. You get it. Yeah. Ta da. <clears throat> All right. Um, nobody else for right now. I don't think. I think most. Yeah. It's just too funny to. How come? Whatever. It don't uh-huh. matter. It don't matter. <laughs> you want to side ponytail it? I cannot. Okay. You whip your hair then, back and forth. Oh, it is kind of thin. You'd have to wrap it a lot of times. Yeah, and that's when or get a smaller. Yeah. The thingy. Then it's gonna tangle. You're right. Braid it. Braid it. Do you Karen, want me to braid it for you? Braid it real fast. We're not braiding my freaking hair. I just braid the strand. That's that's that all my part. hair. Yeah. No. <laughs> he doesn't want to braid it. That way, the next chop can be the final chop. My goodness. Five dollars, and I'll braid it. Okay, five dollars, <laughs> and he'll let me braid the last chunk. <laughs> and then we can cut off the braid. Oh man, my phone's upstairs. Darn it. Go get your phone. You talking to me? No, I'm getting I talking can't. to Kendra. Oh. Oh, I see. I You'll can't. get Eliza I aggro. Be, yes. Yeah. It will be an aggro situation. Like that a very scary vine Pokemon that likes to crunch. <laughs> yeah. It would be that. <laughs> like Tangela. <laughs> yes, that one. I was going mm-hmm. to say Canva and I was like, no, that's that's the image editing software. <laughs> that's not it. That's not correct. Sounds like a Pokemon. I do love me some Canva though. You can hear Canva. her. Yeah. Oh, on, on your phone out in the living room. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. He's getting a, a delayed echo of Kendra from out in the living room. <laughs> Poor Levi. I honestly, I am so impressed with this man. Yes. I could not do what he was doing. Me either. He's like, you should, you should do um, some of your hair cut off. And I was like, no. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> I think it's just because she doesn't trust me. <laughs> she can't shave her head like I have mm-hmm. the option to. I, I mean, I'd have to go to the salon. But... <laughs> can can't I say I can too? She's like, she can. She can. <laughs> I mean, I can. But you, can. Um... <laughs> you, it, you are choosing not to because it's well. on your body and it's your choice what you do yeah, with your hair. Uh, but I think I would have, I would have different. Um, Social outcomes, we'll put it that way, if I shave my head. <laughs> yes, it's a uh, choice that you get to make for your mm-hmm. body. Weird. Mm-hmm. A choice. Weird. <laughs> Isn't it nice to be able to make choices about your body? It is nice. It is nice yeah. to be able to decide if you want to cut your hair off or not cut your hair off. That's a really nice thing to be able to decide. I know yeah. I appreciate aborting my hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At the end, it's going to actually be a relief, isn't it? To not have the long hair in the summer. Oh, yeah. Just waiting for that day. Mm-hmm. It could be It'll today. It'll be today. It, could... it will be today. Kendra's very confident. It will be today, she says. I'll keep bringing him up. Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> I'll keep bringing him up. She's going to cheerlead for you. She's going to keep bringing yes. it up. Oh. Until it happens. Doesn't she need to spend time with her in-laws or something? At some point, she does have to go and spend time with her family. Well, yeah, uh, I've was here last so night she can't I, advocate for me all day she can try i, I guess she could <laughs> i could she can have her try. phone and like sneaky type in the twitch chat <laughs> listen that's what i was doing earlier <laughs> she says that's what she was already doing earlier so yeah oh, sneaky mm-hmm. sneaky mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not really it's... Ugh, i don't like the way i look on camera no oh, join the club it's fine no yeah. Yeah. Nobody likes the way they look on better? camera. Wait, wait, wait. If I make my face look really fat by doing this, you're just giving yourself a double chin. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Now you're playing Listen. with it. <laughs> Why? So that you don't feel like your face is too fat for I the camera. I don't have a double chin. No, it I know. Just makes me look rotund in mm-hmm. the face. Cameras do that. 
Isn't that right? That's and Kendra, you know from streaming, like you look rounder on, on camera yes. than you do and looking in the mirror. Yes. She I know I do. Uh, cameras she? are She's weird. Pregnant. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I was uh, like, you don't know what she looks like, but he does know that you're pregnant. So, <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, I also look more pregnant than I am because, again, mm-hmm. all of five feet tall. Kendra's like the same height as me. She's five foot. She's mentioned it many times. Yes. She only has so much body to work with. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I heard. Yeah, Levi, do you, do you want a story to make you feel better, Levi? He, she wants to know if you want a story that will make you feel better. There are no stories to make me feel better. The only thing that will make Levi feel better is um is $2 donations to cut off his hair. Or Levi. No. They could be more than $2. Oh, that's true. They could be more than $2, <laughs> but donations to cut off his hair. Actually, any donations to do any of this stuff would be great, mm-hmm. you know? This is the first time I ever, like, kind of interacted, and I just want to see that I helped. hmm You are helping a lot. Like, that amount we have, this is... I'll go to the spreadsheet no, so you can Levi, see. This is our this total. To $157.46 with it we've raised. Ooh, $30 more than this morning. Yeah. We've raised thirty dollars so far. Today. Oh my gosh! Cool. Levi yep. just made me cry. No, don't cry, Kendra. Don't Only good just crying. Fight him. Why, she <laughs> Why did you cry, Kendra? Because it's really sweet. Oh, she thinks you're really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy really? I didn't break my camera setup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cry in public. But imagine if you did, how fun that would be for everybody. Yeah, it would be great. You get to see what? me cry. Fun. If she had brought her camera to the house that she's at right now so that she could be on camera. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I actually told Karen, I was like, tell her to get on camera and get Matt because I want to see Matt. He wants to well, see Matt's what y'all look like. I want to see if I would be interested in a play date. <laughs> Oh, man. Matt's at work right now. That's why Eliza's with my in-laws. Oh, okay. Matt's at work right now, so he wouldn't be able well, to come anyways. Boo on him. Yeah. He works yeah. a lot. He works a lot. He's the Domino's guy? Yes. Yeah. They work you to the bone. They do. You they know do. that from experience. <laughs> I hated working there. Yeah. That was definitely not your favorite of the delivery jobs. No. It's, probably the only one that I think uh, that was worse than that one was probably that one Marcos. specific Marcos. Yeah, the Marcos in our area, we love Marcos, but that particular Marcos was garbage. Yeah, it's, oh man, yeah, it's a lot. M- Matt makes oh. sure that uh, the people that are getting worked to the bone mm-hmm. are management and Good. not drivers. <laughs> Good, that was not Levi's experience. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Because he's like, there's, oh, you're not getting paid enough to do this. Mm-hmm. It's at true. All. So mm-hmm. no. Yeah. Um, I will come in, so you don't have to do this. Yep. Yep. Well, because Wh- if you're a driver, like how much you're you're really making as far as it's worth it, it has a lot to do with like where you deliver to, how often you deliver, things of that nature. So your um, it can be very variable. Wage. Yeah. Yeah. Which in yeah, Idaho yeah, is seven twenty five. That's true. Yeah, because he was worked to the bone at Domino's mostly because he had so many hours um, and so mm-hmm. much volume of deliveries, he did make the most money there. That's yeah. why you stayed for as long as you did, I feel like. I was in the salary she was making. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's and cold, ridiculous. Hard cash. It, was it was nice, but it was not worth it. It wasn't sustainable. No, no it's and not it a sustainable business and, model. Uh, yeah. And it was dangerous and just Yeah, look. Uh too. Levi, I'll I'll post a picture of us in, in the Discord pizza. group. Kendra said she's gonna send a picture of both of them so you can see what they look like. I'm not that eager. I'll show it to you <laughs> when she sends it though. Like I said, not that eager. <laughs> but um I actually found a couple of dead bodies once. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, do you want to tell that story? It's a good story. Yeah, let's get the Domino's story. stories. I love it's Domino's just... delivery stories. Dead people. Mm-hmm. They order pizza and then I guess OD'd on drugs. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That was fun. Was was his dead person a mob connection too? Um, 
Kendra wants to know if there was a mob connection because apparently Matt found um, no, dead no, people. that was me. No? Oh, that you found me. him. Kendra found dead people on a delivery job, and there was some kind of mob connection. I don't know. They just look like young college, late teenage people. Aww. On on the floor. That's sad. Dead. Mine was an There's old no guy. No blood or anything. Had to call the cops and all that stuff, and he was very naked. It was not fun for Kendra to what? go deliver pizza to a naked man. Not the first uh, the, time I've done it. The body Kendra found was naked. So it was extra fun. Oh, yeah. They, they weren't naked. <laughs> they, they were just laying there side by side, though. Oh. The and their door was wide open. So there is that possibility. Yikes. But... Yeah. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah. Yikes. That would Not happen great. a lot. You would deliver um to people with interesting like door situations, like it would be open, or there was that one lady that made you deliver through her window all the time, or um things like that. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't at Domino's, but there was this one customer at a, at, a, at a local pizza place that he worked out for a while. Um that was probably one of the better delivery jobs. But it was a lot yeah. more tame. It was a lot, yeah, it was a lot more tame. But this one particular customer would always make him come to her window and do the exchange through the window. <laughs> Wouldn't yeah, come to the door. Weird. Yeah, people, people are really weird. weird. It was weird. And they'd I... be in all kind of weird uh, attire, mm -hmm. like lingerie Naked. or underwear yeah, yeah. or just boxers or a towel or mm -hmm. yeah. Or they'd be drunk as hell, high as hell. Yep. Yeah. Well, we've definitely ordered a, a, a drunk pizza or two in our day, so. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. It's, you know. It's part of it. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. When you drink and you want the food. Yeah, especially greasy food. Greasy and food's great when you've been drinking. And it's probably safer not to be using kitchen equipment. No, I want pizza. Yeah. Thanks, Kendra. Aww. You're welcome. She goes, you're welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's fine. It's fine. It's fun. Um, the <laughs> other day, I was sobbing in the middle of the night in my pantry because of the Snickers. <laughs> I can hear you laughing. <laughs> I, I, I missed the part after pantry, Kendra. I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, because of the Snickers. Oh, a Snickers. Okay. A Snickers. You yeah. wanted a Snickers or there was a Snickers that shouldn't have been there? Which one? Which so, way? So, listen. Um, this baby wants Snickers uh -huh. or spaghetti with brown butter and mazithra. Okay. Two very specific things. Mm -hmm. So, we've been keeping uh, the packs of fun size Snickers in the house. So you can just the go eat a night. bite of Snickers. Yeah. So I can just get the Snickers and have it and be good to go. It's mm -hmm. fantastic. It's great. And it's not a full-size candy bar every time. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Yeah, that would be a lot. It's too much. I couldn't sleep, so I was downstairs. Matt was home. We were both playing games on in the office. It was a nice, fun little thing. He was on the phone with his friends playing some, I don't know, first-person thing you're welcome <laughs> he and gave me some hair <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> yummy and i go out and i'm like oh i'm starting to get tired i'm gonna have a snickers yes, and go, go to bed to and it's loneliness. going to be great in the, i go in the to pick up room, the box debate my choices all right Poor Levi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll Levi call did. you back when we have some more donations. Literally didn't get any t until I came in here. Yeah. Yeah. For my hair specifically. It's, it's like true. I have to be present to make this crap happen. Poor Levi. It's yeah. going to look good when it's all gone. It was a G. Yeah. It will. It's I going feel like to be because we've nice. been manhandling it so much. Mm -hmm. It's been it got really greasy. Yeah, it does look a little bit greasy. But you're right. You it's know, because it, we've it been does like, feel nice when it's just like that. Mm -hmm. Air drying everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Carry me. Okay. Carry you. Okay. That's sarcasm. I, ch I carry you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Levi.
Bye. Bye. Buddy. See you later. See you later, Karen. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no physical affection for you. <laughs> uh, he's just kidding about carrying him, of course. I, I would love to, but um, but I am Ooh. weak. Listen. <laughs> I feel you. So you went into the pantry um, while Matt yeah, was I went playing into a the game. Pantry and I pick up the little slider thing of Snickers, thinking earlier that, yeah, I had one, and I didn't feel like the package was empty, so it's not empty. Mm-hmm. I pick it up, it was empty. Middle no. of the night. Oh, Levi. Um, and I must have said something, because I hear Matt in the office go, I'll be right back, and oh, Anonymous donated yes. for the hair. Thank you, Anonymous. Levi, Call they, they donated again once you walked away. <laughs> You want to come back and get your hair chopped? <laughs> he coming back, y'all. <laughs> Matt rushes out. Are you trying? And he finds me, and I didn't oh, realize. Yeah, they're they're going to be really dry, aren't they? I could tell by looking at them. You can throw. It's a garbage can. Oh, you want to wrap it up? I see. <laughs> I think out of all the, the treats that we got, the cupcakes are the ones that are best. It sucks. Yeah. It's like a pocket corset. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. Do you want Hardly Okay, die. do you want me to just chop the last of it? I mean it's to get money, right? So do whatever you <clears throat> Okay, how about this, you guys? We're gonna chop the last of it. And if once we reach or if we can reach two hundred in donations, then we will next shave Levi's head on stream. But wait. There's more. <laughs> I'm also going to dye it. Okay. Red, white, and blue. Okay. So if we can get to the 200, then what we will do is dye it red, white, and blue, and then we'll shave that off. So we'll, we'll be shaving America off of his head. On Monday. Yeah, on Monday. Fourth of July. Yes. So we got to get to the 200. So in total, I know that says 151, but we actually have more. So the total right now is 160 and 79 cents, which means it's also time to do another um, hot sauce. So we'll do that after we chop. There's no we will do that. Well, I will do that. Okay, here we go. Ow. <laughs> Whoa, where are you going? We're free. We are not free. We're free. I don't like your idea of freedom. <laughs> oh wow! Do you want no, me to get no, the bangs? I look a like an emo boy. Do you want me to get the bangs a little? No, kiss? I want to be emo today. You want to be emo today? Let it be yeah, emo. Like Toby Maguire, the shit. <laughs> well, now I look like I'm trying to do a comb over. Let him be an some gel, boy. maybe, and like gel yeah. right there, and then. You Why is that up. naked man on your screen? Um, because that's a <laughs> gift that Kendra just put up of Sunder from Boyfriend Dungeon. You remember when I played Boyfriend Dungeon? He, he's emo much. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. The hair is just way too out of whack. Okay, do you want do you want me to to the bangs? You gotta blow to dry it when the bangs wet. Well, get it we'll to stay that way. Shave. Okay. So. If they can do the thingy to hundo. Okay. And we'll dye it red, white, and blue and then shave it off tomorrow. Okay. So we're at 160 right now. 160.79 right now so that you guys know. We're trying to get to 200. Okay. Next. I think I did four. So I think it's five next. Five. This is senseless. Yes. And it has in it jalapeno, habanero, habanero powder, ghost pepper, and ghost pepper powder. Who donated, by the way? Um, it said, I think it said anonymous. Oh. Come here, cracker. I secretly did it with mind. Oh, <gasps> you'll hear that? He got mind powers. What? You got a whistle. That means they think you're cute. Who whistled? Oh. Kendra whistled. She needs to stop. <laughs> um, so don't cut away after you eat it. Let them see your face. Okay. God, you put a lot on there. Holy crap, Karen. Look at that. We got a big dollop. Big dollop. I can't, Karen. No. Oh. I'll be okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this stuff isn't very spicy. No, we're not to the spicy ones yet. We gotta, we gotta up those donations so we can get to the spicy ones. 
I mean, number five, okay. It's not not spicy, but it's not that spicy, y'all. Y'all ever heard of them bulldog noodles? That's like double spicy in the Korean and like stir fry. Yeah, they had like a like spicy ramen challenge for or whatever for a yeah, while. Yeah, I eat the ramen challenge. Mmm. You got some applause. No, wait, you cannot have saltines. Anyways, I was just saying, I eat that stuff right normally. Mm-hmm. Aw, lady. Levi's pretty practiced in the hot sauce eating. But all this stuff is weak, except for the last one. I will not touch that with nothing. If y'all can get all the way till twelve to 12 for this, like, I will actually, like, suffer a little bit. You'll probably see me cry and... She's talking about a little bit. This stuff is literally made with... um. Capsium extract, mm -hmm. and that is what they use to make pepper spray that cops spray into your eyes. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to read, Kendra, what's in the last one? <clears throat> I would, I will cry. I will feel the spice level from <laughs> hearing the ingredients, and I will get heartburn. Okay, so here we go then. <laughs> Jalapeno, habanero, habanero powder, ghost pepper, ghost pepper powder, scorpion pepper, scorpion pepper powder, Carolina Reaper, Carolina Reaper powder, and three times one million Scoville capsaicin extract. What did it say? Cat raspberry? Laura wants a cat raspberry. Well, luckily, there's a cat right there. Okay. Uh, right there. I'm looking for her. Lady, um, you want a raspberry? <laughs> she remembers from yesterday. Stupid question. Is scorpion powder made from scorpions? Scorpion powder? It no, it's not. It's a pepper. A scorpion's a pepper. Oh, okay. Scorpion pepper? Yeah. But okay. they take extract and they grind up dehydrated pepper seeds and they call it the powder. Meow, meow, meow. Are you ready, lady? See, I, I thought that that was like down. a real... <laughs> I can't believe she's tolerating it. Okay, I'll let you go, baby. Bye. <laughs> I love the kitty belly. <laughs> she ran so fast. She's she ran done. so fast. She's done. <laughs> she makes the best face. We have to do one to Queen at some point, but Lady's gotten two of them. So we got to give she's Lady a little so break. Good. Well, Queen's never in here. Mm -hmm. She's so good. Okay. What? Let me see. <laughs> you... Yeah, she's done with me. She's done with me. <laughs> we got the chair in a weird spot. Yes. Ugh. My goodness. There we go. Okay, let me see what that did to our total. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank my you goodness. so much, Lar. By the way. Okay. Let's see. Uh. <laughs> All right. Our total is one sixty-five seventy-nine now. One sixty-five seventy-nine. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's uh, getting there. Going. Yeah, five got my nose going, so you can guys can tell that even though I'm not freaking out or anything like it, they are getting spicier. But you already had six. Mm -hmm. That was your first one, and you didn't react like that. No, well, I did. I my nose went a little bit for number oh, six. That. Yeah, but not you much. Probably didn't put on as much. No, I put on a big glob trying to get it spicier, but. Mm. All right, you guys. Yeah, um, Kendra, do you have to go at two o'clock? Is that what's happening? Or do you stay? Are you staying? Oh, is it too? I can stay for a little bit longer. Okay. Yes. Well, if you if you want to do that, um, I'm going to take just like a quick little break. Um, you and if Levi, if you want to talk to them as well, you can. No, but I, I, ha I have to pee. So I will be right yeah, back. You you guys. Pee. Yeah, yeah. so Karen's going to go <laughs> pee and be back in five seconds. And while Karen's going back in five seconds, I can do a happy mom fact, which is someone in Australia renovated a house to look to be an exact replica of the bluey house and it's adorable like it's picture perfect just like it. i think it's an airbnb um eliza found out about it and she is begging me to take her to australia so we can go play in the bluey house very cute and i think that Okay, so I think I owe another, no, I don't owe another mom fact. Um, but because that was a, a silly TV show one, we'll do a second one just for Lar, which is in the show number blocks, all of the square characters, except for one, have square eyes. 
yeah, Australia is so far. And my child is like, let's just go to Australia. <laughs> no, kid. Take me to Australia, Kendra. Yeah. She knows that I've been to Australia. And she's like, let's go. I'm like, no. No, I'm not entertaining a four-year-old on an 18-hour flight. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> No. Yeah, it is a very long flight to it's go to Australia, so New Zealand, long. that area. It is so long. Mm -hmm. At about hour 12, it turns into the twilight zone and nothing feels real anymore. I just remember sleeping a lot, honestly. I tried. Mm. And it, like I took medicine to conk out. This was after flying all day anyway to get to LA and dealing with LAX everything mm -hmm. it, it's a long long flight but the house is super cute and i would like to see the bluey house yeah i mean that sounds really fun actually well, i think they even have um one of the recurring little easter eggs in bluey is a toy called long dog long dog. and yeah and it's hidden in the background of like every episode somewhere there's long oh dogs. so it's like a sight and, gag like the snail in adventure time or something yeah it's just you know a little stuffed animal that the kids have so they have the stuffed animal of it in this house and i'm like that is adorable i love, I love this. that yeah that's awesome and it's a beautiful house so <laughs> i can't imagine how bluey's parents can afford this house with whatever it is they do snorlax my yep. friend <laughs> so windswept run is over there so i can't i can't do that quest quite yet so let's see what else we have we could do <clears throat> that's gathering wisps grain we have grains you might sell new wares in the general store okay so we definitely want to do that so we'll go back and give him grains i'm pretty sure i have enough i just got to go get them and put them in my inventory Oh, I'm so happy for Levi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's 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 uh the locks are gone, but I'm we still so have happy. a lot we still have a lot to uh to help him with. So if we can get to that two hundred, then we will yes. shave his head tomorrow. Just to have that weird chunky bit off. <laughs> I, I'm so happy for him. But you guys made it happen. It was all you. So thank you guys so much. <clears throat> oh my gosh not thrilled that you know he made me cry but <laughs> that's okay <laughs> oh man it's for a good cause it's yes it's the pregnancy hormones i just something sweet happens and i just cry oh that just kind of how it is <laughs> he insists he did not make you cry yes he did uh, <laughs> it, it's what it is that's pregnancy hormones you know eliza drew a picture of her and her dad and made a card out of it for him Aww. that said you know welcome home mm -hmm. and you know I something like oh I love you look we're on the street being safe waiting to cross there's a red light well that's cute we're holding hands and I'm like I love this it's sweet and I just started crying <laughs> so just it just is it's the reality right now I like that that's a good card yeah it, good it's, job. All, it's all good cries um, minus the Snickers which was just inconsolable sobbing in a dark kitchen in the middle of the night because they were all gone well did you end up did you get some more did they get did like Matt well, get you some more did you go get some more so we live in a very small town um, and I think at the time that it was, the Walmart was already closed. Oh, you don't have a 24-hour Walmart. No, and oh, the Walmart no. is in a different small town, so it takes... You have to like, drive. It doesn't take long, but it takes, you know, 10 minutes tops to get there. So that's at least a half-hour trip. Out. 10 minutes there, 10 minutes to go through the Walmart, because they're always massive. And then, like, yeah. 10 minutes back. <clears throat> yeah, it, and it just it wasn't feasible so thank god matt had stashed some caramel chocolate chunk ice cream in the freezer oh good it's like he knew that this was going to happen and he was like i have this and it did help 
And I was finally able to stop crying after like three bites of ice cream. But <laughs> wow. And his poor man thought that something happened. I He ran so fast <laughs> to be like, what's wrong? And I'm sobbing. And he's doing his best not to laugh at me. Oh my god. It was a valiant effort. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have laughed. Um, yeah, it would be I, it, really it, hard not to. <laughs> a 100% fair react. Like, it was it was funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was just very sweet that he was attempting to make me feel better by mm-hmm. not laughing at me. <laughs> so thank god there was ice cream. <laughs> at least there's that. Yes. And now I want more of that ice cream. Damn. It sounds good. It sounds it like really, really good ice good. cream. It was really good. It was so good. So I was just playing that speed running through Spain. Oh, <laughs> like, I see. Come on, let's meet. I'm trying to learn like all the little things off of stream so I can speed up. Maybe. Maybe. Actually yeah. do something. I mean, that's why, I mean, I tell, uh, it's secrets, secrets that you're maybe not supposed to know, but I oh, do, boo-hoo. like, practice games sometimes before I uh, before I play them on stream, because I don't want, at least I don't like it when I am sitting and watching streamers and they're, like, fumbling through stuff and they don't understand what's supposed to happen in the game. Um, yeah. So, and some fumbling is fine, like, some fumbling is charming and interesting, right? But um, but some fumbling mm. is just annoying, so <laughs> I so I try, I I try like to practice a little bit. When it's obviously bothering the streamer. Yeah. And they're getting annoyed. There's certain parts where it's like, nope, that just that is what it is. Can't do that. Like before I tried to play The Witcher on stream, I played that for a while so I could figure out the controls and be confident in combat. <clears throat> yep. Any combat game is not something I'm confident in. Just uh-huh. period. That's that's not the game that's fun for me. You just gotta and beat I him didn't up. Grow up with video games, so it's hard for me to catch on. I understand. Oh boy, lady, no, you cannot eat that. Get down. Remember, lady, the yes. Package? Okay, the package says, lady, um, <laughs> keep it away from. Where's where does it say that? I think I had to throw away the part where it said it. It said keep it away from small children and animals. So you can't have that. She's trying to get revenge. She's trying to get revenge for the belly blows. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Gosh. I should... I should rather. Don't listen to Lar, lady. (laughs) Uh, No, we do listen to Lar. Lar knows what's up. (laughs) Uh, Sif regularly gets raspberries and yeah. doesn't run away. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? Uh, we made a point of socializing our cats knowing one day that we would have kids. Oh, so, so you gotta we do made the a kid point stuff. of really like going after their paws when they were kittens and mm-hmm. continually grabbing at cat parts that, you know, cats don't generally appreciate being touched mm-hmm. just to be sure that like okay here we go <clears throat> that makes sense and even our most tolerant cat queen like she will let you do anything even yeah. she is like not a fan of raspberries yeah so matt frequently picks sif up and he gets away with more with sif because she's decided he's her person mm-hmm. which fair and fine but he picks her up and he um rattles her a little bit yeah like a machine gun and oh. kind of goes pop 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 and cocks her body <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've seen that on TikTok <laughs> Yeah it's something that he's done with every single cat he's ever had um and she's just like whatever this is fine <clears throat> She likes she likes to be a gun she wants to be a gun She just wants attention <laughs> She just wants snuggles <laughs> Which is fair, honestly. That's kind of but... why Queen is so tolerant. She just wants attention. Yeah. <clears throat> she'll, she'll tolerate all kind of things. Yeah. You're, you're petting her. Yes. And, exactly. And we're not being mean to the cats. We're making sure we're not doing actual harm. 
Yeah. And at the end of the playtime, we always do a lot of petting and scratching behind the ears, stuff they like. And they're okay. And she's just thrilled. She's drooling. She's happy. (laughs) Um, You know, Matt turns her upside down and rubs her belly. And she will go do her sad little meow. But the second he sets her down, she just kind of looks up at him and is like, hey, reaches out her paw to swat at him, like, come back. Come (laughs) back. She wants attention. You would think that we neglect our cats. Honestly, they do not leave (laughs) us alone. Uh, We don't neglect cats. And we've made sure to teach Eliza, like, okay, when a cat's body is doing this, you see how the cat's tail is moving this way? That means you need to stop what you're doing. Yep. Or you will get scratched. Yeah. Even the most tolerant cat will eventually do that. And, you know, it's a child, so the... Um, the force of a touch isn't quite as controlled as it is with an adult. Right. So you need <laughs> kids will to... just do whatever. Yeah, and they they're not trying to be hurtful, but they also don't know how to touch gentle. Yeah. Every single time. <laughs> yes. So we've made sure that our and for this child, we're going to be making sure that. They know what this means, and she knows, you know, not to run up to a strange animal mm-hmm. without. Make sure. She, teaching all of that. So I will ask you, Kendra, when is it that we, because I'm sure this, because eventually, obviously, when is it that we're going to get um, a name announcement for, um, for the baby? So here's a fun thing. Kendra has a lot of anxiety over the name because I have not narrowed we I because we have not narrowed down the list oh and I have four months left and I'm like I can't do this <laughs> like <laughs> physical it, it, heart palpitations oh my gosh is it gonna become like Matt has to pick um no no <laughs> I will not let him pick Kendra he has bad okay wait 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 me. Kendra yeah. you can't you can't insist on picking and have major anxiety over it at the same time. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. This doesn't seem it, fair. Like, okay, naming roleplay characters is hard enough. Naming mm-hmm. a full-on child, you discover um, how many people you don't like. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I've known associations with names. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So one of the things that we did uh, with, before Eliza, like when we uh-huh. were starting to talk, like, okay, maybe this year we're going to start trying. We started talking about names long before we conceived because we have very different taste in names. Mm. And it took us months to narrow down a list for boy, girl, boy, name, girl, name. Mm-hmm. And we did not. The, the boy names that we liked then, we don't like anymore. Oh, so you can't reuse. So I can't reuse because we thought about that. And I was like, eh, no. Actually, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, Poison totally wrecks the Eevee squad, I'm realizing. Um, I definitely need to get... I need to get some stones so I can get, like, um, a Jolteon, I think. I think I definitely need to have a Jolteon. Yes. Um, in my party. I feel like that would be good type coverage but Koneko you let me know what you think the last two should be Um, but I think Jolteon probably needs to be one of them Koneko is a resident expert yeah poke poke ex poke expert I'm trying to combine the words but it's not really working but poke poke expert expert yeah that doesn't sound right (laughs) I don't like that (laughs) nothing okay let's see what else we can do um one so we've had a list of like okay these are things that i like how do you like this one and we'll go and we'll talk and um we go through and there are some things like we suggest one of us will suggest something and the other one just goes absolutely not okay fine we know the middle name baby's middle name is going to be matthew because that's family tradition 
firstborn son gets dad's first name as middle name. Mm -hmm. Fine. However, do you understand how hard it is to come up with a first name that sounds good with Matthew as the middle name? It is difficult. Yeah, you have to have something that sounds like if you say them both together, they're going to be good. Yeah, Koneko, I have um, yeah. Espion, Umbreon, Leafeon, and Sylveon right now. And I have two others that are just Eevee that I'll need to change into something. So, I love them. I would love to know what you think. I love them so much. They're so pretty. Yeah, I love the Eevee Lucians. Okay, they're very which aesthetically direction am pleasing. I going? I'm going this direction. <clears throat> Oh, dear me. Oh, medieval hedgehog. <gasps> I love the medieval hedgehog. What's a medieval hedgehog? I don't know. A little sculpture from about 700 BC. Oh. From Egypt. It's a hedgehog. It's blue. It's very cute. I've uh, reblogged it. So now it's or retweeted it. So now it's on my Twitter. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Uh... Backyard Owl says, my brother's name is Daniel Matthew. Daniel Matthew? What do you think Matthew? about that? That's not bad. That's pretty good, right? That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, we do know a Daniel, though, that um, makes Daniel not a viable name for us. That's a shame. Yeah. It's one of, it's one of those things. And because I'm taking Eliza to the playground a lot now that it's a You're little bit safer you don't to like. do so. Um, Levi Matthew. Oh, oh. Geez. oh. that was Levi very wants... loud. <laughs> he wanted to make sure oh. you heard him. <laughs> I jumped so hard. Yeah, I turned easy. around. I thought he was in the room with me. <laughs> you uh, you scared her. Oh. <laughs> she jumped because <laughs> it was loud. Just like I made her cry. Yeah, she's sensitive right now. Uh, oh no, I'm. <laughs> no, I'm you said jumpy. something sweet. Oh. Yeah. I sweet things are going to make me cry. It's okay. Don't Worth worry about it. Dave Matthew. Dave Matthew. That was that I one. will I will come. I don't to think your she house. likes Dave Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do you think about Levi Matthew? I actually think that doesn't sound too bad, honestly. I think Levi was one of the names on our list, actually. Oh. That one's actually on our um, list of possible names. Actually. Not not anymore, <laughs> but <laughs> I, it got knocked off um, pretty early on. It is like the finals of the name thing, and you. we've got it narrowed them, down. I'm leaving, and they don't have any more chances to see my hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to do the big webcam so they can see you? I, I don't care. Okay. I'm just saying. Yes, obviously. The hair cutting lock thing is pretty much done. Yep. The next thing is to, for me to bleach it and then dye it red, white, and blue, and or shave it to off. be shaved tomorrow. Yeah. During the Fourth yeah. of July extravaganza special. Mm-hmm. And and uh, yeah. So, but y'all gotta reach that two hundo. Mm-hmm. And I need time to be able to bleach it and dye it. Yep. So, yeah. So, kind of gotta happen today, unfortunately. Yep. Otherwise, we're not going to make it in time. It's just not going to happen. No. Now, I have a feeling she's going to go after 3 p.m. today and have a longer stream than yesterday. So you guys make sure to stick around and donate that moolah for the fetuses. <laughs> 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 I'm saying it now just because it aggravates her. <laughs> well, she want to be technical, you know? Uh -huh. Because you typically are not aborting fetuses. You're typically aborting well, zygotes. We're typically and... <laughs> letting Levi speak his language. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I'm going away now. If, uh, I don't think there's anything more for me to do as a part of the streaming stuff, right? No, and um, unless anybody wants to do Eating America and wants you to do it with us, um, I'll let you know if anybody wants us both to do that. But otherwise, I think you're good today. Okay. Oh, well, and if you actually garner a lot of people attention, mm -hmm. I'll make you the Karen Sandwich 2.0. Okay. Ooh. 
so awkward. <laughs> well, get, you can't hear Kendra. She's going, ooh. Oh. No, I'm I trying to hype you up, Levi. Come on. Yeah, I, that's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this development. <laughs> trying to be supportive of Levi. My goodness. Uh, I'm going outside now. Where, okay. Where I belong. All right. Go. I have to go move that. Whatever the hell that is. Oh, the, the chair. New, new recliner. Yeah, the recliner out there. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye, Levi. Jolteon's a good choice. Vaporeon's a good choice. Um. Flareon coverage for ice, because that's going to be a tough one to cover for. Though, if you get fighting moves, you're set. Okay. I hear you, Koneko. Thank you. I think that that is helpful. <clears throat> so, yes, what we are at right now in total. Oh, what happened? Um, I wasn't paying attention. What we're at right total is $165. $165 is what we have right now. The sneak around the hippo. Sneaky. Oh, there's one. That's oh, that's what's happening. The alpha saw me. Oh. The alpha saw me. <laughs> oh, the hippo run. ran. Okay, thank you. Just run. run. Yeah, I just gonna run. I just gonna run. I don't need to fight the big hippo. I don't no. need to fight the big hippo right now. No, the big hippo is. Let the big hippo live. Mm-hmm. I love how when you run through the mud, look, he gets muddy. Oh yeah, it's so cute. Big mama, it is a big mama. It is a big mama, Koneko. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I told my in-laws I was playing games with my friends until noon today. Oh, because in my brain I was like, yes, this is time zone math. Why am I trusted with math at this point? Nobody knows. Nope, mystery. But no, that makes sense. That makes sense. But that would be... I... Yeah, 10. No, you're right. <gasps> Hippo peeled, rude. Come I might on, just run bubbles. away from this battle. Bubbles. Oh, my bottom. Um, I'll be right back, guys. Oh, like oh, that little bit. Yes. We have a tiny strand that I did not get. Okay, I got it. Let go. Oh. There we go. Yeah, that was bugging the hell out of me. <laughs> this little bit was still on long. Not fair. <laughs> it was driving him crazy. Oh. I think he's allowed to do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, next will be we'll shave it. Um, if we get to the goal. Okay. Do oh. I have the male and female hippo now? Let's go see. My goodness. <clears throat> Kiddo. Because I had hippos, but I don't remember if... I, but I think I, I sent them away. So I don't know if I have a male and a female. Okay, yes, I have a male and a female. All right. We can go do that one. Uh, hey, rude Pokemon game. It is rude when they escape after you try to catch them. They should only escape if no one tries to catch them. I like, know. Come on. Yeah. I wanted an Abra. Right. That's rude. Abracadabra. Please. Oh my goodness. Where's We're gonna Jane? Go I need Jane to tell me what my command should be. <gasps> oh, you're finally going to do your exclamation, Kendra? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yay! I've got about 20k, and I'm like, I should probably... You should. Go I should probably mes do that. message her on Discord. I bet she'll answer if well, you tell I her forgot. what it is. Yeah, I forgot what she said. I was like, I'll do that. Yeah, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I don't it's remember. it's been a while. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Jane said something that was smart and silly, mm -hmm. as usual. And I'm like, yeah, hook me up. Okay, cool. we unlocked more clothes, you guys. Yay! I love their little swain. They're so cute. Their little happy doop 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 doop. Gosh. Oh, we definitely don't want to get rid of the mask. That mask is cool. I want to yes. see if 
Oh, it's got, oh, it's these patterned ones. That's what that unlocked. Oh. Let's see if there's any pants that I like better with the patterns. I think the patterns oh. might be too much for what I got going on. I think I need to keep just the plain pants. Yeah. They do vibe, Koneko. They do. Yeah, I don't want the fancy bottoms. I don't, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no. we're done shopping. Okay. Yeah. What other side quest can we do? Oof. Wisps. Okay. We're not doing that. With three leaves and give one to a niece. Okay. Roselia. Oh, what's this one? We're supposed to gather information. We can do that. The three leaf Pokemon, I think, is is Chikorita, then they're like rare and they're in like a corner somewhere. I think that's what they want me to get, but I can't remember if that's the three leaf one they mean. It's some little rare one in a corner yeah. that's hard to get to and annoying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yay, dose of secret medicine. Are you doing anything? I'm good, thank you though. Sure. Yeah, we eat all day. I probably should eat something. You probably should eat something. Yeah. Um, can you bring me, yeah, some pork and mac and cheese, maybe? Mmm. You guys oh, can see good. the pork. You guys can see the pork. At least. I'll try to send some through the tubes for you guys. Great. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, some cucumber salad sounds good, too. Baby's kicking like, yeah, that sounds good. I'm like, you're oh weird. hell yeah, baby got good taste. Oh, look, the whole reason I married Matthew was because I knew our children would eat well. <laughs> <laughs> if it was up to me to cook, they would not eat well. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I was uh, like, you know what? You you do that. That's great. I love that. Oh. Yeah. Um, Levi is a very very good cook and um, definitely endeared me to him. Yes. It's... Gosh. I have I... eaten a little bit today. I've eaten crackers. <laughs> I've eaten a few crackers. That doesn't count, Karen. <laughs> I know it doesn't count. I do need food. I am hungry. <laughs> I'm just focused on other things right now. You I know how, like, you focused. get busy and you get in the zone and it's like... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. However... Um... <laughs> You gotta sustain yourself, too. Yes. No, I do need to eat something. No. It's important. My goodness. Kiddo. We're going to the Meyerlands. I need to catch a Tangela, too, I noticed, from the... from the quest that I have. So I need to get a Tangela, and I need to get... What was the quest that I highlighted? Oh, well, it's over here. Headache-stricken Psyduck. Okay. I gotta go talk to someone over here for the Psyduck. Oh, poor Psyduck. Yep. Here's your favorites, Kendra. We Kendra do the Psyduck, Psyduck side quest. Give them Tangela's the medicine. Tangela's great, too. Sorry? Tangela's great, too. Yeah, Tangela's pretty good. It, it's tall, Look. long Tangela that is not funny. They're so happy! They're so happy! I we know. cured their headache with medicine. Oh. Are my babies. Yay. Lady? No. She really wants some hot sauce, y'all. She really wants some hot sauce and saltines. You cannot have hot sauce and saltines, lady. Those are not those are not kitty cat food. <laughs> A Sif likes to steal graham crackers. Lady is obsessed with human food. Like absolutely obsessed. She will try anything i, I swear it's weird. i don't understand why <laughs> yeah the other cats if stealing eliza's bagel the other day bagel plain bagel nothing on it just the bread like just taking chunks out of it I was like what are you doing this is not okay some cats do really like bread though oh thank you it's so much very strange thank you thank you really good. oh i'm excited Okay, let me go to a safe spot. Y'all don't let me forget when I start the game up. Oh, here, I gotta get this for Kendra. 
Here we go. I touched it for you. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Let's go to the map. All right. What's I'm gonna... uh, We're going back to webcam so we can uh, hang out while I eat. Thank you. Oh, my Sorry. goodness. Oh, that's okay. Besides, not that one. Okay. I grabbed from you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is... the nice mom facts for when you're this, eating. The pulled pork. And here's the mac and cheese. These smoked. are both smoked. Okay, he put them on the smoker. And Yum. the mac and cheese, basically, you make, he makes the mac and cheese, and he puts more cheese on top, and then he puts yep. it in the smoker. Yes. Oh, my God, it's so good. It's so good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Lar, it... The food. I don't, I don't remember if you told me what part of the country you're in. Um, but you can come to the Charleston area. If you're ever here, message me. I'll tell you where we are, and you can come hang out and eat food. According to Landon, it was a very good time. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm so jealous. I'm like, man, you got to go travel and see friends. Rude. Well, it's harm. You're all the way on the West Coast. I know. I'm all the way. I'm on the wrong side of the country. Yeah, I feel like there's kind of like. There's like the Pacific gang and then there's like the Eastern gang, you know, the yeah. Atlantic gang. And it's um it's tough. It is tough. Uh but you know, whatever. America's massive. It's so big. It's ridiculous. Yeah, be nice. Play nice. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't think the microphone picked it up, but um Ash made a really mean noise at Lady. When she hopped up there. <laughs> Willow and Sif are doing that too right now. So here's what's up, you guys. We've got some American cookies, right? And Levi teased this yesterday, but I'm going to tell you guys again as well, in case you missed it. But we will make a Karen sandwich part two with the cookies for the buns and as much meat as we can put on there. Um, and we can do a challenge, right? So we can do like if you get to a if we donate a certain amount in a certain amount of time, then we can do that. So if y'all if y'all want to do that, y'all let me know when we can do it. Obviously, um, I'm already eating, so I don't know how that's going to happen right now. But you see what I'm saying? He'll make one if we can uh, if we think we're going to get those donations. I believe in you guys. I don't, I don't know that I believe in cookies as buns, but I believe in you guys. <laughs> well, we originally had the idea of like, you know how the fair they're like donuts as buns? Yes. Don't worry. It's awful. If you've ever tried it, like you can get through two bites and that's about it. Um, so, uh, but we got these cookies. We thought we could do the same idea. Huh. You know, the one thing that's kind of a bummer about eating with earbuds in is that you can anything. hear yourself chew yeah i can't hear anything but chewing <laughs> yeah that i am very impressed that you're able to just do this <laughs> boy howdy mm -hmm. yeah i can barely hear you kendra <laughs> oh no great good so donate now for gross mom facts karen can't hear me it's fine <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Let's see. Racking my brain like, okay, what's what's the next one going to be? Mm. Mm. Maybe you can tease it. Got a. Uh, there is something more painful than giving birth. Mm. And it is recommended. Is that good? Do you need barbecue sauce or anything? Mm -mm. I don't need sauce. It's really it's good. good. Uh, I was about to say, it's not good. <laughs> it's still good. Mm -mm. It's so good. Still good or so good? So good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Trying to talk with my mouth full. I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I mean, that's water? fair. I have water. Okay. That's a fair thing. Bye. Bye. After I eat, we'll go fight Lilligant. Yay. Lilligant, I actually don't, didn't find that hard when I first played through this. Bye, Lar. 
I love the lurk. Mm-hmm. The lurk is so good. We love our lurkers. So important to lurk. Oh my goodness. Kendra, is Matt cooking anything for the fourth? Uh, yes. Um, because my parents are in town as well. We're doing a big barbecue something or other. Mm. I, I'm assuming they're doing hamburgers and hot dogs and something else. I don't know exactly what it's going to be. I just know that he's very excited to be cooking. It's the first fourth he's had off in about 10 years. Mm. So he's very excited. How did he manage to get like the fourth itself off? He normally works it. Um, somebody, one of his managers that he had last year, but went to college is back in town for the summer. And this guy does not have kids. And he said, I'm working the fourth. You are not. Oh, very nice of him. It's, I Matt works very hard to cultivate a healthy workplace in Domino's, mm-hmm. hard to which do. is a hard thing to do. Yep. But because of that, and because you know he doesn't let people abuse his employees, hard he, to do. Also, he he'll, he makes sure that all of his employees know that if someone is abusing them, they have a right and are able to disengage hang up the phone whatever and he will have their back and that his boss also has their back mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, which is very nice and because of that the relationship that a lot of his employees have with him is uh, one of mutual respect so this guy comes back and he's like I don't have kids you do go be with your family so and this guy's fantastic. Love this kid. That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, that's really hard to do. I'm glad he has his um his manager above him support to do that because a lot of times that's where it stops, right? Like the lowest level manager yeah. might want to protect the employees, but that middle level manager is not mm-hmm. interested. I mean, the nice thing with where Matt is on the hierarchy is he's right under the franchise owner, mm. basically. And the franchise owner... trying to figure out how to say this as nicely as possible um <clears throat> makes some questionable choices that i don't necessarily agree with or i think are best business practices however one thing that this owner does is they're not going to uh let people be nasty to mm-hmm. their employees And they will back up the employees whenever a customer complaint comes in about this and Matt is able to go, this is what happened. The franchise owner goes, you did the right thing. Good. We don't need their business. Mm. And that I, I can respect (laughs) because there's, it doesn't matter what job you do. You, deserve to be treated like a person mm-hmm. that's dangerous and scary though i can understand that's, yeah. that's why that's kind of rare to find for an owner yes so it is one of the reasons why the people who run their stores run their stores for a long time because they have that type of support for that certain issue mm-hmm and then that way, that sort of thing makes good business sense, right? Because yes. you don't have to spend the resources on hiring you, and training and all of those things. It's very expensive. And a place with employees who don't feel like they're being uh, worked to the bone for somebody who doesn't care about them mm-hmm. is going to retain employees, not just mm-hmm. management. So, which you'd think... Like, that's logical, but for some reason, it's hard to find. 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, I obviously we think things are logical that a lot of people just don't really think about like choices. All right. Thank you, Koneko. Have fun at your study sleepover. Um, learn not lots of new things. Thank you so yes. much for hanging out today. And then come share all the new things. Mm -hmm. We like to learn. <clears throat> we do. It was um, for Celtic studies, I think. I think Ooh. they said Celtic studies. So That's I thought that fun. was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Celtic studies study group. That's a really fun area of history. Mm -hmm. Very rich, very colorful. Um, I still love the discovery of finding out that to, in order to be king in Ireland in the ancient times, you had to have nipples. What? Yes. Um, it, a common thing to make sure that people could not become king was to cut off nipples because to show fealty you had to suck the king's nipples what a, i yep that what? was just part of like swearing your oath to the king <laughs> That sounds like one of those made-up facts, Kendra. Kitty says no, it's true, too. I t I'm telling you, it's amazing. My mind is blown. I've never heard of this. This sounds made up. I, so, like, it sounds made so if up. someone didn't want to be potentially become king, like it was in the line of succession, they could just cut off their nipples and then they wouldn't have to become king? It, it was a punishment. If your nipples got cut off, it was a punishment because then you were not able to be a ruler yeah exactly <laughs> kitty understands next uh next medieval role play is having this be <laughs> a prominent feature in a coronation plot line <laughs> honestly this sounds like an, some kind of weird thing that's in like an abo fic uh it should be it should be at everything i love this honestly <laughs> So, um, yes, <laughs> it's great. Laura, I thought uh, you were lurking, but, but I guess we brought you back with nipples. I listen, <laughs> it's a fair thing to come back for. <laughs> so, let me see. I, I will. And I'm not snopesing this. I want to believe that this is a true fact in my heart. I don't care. <laughs> because it sounds made up, but I've seen it in different sources. So I'm like, mm, you know what? <laughs> this feels okay. So I will have it. I will. This is a harmless, a harmless thing. It's so tell fine. me, where was this again? I can't remember. I, I feel like it was some like one of the UK countries, but I can't remember which one you said. Ireland. Ireland, okay. Tiny island. Makes sense that it had weird things happening in ancient times. Mm hmm You get weird. Yeah, see, yeah. Laura, Laura understands. Laura gets Yeah, me. I learned a new fact today, too. All right, I gotta <laughs> go. Um, I ate it. It's gone, so I gotta go put my plate in the kitchen. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> you go put your plate in the kitchen. And we can... I, I can entertain chat. I'm very entertaining. I have lots of weird facts. Uh, similar to sometimes your body will tell your ovaries to grow teeth inside of them when you're pregnant. It, it's just horrifying. Um, it's interesting to me to think about a lot of common horror tropes. Uh, now that I'm learning more about the genre and engaging more with the genre, because... Every time a horror thing happens, I go, hmm, that's just a thing that happens in pregnancy. And you think about, well, why is that something that is written in a way to scare people? And who is writing it? All good questions. Mm -hmm. mm, indeed. Yeah, the <clears throat> scariest thing somebody can think of is 
just a regular occurrence in pregnancy. Hmm. Well, I guess hmm. I've not not seen like exactly that, but I've definitely heard of like the horror trope of vagina teeth, right? But it's never yeah. I've never heard of it in re relation to pregnancy. So that was kind of fun fact. Yeah, it, it's a a rare thing, but it is something that does that that can happen. Uh, hair is another common thing that you'll find in ovaries for some reason because our bodies are a mistake. <laughs> and I assume uh, if um if this can happen with hair and with teeth, then it could happen with nails too. I would assume I, probably. I haven't seen nails as listed as one of the things people have found, but it would not surprise me. Yeah, um, it, it seems it just seems like logic follows that like, you know, if this can happen with hair look, and with logic teeth. follows in anything <clears throat> that is not related to pregnancy. <laughs> pregnancy has no rules. <laughs> You're growing another human, it's complicated. Yeah, it like sure, whatever, fine. It just it is what it is. I'm so tired all the time. Why? <laughs> because my body is tearing itself apart from the inside to form another body. Yep. Cool. Great. Where did I find those tangles earlier? I don't remember where they were. They were in a pool, like a mud pool. Maybe it was like over here. Maybe I was over here and I went south. Go this way. Yeah, Kitty, I'm sure somebody would pay for them. Um, like a medical journal. <laughs> <laughs> it's so... <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think Kitty's thinking about medical journals. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that that's why I said it that way. <laughs> I'm like, please. Please, no. Oh, hello. I, I got an unknown. How are you doing? <laughs> he was just chilling at the campsite. It's like, what's up? <laughs> I'm right here. Ta-da! Yep. Those are, uh, there's the whole alphabet of those scattered everywhere. You can find them. It's part of a quest. Yes. That peach you. Oh my gosh. Where is the Tangalas? Um, <clears throat> they were like in the mud zone. Yeah, there's a couple of different spots where it was... Where it's muddy. Well, in the other mud zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's not this one, it's the other one. I uh, know that um, Cerebi, I think it is, actually has like a chart of like what spawns where, so I might just check it and see where they are. Yeah. Everything is so oh. vast, it can be a little too much. Lady, no! Meowing doesn't mean that you're going to get the hot sauce. Lady, Gosh. yes. Oh, haha. Ha. Here's Tangro. There should be a Tangelo around here. Ta da. Run. There's one. <laughs> They're so cute. Boom, I hit it in the face. You're not mad at me for the raspberries anymore, lady? You're, you forgive me? <clears throat> oh, he wants to fight. Okay. She'll I think forgive she you forgives you me. Have She's hot over it. Sauce. What'd you, you say? Gotta have hot sauce. Yeah. I don't... And then she will. She forget. doesn't. I don't think. The, like, I'm pretty sure cats can't even really taste spicy stuff. Like, I don't. I, I feel like I read that somewhere. Like, as a fun fact, like, because they're obligate carnivores, there's no need for them to ever develop, like, the sense of spicy, because that's like a plant thing, you know? And so I just. I feel like I learned that somewhere. Okay, they can sense spicy foods, but not taste them. Uh huh. Um. Lady, what are you doing? Yes, yeah, so their taste buds are underdeveloped. That makes basically. sense. I mean, because they literally only eat meat. Yeah. In comparison to a human tongue, they don't have that <clears throat> type of taste bud. But they like they. It's an interesting like scent and sense, just not mm -hmm. taste. Which God, that must be nice. They could probably like like kind of 
tell that there's something going on, like with their nose or something, but they just yeah. don't really taste it. Yes. Um, it's just gonna do bad things to their bum. Yeah. I mean, it'll still like, hurt them, just there. like it, it yeah. does if, you know, a, a human eats too much hot sauce. It's gonna upset your stomach. I, You know, uh, one of the parenting tips to get kids to stop sucking on thumbs or clothes mm -hmm. when they get older because it's not great for your teeth mm -hmm. is to uh like paint their nails with a very very mild hot sauce or lemon juice so kendra do so you want to hear a fun fact what so when i was a, a baby i sucked my two middle fingers like this right like that yeah and I didn't stop until I was, like, well into grade school. And we tried everything. Okay. Even the, the lemon juice on the yes. finger? I oh like lemon God. juice and liked it as a kid. Yeah. Now, I didn't like hot sauce, but I would still, like, you know, just go through with it anyways. Yeah. Um, same thing with, like, that bittering, that taste bad stuff, the lard that you're yeah. talking about. I would tr we tried that. Didn't work. Oh, um, I tried that for Eliza, too. Does not work. She does not care. She's yeah, like, I, didn't, I didn't care. I was like, yes, it tastes disgusting, but I just don't care. <laughs> yeah. I, the, the comfort is greater than the taste. Yes. Pretty much that's exactly what I experienced. I think that eventually just enough people made fun of me that I stopped. Like, I'm pretty sure that that that's is so what sad. happened. <laughs> that is so sad. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to avoid with Eliza, but I don't know. The dentist says, like, it's <clears throat> not a big deal. It's okay. Um, she will stop on her own. And pushing for her to stop will make it worse. Yeah. No, I eventually did stop on my own. Oh. Do, do you think that the, the push to get you to stop made it worse? Probably. I mean, I was pretty young, so I really don't have a lot of memories of it. Okay. I just remember everything I tried to get it to stop did not work. Now, I could not tell you if, like, this was, like, my own volition wanting to stop and I couldn't or if I was being pressured. But I don't mm. think I was being pressured by my parents. Like, I'm pretty sure it was, like, kids making fun of me at school kind of situation. Oh, <laughs> like, That's yeah, I so don't, sad. I don't think, I don't think that, I don't think like my parents were pushing for it or my dentist was pushing for it or anything like that. It, at least if that was happening, I don't remember it. <laughs> Man, that's so sad. Yep. So we tried and nothing, absolutely nothing worked. Gosh, my little sister, I won't name the name. She be so mad if you know that I told this to public people. <laughs> so one of um, your sisters. One of my sisters uh, would instead of sucking her thumb, she would suck on her sleeve. So And oh. it was always the same sleeve on the same side. So her shirts were always uneven uh -huh. for the longest time. And it drove mom crazy. <laughs> mom got so mad. It's, you know, every time you get touched with, like, wet drool sleeve, it's gross. <laughs> like, it's just gross. That's too funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you want to hear another fun fact, Kendra? Yes. Um, I still, to this day, on my shirts that I don't care about, will we'll do this when I'm just chilling watching TV. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Um, it's not something I do to shirts that I actually wear in public, you know, or something yeah. like that. But like to my house shirts, yeah, I will do that when we're just oh chilling. Oh my goodness. All That's the time. That's amazing. <laughs> I'll, yep. I'll put them over my lips and just have that weight on my top lip. That feels good to me, but not in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it to blankets too. I'll do it to blankets as well. Oh my goodness. I do that with my shirts. You're not alone. Thank you, Kitty. Thank you, Kitty. I appreciate it. Kitty understands the weirdest in us. <laughs> it's just a habit. Like, I couldn't tell. Like, I don't know. And uh, and Levi will look over. He'll be like, that blanket tastes good. And I'll just say, yep. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> yes, it does. Thank you for asking. What else are you supposed to say? There's nothing to say. There's nothing else it's to say. Big, like, yep. It sure. Great. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh my goodness. We're going to level up one of our extra EVs that's been chilling. Yay. Oh my goodness. What a baby. Yes. Okay. He leveled up a bit now. Love them. Mm-hmm. If he got ideas for some new moves. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't like... It just, like, the moves in this game, the way that it works, like, it just happens. It's great. It's um, fantastic. Yes. It, like, it just, it just happens. Like, you don't have to do any sort of rigmarole. Like, it's, it's just, the whole game is just faster than a regular Pokemon game. And yeah. that's why, like, I love it so much. It just seems more intuitive and less... Yes. I don't want to say work... Because that's not the right word. It's just less of a hassle. So you yeah, get to all... do the fun stuff. Yeah, more. it makes it more engaging because you're not spending time on those other things. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, we got to go get some Bunieri. I love them. They're over Gosh, here. In college. Yeah, I think my first year of college, somebody... I was like, oh, Bunieri's so cute. And they're like, yeah, you would say that. That's your first form. I was like, what do you mean? They're ah! like, you are the sexy bunny Pokemon. I'm like, no. ah! it, 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 it. excuse me? Yep. And they were like, yep, that's you. I was like, you yep. think you think I look like that? Lopunny is definitely one of the Pokemon that you, when you Google image search, you want to put on safe search. <laughs> or don't. Big you time. Know. Big time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whichever I the mean, case may be. <laughs> you know, you want to use your uh, incognito browser otherwise. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm flattered. You think that? That's very kind of you. Baneri is you. cute. Like, look at this Baneri thing. is cute. I, because I was like, I want to be Baneri. It's adorable. It is adorable. And they were like, ball. no. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. When I first played this game and I was just running around here, this little area randomly towards the beginning of the game. Yeah. I randomly found a shiny Bunieri. It was like in the oh, very, very beginning, like before I had really goodness. done anything. Yeah. I was like, what? Um, but I did. That's magical. Yeah. I haven't seen any random shinies this playthrough, but that was like my first playthrough. That's so cool. Why yeah. was that Bunieri trying to drown? I don't know. That's just what it wanted out of life. Benary, no. You have so much. Like life on the farm upstate. Mm-hmm. On the ranch. This one doesn't want to live on my ranch. It says, fuck you. Uh, that's fair. It's a nice choice that that Benary is able to make. <laughs> well, let's see <laughs> if it can make the choice. <laughs> God damn it actually did make the choice. <clears throat> <laughs> well, you know. Yep. That's, that's how it wanted happens to live its sometimes. life. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Annoying, but fair. Oh, they're Aww, so he ran away too. They're so <clears throat> very cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it stopped raining. It stopped raining. We should probably go catch up a couple ponytas as well so that we can unlock the shiny ponyta quest. Yes. I think that was my first experience with a shiny when I was Yeah, I think that's a, that's for most, most I think. People. Yeah. yeah. Cuz they put it in there. Mhm. Mm okay. Here we go. It is time for me to go rescue my child. Okay. Thank but you for joining me, Kendra. Let's do I will leave you with a fun mom fact. Oh, yes. Horrifying mom fact. If you choose to breastfeed, you cannot be on the pill. Mm hmm. Because it's estrogen based. Mm hmm. Oh. 
you only have a couple options for birth control. One of them is an IUD. Now, in a few states, they are trying to ban IUDs. Mm-hmm. Yep. Remember the plate size wound? Mm-hmm. Ed, why I said I was terrified, specifically just my father, for my sisters are born in October. October 2nd and October 21st, one year apart. Why were you doing that to my mom? Mm-hmm. Stop it. Um, I'm gonna, I assume sorry, both of them didn't really know. <laughs> I don't understand like how you can happen, but you can get bre- pregnant while you're breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. Um, but yep. apparently the process to get an IUD is considered one of the most painful medical processes that you can have that is not... Um, you you don't get offered any pain medicine for. Yep. Yep. Most other processes that are that painful, you get offered some kind of medication for, or you get knocked out or laughing gas or something. It was the most painful thing I've ever experienced. And I had a vaginal birth. It was terrible and awful. But yep. it made it so that I was able to not have to worry while taking care, learning how to take care of a small human. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, dude. What? Kitty. Really, Kitty? Yes. It's true. Oh, my God. I've never heard of it that long after. That's crazy. I'm so oh, sorry. Yeah. Dude, you hear a crying infant and all of a sudden... It's just like, why are you there? What's happening? Why are you wet? <laughs> it's ridiculous. When I went back to work, uh, when I tried to go back to work the first time with Eliza, uh, we were just starting to wean and there was a crying child and I had to go on break so I could go into the bathroom and express because I was going to get blocked. Oh my God. It That's was crazy horrendous so pregnancy is weird and terrifying and should not be entered into by anyone who is not enthusiastically into the idea of being a parent mm-hmm. that's that is my whole shtick the parting thought for today oh kitty I bet. So I'm going to go see Mama Mia now. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> yes. Uh, you too. Uh, good luck. I hope I want to get out of Mama Mia and see the you know, the Twitter post that you've reached 200. I hope okay. that happens. Do it for me, chat. I believe in you. Yes, we can do it. We can do yes. it with everybody's help. For me. For all of the people of Carolina. Yes. Bye. Bye. See you later, Kendra. All right. So let's shout out Kendra. And she helped so much. If y'all are not already following her, please go follow her. There we go. Shout out to Kendra. Willow? Oh, that's a big spider. Willow, get it. There's get the spider it, clip. Get it. I don't like this. This is big. Uh-oh. Uh, it's on the door. Oh, no. I hate this so much. Willow, get it. Please get it, Willow. Don't just watch it. Uh, I can't escape to go get toilet paper. It's just... Oh, no, and it's moving. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate this so much. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Gosh, oh, this is bad. Oh, the game is still going. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was the clip that um she thought was gonna play whenever I shouted out I shouted her out at the beginning of her segment, but that's the spider clip that she was referencing. Oh, it's a, it is such a good clip. I love it. 
uh, the request you had. Okay, so it is Fanieri. <clears throat> it's super fluffy. Okay. So yeah, some of these side quests, like, you have to do them to unlock things. Like, I've been trying to make sure that I'm doing the ones that give us more, um, things in the shops and, and stuff like that. Okay, there was another... Let's see. Mm, I don't remember which one that is. And that's in a space that we can't get to. Okay. Well, let's go in here. Since it looks like we have a question here. <clears throat> I think this should be the ponytail one. Oh, we got two of them. Okay. Okay. Alright, I know definitely what the ponytail one is. That's to get the shiny. I know that's one thing that I did not understand about this game when I was first playing it. Like, why certain things weren't unlocking. And uh, and it's because you have to catch at least one of that Pokemon before the quest will unlock. So it does, it does benefit you to, like, if you see a Pokemon you've not caught before, go ahead and catch one. For multiple reasons, this being one of them. Oh, and here's we have an outbreak. Okay. Let's go do let's go do an outbreak. Let's buy some Pokeballs. We definitely don't have enough for an outbreak. Okay. We are gonna do some shopping. Let's just buy like, yeah. Just buy like a fuck ton. Just like a fuck ton of Pokeballs. You can never have too many in this game. Let's go do the outbreak. <clears throat> no, leave me alone. I was going to the outbreak. Gosh, Drifloons. Stop. Yes, I found the outbreak. Oh. Oh, they running. They running. Let's throw a berry. And try to gather them. I love the outbreaks because you can just sit and catch like a fuck ton of Pokemon. Here we go, here's some food. I'm back, other ponitas. I want to catch you. Hey, you got one, kitty. Oh. They running. They see me catching. They hating. Go get this one over here. He ran far. Oh, he coming back. Come to me, Ponitas. I will take all of you. It'll eventually tell me when I've cleared the outbreak. Don't run, don't run. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Aw. Okay. There must have been one that ran kind of far away. 
Maybe this one over here was part of the outbreak? With the Baidoof. No, he's across the water. He's probably not. Oh, and it's raining now. We catch him anyway. All right. Oh, <laughs> that ponytail was teleporting, teleporting all over. I don't think the shiny one will spawn in the rain. I know the Alpha Rapidash doesn't spawn in the rain, but I don't think that the shiny Pokemon spawns in the rain either. Let's see. Oh, we're supposed to speak with Yota first. I got excited. I got excited and just went out. Okay, outbreak's done. Well, whatever. Let's go speak to Yota and then we'll catch the shiny Ponyta. Yes, that's fine. I will report. <clears throat> okay. Yay. We got the Pokeball on Ponyta's entry. <clears throat> need to actually pay attention to the quest text <laughs> so I don't run off without doing the stuff in town. Where are you at? Oh, over on the bridge. Yes, I'm here about the Ponyta request. Okay. Let's see if the other request that I had was supposed to make me talk to someone. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, I need to scroll up. Speak with Moral. Okay, I do need to talk to someone. Okay. Um, but I need a little break, you guys. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a five minute music break. Um, and I will be back, and we'll we'll do these quests. Go to the map. There we go. That kind of pauses it. All right, you guys. So I want you all to know that eating a large lunch on top of a stomach full of hot sauce crackers has consequences. <laughs> so I just rest assured everybody, we might not have gotten hot enough hot sauces yet for them for me to suffer, um, you know, as I eat them, but I just want you to know that I've definitely suffered the other direction. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's all good now though. Okay, we gotta go get a Parasect for this man. And a Ponyta. Okay. He wants the Parasect. He wants the big mushroom. That's what he's about. <laughs> it's for it's for a good cause, Kitty. It's for a good cause. I'm willing. I'm willing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Ponyta is like over here somewhere. I don't know if he'll spawn in the rain though. We might have to sleep to make him spawn. But he's over here somewhere. Mm -mm -mm. This one. Yeah, it'll mark it. Okay, so he's over here. Where 
Where are you, friend? I'm looking for a blue friend. Blue friend, where are you? I'm gonna let's sleep and make it not raining anymore. <clears throat> We're gonna rest until morning. Hopefully that'll the weather will change in a way in the sunny way. All right, he should be there this time. No, oh wait, it's still raining. Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention. I was just so sure the the weather was going to change, but there's no guarantee of that. All right, let's rest again. Let's try midday. Because the weather has potential to change at each of those points. Okay, it's not raining anymore. My god. There is actually a weather that's like uh, overheated or heat wave or something like that, where it's like really, really sunny. I can't remember what it's called, but there is a weather that's like hot. Where are you, friend? He's somewhere over here. That's a regular ponytail. Okay, here we go. Cutscene. Ooh, blue flame. Very pretty. Now, where did he go? He was on the other side of water somewhere. But I don't actually see him. I don't actually see him. Oh, there he is. I see you now. Brrrr. Thanks for the sound effect. Do I have any food for him? I have some mushroom. Do you like mushroom? Do you like mushroom, babe? like mushroom. Now you mine. Yay. Okay, let's go back to Yota. Yay, shiny. Once you progress farther in the game, the shiny chance becomes high enough that you really can, like, legit easily hunt shinies in this game like in really really fun oh yay new star oh yeah let's go get that star we want that <clears throat> okay let's do the quest and then we'll go get our star and see what we get for ranking up this time See, it's like, it doesn't tell me I'm running out of stamina, but I was still pressing it down and I stopped sprinting. But then I can do it again. It's like hidden secret stamina bar. So weird. My mom is off doing Facebook Marketplace things. Oh, does she have a, a good find? Like, is she buying something off of Facebook Marketplace? I hope she found something cool. Okay, let's go back to headquarters. She found a barbecue. Wow, nice. I hope it works well. I hope it works well. We have definitely um, curb alerted some grills in our time. A lot of times those grills do not work well anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I say that. Uh, I hope it still works well. Got to furnish the whole house for an Airbnb, so she's hunting. Oh, very cool.
new rank. But now I'm alone in this construction zone of a house. <laughs> so uh, wait, how far are you guys on the floor? Last picture I saw, like the floor was kind of all torn up. But I know you were, you guys were working on that. Oh yeah. Oh, and we got great balls. Nice. Oh, it's all done. I got that up in an hour. That's what I figured. Like, I didn't think that would take you too long. But I guess you're working on other stuff, too. Okay. Let's go! I think we're gonna go fight Lilligant. It's time. Oh, there's an outbreak. Well, let's do the outbreak. Let's do the outbreak and then we'll fight Lilligant. Give me some balls, sir. The house is down to the bones and dad's doing the kitchen paint right now. That's cool. It's not that much of a construction zone anymore, is it? I mean, it sounds like it's not really. What is, oh, I need to be on that side of the river. <clears throat> Where is the flag? I just put it down. Oh, it's over there. Okay. There is no floor? Oh, so all you did was demo the floor. You didn't put new floor down. So there's no floor. Period. It's, it's just the, the bones. Now I'm scared of finding that that pool that you can drown in. Because <laughs> I didn't know you could drown in any of these pools. I just thought they made you go slower. Yanma, Yanma. Let's catch him. Oh no, they spotted me. Bitches. Run away, run away. That did not go as planned. <sighs> no floor anywhere, but there's some carpet tack where the carpet will go later. Well, that makes sense. Took a bum pick and felt weird. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Levi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come here, bitch. Oh man. These guys, like, do not want to be caught. Alright, three in a row. Will we catch them all? There we go. Oh! Some of them saw me. Oh my god. I'm getting attacked by gigantic bugs. Too many bugs. Too many bugs. I try and Kendra, but they don't want to be caught. They want to be independent ladies. Oh, an alpha. Like when they break out of the ball, they all see me. I have one spoiled apricorn. Oh, that did not knock it out. Bitch. Run away, run away. <laughs> yes, it is a normal summer. With Jump a report. Oh, what is the report? Oh, you want me to report? Um, what? <laughs> we, we haven't gotten any more donations. Are you asking? Are you mentioning it? Are you bringing it up? Yes. Are you like tempting people with your 
uh, suffering? Mm -hmm. uh, are you tempting people with my amazing hair? Like, tempting people with a Levi dance? Like, come on, we need <gasps> the money. Oh, did y'all hear that? He'll do a Levi dance. No, he won't. Do y'all want to see a Levi no, dance? he just said that accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did tease all the other stuff, and Kendra oh. did too when she left. Um, oh, just a few minutes ago. Oh. She said bye. She has to go spend time with the family. So I guess you are staying on later. In the break. Yes, I'm gonna okay. stay. <laughs> I'm gonna stay. <laughs> you have a lot of people in the chat. Like, what's going on? No, we have four people right now. Four people. Yeah. Y'all need to tweet, and y'all need to get on the. Xbox and the Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Deedalili? What's that one? Oh, Tweedalili. Okay, that's how you tweet. You Tweedalili. Is that the song? I don't know. I don't know the song. Jack Survive. Oh, yes. Tweet, tweet, Tweedalili. Yeah. House. Yeah, you're right. That is the song. Yeah. Thanks for ruining it. Sorry, I didn't think of that. It's literally the lyrics. I know. You're failing me and the Jackson Five. Uh oh. I'll apologize to them. How many of them are even still around? Not very many. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's it, nothing. No, no more donations right now, but we did just tease all the stuff. I'm not enticing anybody with oh. my... They want you to dance. No! They said dance, they Levi. They yes, they just paid $4.20 for it. They literally paid for it? Yes. Um, yeah, they just literally paid I, for that. Who did that? It, they, put, they put in their name, dance, Levi. I don't know who it was. Are you serious? Right yeah, now? I'm so serious. I'm sweaty. <laughs> All the better way to reason to dance. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why are you, you're too excited for this. You need to slow your roll. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that might be enough for me to do another hot sauce. Oh Let me see. Then yeah, you understand that my dance is, like, not your average dance. I'm sure that they know. Oh, we need one more penny. We need one more penny. I might just do it anyway. The next hot sauce. Oh, look how rotund my belly looked. <laughs> Is this how you look right now, Kendra? <laughs> I can't hear you. I mean me. <laughs> okay, anyways. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Here goes the Levi dance. <laughs> I'm not lying. This is the Levi dance. It really is. That's really the Levi dance. <laughs> if you want him to keep going, you gotta donate more. There is no, this is not a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> they got the damn dance. And I'll do a little bit of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I hope they feel like they got their four dollars. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> so, do you want to see a picture of um of Kendra and Matt? Are you serious right now? I can show it to you Why later. Why do I care about this? I don't know. I just dance my butt off. Okay. I am sweating <laughs> out of breath. Oh, you got many approved emojis, so they it like looks it. Looks like it's one person doing all this talking. Yes, that is Kendra. Oh, of course, that is Kendra's approval for whatever reason. Yes. Ready for number six? You already did number six. That doesn't count. Well, yeah, but we're you going up. You six and did seven. Well, maybe we'll do six and then we'll do seven right after. <laughs> <laughs> the face he just made along with that noise, y'all. <laughs> no, not, I, I think it was Kendra that paid for that dance. Probably. She's the only one talking. Mm -hmm. They probably did. I think Kendra's crushing. Kendra, did you hear what he accused you of? Especially after that dance. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I sued all the ladies. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> she, she says the her folks are back now. I think she's saying bye. <laughs> oh, she's avoiding the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will say, you guys, 
having six after I've had like a lot of hot sauce in my mouth leading up to this is getting kind of spicy. Like you can see, I get a little red. <coughs> red. Oh, I breathed it. Dude, you've had three. <laughs> three? Yeah. Mm -mm, I had one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you started two? Mm mm. <clears throat> oh, av avoiding uh, Levi saying you have a crush. That's why you want the dance. What? Oh, she anonymously did the dance. I think so. Yeah, because she crushing mm -hmm. on my smooth moods. <laughs> Does that say Euro trash? No, I don't know what you're reading that says that you think says Euro trash. Well, you know, my supervision only works so super. Oh. No, there's no Euro trash. She said something's rude. No, she said that's cute. Oh. <laughs> like I said, supervision has limitations. It is kind of small text from where you're standing. You gonna do seven? Do you think I should? I think you totally cheated by already doing six. Okay, we'll do seven right after. Uh, how about after eating the hot sauce and coming out the other end? I had to take a five minute break. I was there. <laughs> She must be dropping the kids off. Wow. Okay, so this one's insane. We've not done this one yet. Number seven. It has on it. Oh, thank. Do you need help? I can't do it. Okay. So number seven has jalapeno, habanero, habanero powder, ghost pepper, ghost pepper powder, scorpion pepper, and scorpion pepper powder. Okay. Let's see. Oh. This one has a, a weird thingy. I guess it was supposed to stay inside the cap. Or the other ones have. It had a little pad. Get in there. Okay. Let's do a little dab. A dab. Well, you know, since you can't get legal abortions anymore, this is the only way. <laughs> this is the only way. Oh my gosh, this one won't come out. Hello? Hello? Okay. Kind of there it goes. Okay. Here we go. Here's the dab of seven. This one actually might be the first one that I think is truly spicy. Oh. <laughs> Making a mess. Okay. Here we go. Let me see that one. That one's actually spicy. Ooh. That's hopping their room. Mm-hmm. Um, it tastes like extra habanero. <laughs> oh, actually really spicy. Okay. <clears throat> We're at the ones that actually I would not eat for fun at all. I, didn't think, I don't think it's too bad. You had a little on your finger? Oh, yeah. I actually did two fingers back. <laughs> <laughs> not too bad, but I worry for you. Mm-hmm. I very worry for you. Mm -hmm. If that's how seven is and we got to get all the way to 12... I, I don't think you should do 12. <laughs> Levi's scared for me. I did 12. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's actually burning my mouth kind of a lot. All over floor. Do you need help? Has he got it? Do we need help? Okay. All right. <laughs> I can't go in there right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. On your shoe, though, right? In the shoe. Yeah. Ooh, no more bones for Riri. I need another cracker. Really? It actually got hot. Not that hot. Thank you. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought they were both for me. Wow. <laughs> mm. Really? It's bought me that much? I think it's because of the six and seven in a row. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. When you pile it on like that, it just escalates. Mm -hmm. It's the escalating game. Mm -hmm. So it, like, built up. <clears throat> Ooh, some stuff, dude. And we can't give her pork bones anymore. You give her any bones. Mm -mm. Poor Ree. Ree is, like, 15 years old, you guys, by the way. Hang on, I have to blow my nose. We're going to meet for a second.
Whew, okay. It's not that bad. It's because it, it's because I had no break between the six and seven. I think that I'm actually I know, like reacting. I know, but I'm <clears throat> impressed with your reaction. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> next one is number eight, you guys. Next one is number eight, and it has in it jalapeno, habanero, habanero powder, ghost pepper, ghost pepper powder, scorpion pepper, scorpion pepper powder, and Carolina Reaper is the new ingredient for level eight. <laughs> Which is actually the hottest pepper. Mm hmm. That's why they have to start adding the capsaicin extract directly. <laughs> um. Oh, is that how you say it? Capsin? Capsium? I thought it was capsaicin. I like that too many syllables. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying it wrong. Oh, hope you don't mind me chilling here for a minute. No, you can chill. There's dog poop burned on my path. Yeah, that's okay. You can stay in here. I don't have proper things to catch this alpha. I'm so sad. Oh. Why did I do that? I meant to press A, not X, whatever. We're gonna go fight Lilligant. We're gonna dodge, dodge, dodge for our lives, lives, lives. Ooh. <laughs> what did you have for lunch? Nothing. Oh, you haven't eaten? Okay. I had beer. Oh, you had beer? <laughs> That's a good lunch. It was light in carbs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Pokemon, stop staring at me so I can go fly. Yeah. I think she tried to get through the door. Oh no. I know. This is the reality of having an elderly dog. I'm ready. Hit me, Adaman. You didn't keep me waiting. It's time to fight the next boss. Oh, like she even tipped the 420 mm -hmm. and she was making mm -hmm. comments about those kind of mm -hmm. numbers <laughs> earlier. Yep. <laughs> you knew it was her. Yeah. Why are you trying to hide things from me? Because <clears throat> I don't know for sure. I do. <laughs> All right. Do you guys think I can do this one without dying, or do you think I'm going to have to cheese it like I did the first one a little bit? I almost got it without dying. They hear. You, you still talk when, when people are here. This is how you Twitch stream. You talk to yourself even if no one in chat is responding. And remember, it gets posted later, so other people will watch that aren't necessarily here live. Ballerina. She dance. Lady of the Ridge. Yeah, see? Kitty says she's listening. Okay, I gots to dodge. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I did not realize she was going to shockwave me. I believe it's thundering. Yeah. Probably gonna rain again today, like it has been. Oh, dang it, I'm gonna end up having to cheese this one too. I can feel it. I do not have the timing right. Killing me. Yes. Okay, hang on, you guys. I have to go help with the puppy. 
I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Lunar, welcome. Oh, eating while listening. What are you what are you eating? What are you eating, kitty? Oh. Cannot get me. Damn it. She got at me. And then I can't, I, I get a cheese. Oh, thank you so much for the howl, kitty. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let me write those bits down. Because the sound alert bits won't go on their own. There we go. Added that to the total. Yes, I know everything went black. Yes, I want to continue. And I want to save my progress. Yeah, keep previous progress. We can do it. I dodged too soon. Yay, we did it. I can almost beat them without that. Oh my gosh, Lunar, thank you so much for the $25. Holy crapola. So, oh, Lunar, something that you don't know. If we make it to um, 200, then we will uh, be shaving Levi's head tomorrow. So that was a huge help towards that amount. I really, really appreciate it. Wow, wow indeed. Wow, indeed. Okay, let's add... That 25. Okay, that takes us to 195 total from the 170. That's two more. That's two more. That's two more levels of hot sauce we're about to do, you guys. Yes, he knows. Yes. He's been coming on here and talking about it. <clears throat> okay, before I do the next hot sauce, I'm going to go fill my thing up with milk. Because actually the last couple have kind of started to get to me a little bit. We're going to do eight, level 8 and level 9. That's where we are. <clears throat> I'm just going to click through this cutscene. But thank you so much, Lunar. I really appreciate it. So what that means in our total is when I look at my spreadsheet, we're at one ninety and nine cents, 10 more dollars, and we'll hit that 200 mark. Our Lunar made a big donation. Yes, she did. So I come in to offer... Special prize. What's the special prize? Whatever the girl wants. Okay, Lunar, what do you? What would you like Levi to do? If there's anything that you want? If you want to, maybe he could do the hot sauce with me. Maybe he could do the cupcake in one bite. Um, we've also got cookies and brownies. Dance again. He, he can do the Levi dance again. I can do. Uh, uh, Let's go. Oh oh. Like oh my god. Uh, she just gave another $15. Wait, why? 
uh, because I told her about if we reach over the 200, how we're going to do your hair shaving tomorrow. Oh, well, does she also know that we're going to dye it red, white, and blue? She does not know that part yet. I did not get that far. Oh. So we're also going to dye it red, white, and blue. So we're going to be, we're going to be shaving off America. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to have to watch the clip of the Levi dance. Well, he's offered to do it again if Lunar wants. Oh, okay. Lunar wants you to sing a Taylor Swift song, if you will do that. Okay. Uh... I need 10 minutes to learn it. He needs 10 minutes to learn the song. So while he is learning the song, I'm going to go get more milk and we're going to do the next couple levels of, of hot sauce. Because I, I think milk? we have almond milk. Are you drinking out my creamer? I'm going to have to. <sighs> we'll get you more. Oh. Okay, I'll be right back, oh. guys. Shake it off. Shake it off. Done. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Lunar. Shake it off. That is actually his favorite Taylor Swift song. The Hollywood version. Oh, yeah. That's a good version. Okay. So we were at before the 25 and the 15. Hang on. So we're at 170. So if we add in the 25, that gets us to 195. So that's eight. Yeah, that's eight and nine. And let's add in 15 more. And that's 210. So... That's 10 and 11. Holy shit. I don't know if I can do these all in a row. <laughs> but we're going to see what happens. Okay, we're going to see what happens. Oh, she said that was lovely and thank you for the, the shake it off. Yeah, he can do the Hillywood version too. Have you heard that, Lunar? <clears throat> do you want to do these with me? No. <laughs> uh, Karen, you need to be careful. Okay, I'll do just a tiny bit. Like, break it up. Okay. So maybe like don't... one of every, like, 15, 20 minutes, seriously. Okay. You think I should go slow? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, do I want to hear... It? Yeah, it's good, Lunar. The Hillywood version's good. Well, these look way different. Yeah, they're thick. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're going to do this, and then we're going to set a 15-minute timer before we do the next one, so I don't die. Okay, let's just do a tiny bit. Did he really want some? Yeah, no, lady, you don't. You're crazy. Okay, we're just going to do a bit. A little bit. That was even more than I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, keep it. Like this? Do not touch any part of your body. Okay. Thank you. Okay, here we go. This is number eight. And it has in it... The additional ingredient in number eight is Carolina Reaper. It smells really hot. Yeah. It is really hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> that one additional ingredient. It's literally it's the hottest pepper in the world. That one hot. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the difference between Seven and eight is pretty massive. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be careful. Okay, we're going to 15 minutes and then we'll do number nine. I set in a timer. And hopefully they'll understand that if you can't finish it, okay. I'm sure they will. Okay, because you're in for pain. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much, Lunar. I'm so glad you gave to them directly. I'll make sure that I count that in our total as well. So that would be 29. Okay. Wonderful. So we are at a total of raising $235.09. We are doing amazing, you guys. Thank you all so, so much. Is there a way to play that song and I hear it and they hear it? Mm, mm -mm. I think you'd have to put a headphone in. Oh. I really, I gotta sing more than shake it off, shake it off. Yeah. Let me see if Hillywood is in. Um, Spotify anyway. 
No, it's not. Well, because the thing is, is I can't have it play. I can't have the song play to where it will get recorded because then I'll get copyright striked. So it's complicated. All right. 14 minutes and we'll do number nine. The additional ingredient in number nine is um, Carolina Reaper powder. You want to switch to light pink? Okay. I guess I'm light pink. Here we go, light pink. <clears throat> there we go, we're pink. Okay, so, whew. That one's spicy, y'all. <clears throat> okay. All right, where were we? What did we do next? Report to Commander Kamado. Okay, we have to go back. Ah, uh, thank you so much for the howl, my friend. Thank you so much for the howl. I'll make sure those biddies get counted, too. There we go. You're a real wonder. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzy Pokemon, have you? Yes, we have, Volo. So, yep, we quelled another. We beat another boss. All right, let's go back to town. Yes, I will report. Look at all them Yanmas. Look at all them bugs. Them b bugs. Yes, I have new observations. <clears throat> yes, I quelled the Ligant. <clears throat> Whew. Whew. It's spicy. That one's spicy. Yeah, definitely going to have to do just a little bit of the others. And I definitely think that my mouth is stronger than my stomach for these hot sauces. All right, what's up, Kamado? Oh, it's thundering. Loud. I just did it loud. It's gonna rain again today. It has rained every day for a minute here. You successfully calmed the looking at. Excellent. Okay. Yep, connection to the lightning. Texas needs rain, I bet. We can send you some. We'll send you some, Lunar. <laughs> I love how much love the Eevee Redeem is getting this stream. It's great. More potato mochi. Okay, I'll just like, like really hard at the rain clouds and they'll go towards Texas. I'll do it like to the west and they'll go that way. Yep, for you. Scatter bangs. Okay, I've got those now. Cool. Lady, what are you doing? Oh, you play in. Okay. The next day. Man, I look so cool with that mask. Morning, sleepyhead. What? More hairstyles. <clears throat> Maybe I can do pink hair, finally. I'll try. Okay, I'll come over to the hairdresser. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ursaluna situation. Got it. Okay, I'll go with you, Komodo, to Prelude Beach. Excuse me. Yep, 
It is like still lingering on my tongue, you guys. <clears throat> These people just arrived, okay? All right. We've heard the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. We've also heard the Galaxy team knows how to deal with Pokemon and their mysterious power to help Jubilee Village grow. Yes, all of that's correct. All thanks to me. I am the star who is doing this for Jubilife. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, I do love Pokemon. I really, really do. <clears throat> Yerda from the Pearl Clan's here. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go talk to them. Uh, let's just fly. Oh gosh, many more unlocked. Many more things. I bet we get to go to a new area now. Run, run, run! Okay, yes. Now we go to Cobalt Coastlands and we get to swim. Unlocking the swimming guy is very, very freaking useful. Okay. Yes, I'll sort things out. Because they have seen my strength and kindness firsthand. Okay. Gotta head to the Cobalt Coastlands. But first, let's go pick up all these quests. Yeah, so if we do that one, we'll get new wares. We gotta get pop pods. It's a new little collectible, like, pickup item from the Cobalt Coastlands. <clears throat> we have to bring her some Shelloses. Yes, they're in Zipsidian Fieldlands and Cobalt Coastlands. Okay. I wanna look at your. Do you have any new. Do you have any new clothes? Let's. Okay, everyday kimonos. And patterns. Oh, festival top. Yeah. That's what's new. Festival tops. Meh. I mean, that one's cute. The... We've got Seascape, Roulette, Large Dots. Lilligant's pretty cute. But I don't know if... I don't know... Yes, I'm done. I gotta see if I can do pink hair. Okay, can I do pink hair? What's up? Yes. All right, let's see. Oh yes, we can do pink. Oh, it's peach pink. I think there's a better pink. There's a better pink later. I think we're gonna keep the style we've got right now. We're gonna do the better pink later. Yeah. Lights, what are you doing back there? Yes, I'm not making any changes. <clears throat> yeah, we're keeping this. It looks really good with that mask. Um, last thing, hat or no hat, I'll wear it. Gotcha. Yeah. 
there's a better pink here. I'm like pretty confident that peach pink is not it. Not the one I was remembering. Okay. We'll fly to the farm. <laughs> we want to make the fields bigger. We need a water type. I don't think I have any water types right now. Oh yeah, no, I have the Buizel. I can give them... I can give them the Psyduck. Let's give them the Psyduck. Yeah. Yes. I'm sure. I don't really use the fields until you get to the very end and then you can grow mints to change their natures. Um, that's That's it. I really don't use the fields before then. Okay. More fields for farming. Alright, he's there's the next one down here. This guy. A remarkable tail. He wants a Pokemon with a beautiful tail. All right, a tail that curls like a spring. Sounds like a spoink, or maybe a glammeow. I think it's the glammeow. This is at the very beginning of the water area. Okay, we coming around here. Wait, I think there was, yeah. We have to go up here first. And then we'll pick up that last quest that's at the entrance. Wait, where is it? Oh, inside here. What's up? Yes, I am the youngin' from the Survey Corps. Eevee! I also love Eevees. <clears throat> All right, he needs several different things. We don't have hoppo berries, so we'll have to get some of those. Oh, that scene. Yes, it is Karen. I'm going to the Cobalt Coastlands. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Two grit pebbles. Thanks. I appreciate it. Let's actually... Let's use that. Oh, but we don't have enough grit dust. But we can use it on this one. Oh my gosh. I keep pressing too fast. There we go. Grit pebbles! Need to put some things away. I don't need all of this. Well, I guess we can keep the Oron Berries, so we might use those. Oh! It's 15 minutes, guys. Time for the next spicy. <clears throat> Here we go. My stomach is feeling not so happy, so we might have to do the other levels tomorrow. Uh, Lovely Lunar did donate enough to get up to level 12 if we want to do that. We're going to see how far I can go. But this one, number nine, adds in Carolina Reaper powder. So we're gonna do just a little bit. Okay, these ones are like paste-like. Okay, 
they don't oop oh no i put out way too much i can't i can't do that much you are lovely okay this one's a little bit soupier than the other ones that we were doing so let me try again see i put like i put like a huge dab on there we're not gonna do all that oh i don't want to die so we're gonna do this one just a little bit There we go. Here's our little, our little dab. Okay. One, two, three, go. <clears throat> mm hmm. Mm hmm. My, that is unpleasant. <clears throat> Obviously, this is a party game and not for actual eating because that's not good. <clears throat> that's not good and that is spicy. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Kitty. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Oh, it's still in my mouth. Okay. I don't think my stomach can handle the other ones today. So these ones, 10, 11, and 12, we'll do throughout tomorrow's stream. So, um, 10 is... <laughs> Thank you. Rip to my stomach. <laughs> so um, this is the ones that add the actual capsaicin extract. So 11 adds 1 million Scoville capsaicin extract. Tw uh, Psycho adds two times 1 million and the uh, certifiable number 12 adds three times 1 million. Oh my God, it's hard to talk when your tongue is on fire. My tongue is on fire. Ladies up here again. So I have to like throw away this mess that actually has hot sauce on it. Hang on, let me just put this in the garbage so she can't get it. <clears throat> Oh, there we go. So while I was gone, it looks like Lady scrolled all the way down the screens to like the very bottom and um, turned off my microphone. So that's nice. <laughs> I went and got a brownie because my mouth is on fire. <laughs> I'm dying right now. <laughs> mm. Okay. These are really fudgy brownies. We're not going to do another hot sauce today. <laughs> I swear like up to six was not bad and once you get to seven it's like woo <laughs> woo this brownie is helping though <clears throat> look at that little diva back there look at that little diva she knows what she did. She knows what she did, and she doesn't care. She's like, of course, I did it. I wanted them to pay attention to me. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, another picture quest. <clears throat> Oh, a death skull. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's get Cobalt Coastlands started. I think we need to switch ears. My earbud is dying. <clears throat> Cobalt Coastlands. Beautiful. I love this zone. I think it's one of the um, best zones in the game. Simply lovely corner of Hisui. Yes, water and flying types. Lots of water and flying types here. About Fire Spit Island. Tell me more. Yep. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I think that we're going to pause there. We're going to do the same thing that we did yesterday. All right. So <clears throat> y'all stay. Because I'm going to turn the stream off, but I'm going to turn it right back on on the Be Right Back stream with a countdown for tomorrow. Okay? And y'all can hang out and chill until it comes time for streaming tomorrow. Okay? Oh, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Let's switch back to webcam only. So in total, today, Lark had a glitter party yesterday during the off time. What? What does that mean? What kind of glitter party? What's a glitter party? Okay. Our current total of money that we have raised is $235.19. I will, in the downtime, also get um, all the goals and stuff updated in stream elements so that it reflects accurately what's happened. You know, the amounts PayPal has taken out, add in the extra bits that came through the sound alerts, things like that. <laughs> Just kept saying something about a glitter party. Well, I hope, I hope they had fun. I mean, I hope you had a good glitter party. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, so long as it was a good glitter party, for sure. <laughs> All right, I mean, I, I didn't save the game yet. Let's save. Ooh. Have you ever had so much hot sauce in a day your brain is acting weird? <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? I think Levi's in the kitchen. It, Le is that Levi or Jeff in the kitchen? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to tell him we're about to end stream. <clears throat> See, in case he wants to say goodbye. He probably is good. We're about to end stream. Okay. I've done that, but my tolerance is real low. My tolerance is pretty high. So I think that's why um, this has happened. <laughs> he's like, oh, why? I think he's trying to ask if I'm okay. <laughs> now my stomach's a little unhappy. Sambal is one of my favorite Asian hot sauces, but just a dab is like fire. Oh, yeah. And some of those Asian hot sauces are insane with like how spicy they are. So I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> All right. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? I just wanna... my promise of singing. Okay. All right. Here we go. Are y'all ready? No. I'm not ready. Oh, i sorry. <sighs> I don't want it to look at me. <laughs> All right. 
So we're going to show the game and he's going to do this. And I'm going to stop the recording also because this part is not going to be in the recording because um, it's going to get TOS. So goodbye, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you all tomorrow.